This live NFL draft reaction edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Get started today and you'll get a risk free bet up to $500. Terms and conditions apply. Get the details at WYNNBet.com and download the app today. We're also brought to you by Better Than Vegas. Better Than Vegas is your home to free daily video picks from SGPN. It's like YouTube for sports gambling. Make sure to subscribe to our profile at sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. We're also brought to you by Roman. Roman is the straightforward way to take care of your ED. Just head to getroman.com slash SGP for fifteen dollars off your first month. That's getroman.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. From April 29th to May 4th, if you deposit on Underdog Fantasy, you'll have a chance to win one million dollars in their best ball contest. That's right, one million dollars. Sign up now at Underdog fantasy.com promo code S G P N that's underdog fantasy.com promo code S G P N. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner and picks Ryan real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. It's the NFL. It's April 29th and April it's all, 29th. And all I can think about is how the giants are about to be <laughs> an 11 win team after tonight, Sean, let's <laughs> Go. Well, Ryan, you know, we're going to, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of giants optimism talk. We're going to have giants contributors calling in. We're going to have a ton of contributors calling into the show, reacting live, predicting what they want their team to do, what they think they're going to, uh, their team is going to do. Of course, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they are first up on the clock. And uh, obviously, they're going to be going Trevor Lawrence. We're enjoying watching some uh, Kings of Leon here, Ryan. Well, uh, like, talk about not reading the room. Yeah. If you're watching the NFL draft, you're probably also not buying the next King Kings of Leon <laughs> album. Kings of Leon rocks, Ryan. Although, although Trevor Lawrence looks like a guy who would be in Kings of Leon. Although, even Kings of Leon, they got they got some short haircuts. <laughs> Zach Wilson, maybe he looked like a boy band dude. The, the Zach Wilson band. I mean, the, those photos of Zach Wilson that were going around pre. NFL draft. I tweeted out. I made my family disappear because he was just so young looking with that baby <laughs> face in front of a mirror. It reminded me of uh, the great Macaulay Culkin. Okay, uh, oh, so much to do. So much going on. We're streaming live over on the YouTube, and of course, if you're watching live on YouTube, the locker room line is open. Feel free to chime in, uh, giving your two cents here for the. You think people will have NFL opinions? NFL draft <laughs> and. Before we get to, I mean, let's let's just talk. First off, presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, Win Bet. Hopefully, you got in a, a bunch of uh, fun NFL prop bets for the draft over at WinBet.com. Download that app today. Use that promo code, or sorry, no promo code. Just go to WinBet.com. W Y N N Bet.com. Download that app. They got generous odds, parlays, promos. They got it all over at WinBet, bringing the excitement of Las Vegas in the palm of your hands. Ryan, of course, breaking news. Oh my God. Uh, of course, was that Aaron Rodgers? He 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 decided to make a statement. Decided to come out, make a bold statement. He's not happy in Green Bay, looking for a trade. Apparently, there was a trade offered to the 49ers. The 49 turned it down. It, it sounded like the third pick overall was in that trade package. They didn't want it. This is getting this is crazy. crazy. It, it is crazy. Now the latest on Twitter is that uh, possibly the Broncos are a trade destination and don't leave out the Las Vegas Raiders as a uh, possible trade destination as well. I mean, on, oh on one hand, it's like all the suckers come to the front of the room, please. On the other hand, uh, you know who who doesn't want to take a shot with Aaron Rodgers? Yes. I mean, it's it's he's the missing piece for a lot of this. And uh, by the way, Sean, on top of us being on locker room, your calls, we're also going to be joined by a bunch of people. So if you hear that ding, that's the sound of a DJ joining us to talk about their team potentially. So. And Sean, we already. G- oh no, we don't. I got excited. I saw the locker room line light up. Well, and uh, third member of the program, oh. kind of our sideline reporter, but we don't have a sideline here. We do have the SGPN bar, and it is uh, Colby Nant. Why don't we check in with Colby over at the SGPN headquarters? Oh, there, bar. there he is. Look Joining the- us here, Pick Dundee himself. What's up, Pick? Good, good, my mate. Mike. <laughs> gonna cold, Just cracking cold, a cold, cold, light. cold cause light. Colby's coming from the past with that jacket. Perhaps <laughs> we thought uh, it'd be fun to have Colby wear his bartending jacket. 
Uh, it, I don't know if it quite works without the bow tie and he's got the backwards hat. It's a, it's a good look. I, it almost, again, kind of coming back to Macaulay Culkin, something he would be wearing in home alone. And that's the kind of vibe we got going here. I got a uh, nice 18 pack of a Coors light. Is that going to get you through the night? That'll get me through the night. And I also got some uh, Skittles flavored flavor ice that I put in the freezer. So maybe <laughs> what? if things get hot later on, may have to cool down with the Skittles flavor ice. Had no idea they made Skittles flavor what? ice. I mean, I, you know, let's just get through the night. Sure. Let's get through the night. Le- left foot, right foot. Left foot, right uh, foot. And really, the, again, the, the draft seems to be hinging on the third pick, of course. We're both on the idea that Mac Jones is going to be the third pick overall, but if that doesn't happen, maybe the maybe the Packers sorry, end up who? pulling the trigger on the trade. McCorkle? Yeah. I I'm not sure who Mac Jones is. I know Mike Jones is. <laughs> Mike Jones is the quarterback for Alabama last Mike year. Mike Jones, Mike McCorkle, Jones. I, if he doesn't go third, that kind of blows up my mock draft. How does Zach Wilson go to a school in Utah? How is that? I mean, not that I'm gonna judge another man's looks, but he seems pretty dapper. So I don't, maybe the soaking was was at an all time high. I don't know. Well, Sean, are, are we? How close are we? We are. Uh, Any chance the Jags don't take Trevor Lawrence? No, there is absolutely no chance at all that the uh, Jaguars don't draft Trevor Lawrence. So you may as well, you know, we may as well just break the news, Ryan, that the Jags have selected uh, Trevor no. Lawrence with and the first overall pick. Um, and for those making fun of what I'm drinking and what what you'll see me eating later on the show, go fuck yourself. A lot of people are saying get those Denver futures bet in, and uh, yeah, head over to Win Bet or wherever you're getting down at. If you have an opportunity to bet a- the Broncos to win the AFC at West, Broncos to win the AFC, Broncos to win the Super Bowl, maybe that's not such a crazy thing to be getting well, down on if that's still being offered. You want to talk about an exciting proposition? Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy. Uh, some of the other athletes they have on that offense. Uh, I just can't like, I want to know what happened between green Bay and Aaron Rodgers, Sean, because what, what's he walking away from? They were in the championship game. Yeah. He was literally the MVP and I, then he asked to get traded. It really doesn't make a, a ton of sense. I hate to be the old school guy, but I mean, at some level, like where, how many situations does he upgrade his situation? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's another situation where I mean, he went to the conference championship game. Yes, if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm pissed. They they kicked a field goal instead of going for a touchdown. I w- I I mean, I was pissed because I was on the on the Packers there, so I was pissed. I get it. Uh, you're also pissed that they drafted a quarterback in the first round and a backup running yep. back in the second round. Yep. I get it. You're pissed, but you still won the MVP. You yep. were still had a home field game for the conference championship. It's tough to imagine going somewhere and getting a huge upgrade. I, again, I think it feels selfish, right? It feels like a selfish move. Bottom line, he's a real he's a real millennial, Ryan. He wants to free up his time so he can work on the uh, work on his Jeopardy hosting skills. Again, very bizarre that he, uh, you know, back I, in my day, quarterbacks didn't well, host Jeopardy. And Ryan. God bless all the people writing the material for the the pundits on the on the networks coming out with the uh, well, there's some nice leverage against the Jeopardy folks, <laughs> or this is some good good opportunity for Aaron Rodgers to. Look, I if I'm an Aaron, if I'm a Packers fan, fuck Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. But it, I, although if you're a Packers fan, you're probably just pissed at the organization. Now, when the Eagles, when Carson Wentz became Ginger Judas, there was there was, you know, a lot of anger from the <laughs> Eagles fan base, but there was a certain a contingent of Eagles fans that blamed Howie Rosen, blamed ownership for souring it. Uh, I think in the Packers situation, it's going to be even stronger. I don't think there's going to be a ton of Packers fans. They're going to be pissed at Aaron Rodgers, even though I, if I was a Packers fan. I'd be pretty pissed, but you know, Hey, you're abandoning us. We get it. Our GM sucks. We have to live with that as fans and you're just going to walk away. Uh, I just, I mean, and, and as we speak, Sean, uh, shout out to Dom, Dom Lewis breaking the news that the deal is done. It sounds like, Oh really? It sounds like the deal. Well, what was the, let's see the quote deal is a, a quote as close to done. Yeah. No, this is, this is him potentially going to the Broncos, yeah. right? So look, look out, stay tuned. We will, we maybe will have a Aaron Rodgers trade reaction oh on and, air. Ryan. And if you well, first of all, if you're a Broncos fan, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But if you're a Packers fan, if you're Jordan love, like there's turds getting ready to come out of your <laughs> ass right now. Cause now, now you're the guy who has to follow Aaron Rodgers. Well, and uh, again, it's, it's pretty crazy too, because the, 
not that not that getting Teddy Bridgewater precludes you from getting Aaron Rodgers, but it is interesting. Poor Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you want to talk? Yeah, if, Teddy B just can't get it. It's one thing to get run out of town for Sam Darnold, but then you just get to a new destination. Look, you think you can compete with Drew Lock for the job because you can. Sean, they never made a movie about the Butler in no. Batman. All right, it was just about Batman. So unfortunately, Teddy Bridgewater, forever the Butler, still looks good. Still a guy I would love to have on my team. And you know what, Sean? I bet you he's the dude that plays a fucking long career as a backup. Teddy B. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the dude just shows up, balls out. He's never requesting a trade, although maybe you requested a trade. I don't know. He just seems like a guy that's there, team first kind of guy. Speaking of that, Magic Man Blanco, shout out to him in the YouTube chat. Number one D Gen. He said uh, he really wants to call in, but he's pissed. He lost his voice. I don't know how he. I don't. Maybe yelling. Uh, I know he he works at a sanitation. Uh, Place and they do I, races down the Pooh River. So maybe he was yelling at one of his boats and uh, lost his voice. I, so hope you get better, Magic Man Blanco, and get that voice back again. We are live on the locker room line. If you have a draft take, an Aaron Rodgers take, perfect time to call in now because uh, we're just kind of hanging out until the until the Jags step up to the mic and well, draft Trevor. And Lawrence. maybe a good time to bring it up, Sean. But we both of you, you and I, we have a uh, one point two five million dollars yes. on the line. Uh, we will be uh, tracking it throughout the the situation tonight. Sean, you are risking a total of one point two five million to win one point four three four million. Uh, I, on the other hand, like a true DGen, risking one point two five to win two point six million. A lot hinges on the New Orleans Saints trading up for Justin Fields. <laughs> Fuck yes. So yeah, we're gonna be tracking that throughout the night. Uh, again, bring bring your bets to the locker room line. Let's hear what you're sweating out. I know some of these numbers move tremendously from yeah. from the the last couple of weeks when we started talking about them, Sean. Uh, throw, I mean, throw out some of the props that we've seen the bigger uh, movement on. I, I mean, you, uh, Justin Fields over. I mean, when we first started this journey, this draft prop journey, <laughs> uh, I gave you over four and a half at plus one thirty odds. It now cut to today. What was the closing number? Seven and a half minus odds. I mean, even last night, Sean, you took yep. it plus odds at seven and a half. Continued to move. Seems like a, an obvious slide. The Mac Jones pick. We both gave it out at, as the third pick. Even money minus one fifty. Even that's been all over the place. Well, and of course, the one we didn't include in the million dollar draft props because it's such a it's such a lock, and we gave it out so long ago. But Zach Wilson at minus one fifty. <laughs> we gave that out. I, yep. I think right around the Super Bowl. Uh, it, it became clear that the Jets were going to take Zach Wilson, and the fact that he could get it that low at minus one hundred and fifty was just crazy to me. Yeah, and uh, we're 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 coming up on it. I mean, what what's the? Uh, do we have a ticker? I wish. I mean, we're looking. We're watching NFL and other networks. I guess I should say. I don't see a timer. How do they not have a timer? People are anticipating this. What what happened to the good old days when guys announced their pick like weeks before? <laughs> you think the NFL would allow that anymore? Let's uh, let's bring Jong on to, to talk a little uh, little prop action before this thing gets started. Let's go. What's good, Jong? What's up, fellas? How you doing? Happy draft day. Absolutely. What a time to be alive, guys! Right? Hell yeah! Love love hearing you, Jong. What's happening, man? Two prop bets. Let's let's talk about him. Um, Patrick Sertain, Ooh. the second under ten and a half, minus two forty five. At those odds, I'm still every mock draft I'm seeing. As Patrick Sertain. Now, could JC Horn take that spot? But I'm seeing Patrick Sertain minus two forty five. Yeah, two units. I, I just don't see how he gets past the Cowboys. There's even rumors about the Eagles wanting to trade up for Patrick Sertain. So I, I think you're right. I, 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 yeah. I just don't see how that doesn't happen. Honestly, ten Perfect. and a half and seems crazy. De- Devontae Smith over eleven and a half. So that's Eagles and above. If the Eagles stay where they are. Right, Eagles and above 12, 12 picking on over eleven and a half at plus one hundred five. Am I? The only thing would be Waddle, right, at the Miami position. Do they not go Sewell? They just go with the Tua to the Waddle connection. That's and the only thing that I see. I think we're going to learn a lot in the first couple of picks because we're going to see which wide receiver the Dolphins end up with, and I think that's where the Dolph dominoes start to fall. I anticipate Chase being off the board before the Dolphins pick. I think the Dolphins take the second guy, and that defines everything else. I do think it's going to be hard for these wide receivers to get too far down the board. Yeah, I, I still have the Dolphins taking Waddle, but certainly there's a world where they take Devonta Smith, and then even I, I do think a dark horse candidate 
I gave it out. I think at one point on the early props that Devonta Smith goes to the Giants, but that was at plus two fifty. Kramer, what do you think if Devonta Smith is on the board? Do the Giants select him? You're a live dog there because we we've we've heard this before, right? Players that Gettleman falls in love with have ended up on the roster. Now, granted, most of that was before the great Joe Judge entered the situation. I do think there's a strong possibility they change trade down. I really, really? I really do. I think. The one guy that if he's on the board at eleven and they pass on him, Slater, it seems more and more likely that whether it be because of the trades or because of just teams want needs, I think Slater's going to be on the board for the Giants. And if they don't take him, I'm going to throw something in this room, Sean. So you're you want them to take Slater? I am pounding the table for an <laughs> offensive lineman. I thought you're supposed to stand on the table for the draft pick you want, or no, is it pound I'm, no, on the pound, table? I'm, I'm Sean. See, I'm pounding the table. <laughs> Yeah, You're scaring me with your table pounding. Anyway, yeah, I I just what is going on now? Now it's a concert. More Kings of Leon. What the? Why again? This is a general, a bigger point, like with the Jake Paul fight. Five eleven. Let's go. What? What? Why do we have to keep crowbarring in concerts into every sort of sporting event? We don't like concerts. We like sports. That's why we're watching sports. <laughs> if I wanted to see Kings of Leon, I would see Kings of Leon. And this isn't fair. You know we're addicted to the NFL. You can't just crowbar Kings of Leon in here. It's just it's just not fair, Kramer. It's not fair. So I, I I'm with you on the Sertan. I mean, John, I would also look Sertan top ten pick, depending on your book, because I gave that out Sertan top ten pick at minus uh minus one eighty or minus one sixty, I think. So it, it that might pay a little bit better than the ten and a half. Uh, just a thought there on how to attack it, but Devonta Smith could go either way. Gun to my head, I'm taking the over though. And, and the other thing I would say is, I think, I think we gotta. I think there there has to be opportunities in the live markets as this happens because I do think there's some dominoes that will make further down picks very obvious. Oh, here comes Goodell. No one wants the high five, Goodell. Why do they have to pretend like anyone <laughs> wants the high five, Goodell? And this is this is a bummer. We do have the sound off. Are they booing Roger Goodell? Please let us know. Cleveland better be. Yeah, come I on, mean, Cleveland. I like, represent. I like how Goodell brings out some Browns. That's smart. <laughs> Bring out some guys that are going to get cheered yeah, for. Yeah, because they're not going to get. They, they know they're not going to boo the Browns, so they're not going to. That's a smart move. That is a crafty veteran move. By Roger Goodell. Oh, there we go. We got some booze. I can tell that guy. Uh, what, the guy like in the they're jazz. in a disco. Like, what is going on, Sean? <laughs> I, Philly did a good. I, as much as I won't uh, get pay compliments to Philly too often, that was a good situation. The draft. I mean, outdoors. We could. You know, th- that's what I want to see. I am excited for the Vegas one that we didn't get get because of COVID. That's going to be fun. I just don't like. Y- you don't need a concert as the preamble to the. N- You're the NFL. This is the NFL draft. What are you doing? All right, let's talk about players. Let's talk about players. Trevor Lawrence, and uh, oh, we got Jarvis Landry up on stage as well. I mean, that it's a smart move. I, I got to imagine he's a he's a fan favorite. <laughs> uh, Colby, of course, has to be pretty excited for Bernie Kosar. That is a that is a, a Colby Dant should, player if I've ever heard. <laughs> should one. we check in with Colby? Yeah, let's check in with Colby. I see a I little, little Stone Labanowitz in Bernie Kosar. Oh, nice, Ryan. This is really—it's uh, great having Colby here. It's great having Colby at the bar. It is unfortunate he's not calling in via the locker room. I know <laughs> a lot of the fans, you know, w- expected to hear him. Do I still have a list? <laughs> Just sipping that beautiful whiskey you guys gave me for Christmas. So that is that is a little bit of a uh, unfortunate break there that we're hearing the normal Colby. Colby, uh, Bernie Kosar. Where are you at with Kosar? I feel like you're a huge Bernie Kosar fan. I mean, he's, I a, mean, legend. he's a legend. I mean, I mean one, one, of those one of those passes, passes in the, I want to say, say 87, 87 AFC, AFC championship, championship to Ernest Bynum out of the backfield. Out of the backfield. One, of the one of the best throws, throws I've, I've ever seen. seen. And, of course, and of course, Ernest Bynum, ECU, ECU graduate, graduate, catches it for a touchdown in the AFC championship. Wow. It's Colby, Colby sounds drink drunk, drunk already. I got, <laughs> I got, a, I got huge a huge echo over, over here, here guys. guys. <laughs> oh, no. Colby's Uh-oh. struggling out there. All right. Ryan McKee asking, can we boo every time Colby comes on like he's Goodell? Sure. And uh, we are getting some uh, echo from Colby. That's uh, that's the general feedback, Kramer. Okay. We'll have to figure that out. All right. Trevor Lawrence is expected to go any second right now.
I like, I like, I mean, even the way they have people positioned, I like, what are you trying to, are you trying to think those are real fans? John? <laughs> yeah, I would say, I would say they're real fans, right? I, I mean, are they? They hire people. Do Cleveland? They, they probably hire some extras. I mean, like the guys in the cheese heads, those are probably extras. No, these guys, they look, uh, they look pretty legit. Some of these Browns fans with the mask down. I, I, I trust those guys. Jesus, what's going on? Let's just announce the pick. <laughs> everything. I, I like the idea that they turn everything into an event. But then, what's going? Uh, what's going on with the chair? No, oh, oh, they put a Jaguar fan in the commissioner chair to get it going. Oh my goodness! All right, this has gone too what's, far. What's happening? I, I don't like whenever Roger Goodell is involved in the joke. It doesn't work. Okay, you are the joke. You're not a part of the joke. Is it time to get this rolling? Are you ready? The 2021 NFL draft is now officially open. Let's go. Oh, now they just put them on the clock. They weren't on the clock the entire They've been time. They were on the clock the entire off season. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Come on. They know who they're taking. I, I get it. You want to sell some, sell some ad breaks. You want to, you want to get your, uh, Goodell chair skit going. That was that was a poorly executed skit. I I mean again, it's five, it's almost five twenty. Some of us have places to be later, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. No, we don't have anywhere to go. We're just gonna be streaming live here on youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Uh, I was gonna bring Colby back on just to make sure we don't have this echo problem anymore. All right, let's let's work through the sound uh issues. While we're here on a commercial break, what's up, Colby? Good day, good day, mate. mate. <laughs> right, we back? We better? I mean, I mean, dude, dude, dude what, what a shit, shit show, show is this so far? This so far? Uh, I mean, I think you, this reminds me a little bit about the the, the, the Nickelodeon broadcast. Yeah, like it, good effort, but not maybe not the right audience. Once again, I, I don't know. Maybe you put this on the second screen. Like if the NFL Network wants mm -hmm. to throw like a second screen on Paramount Plus. And and do that like we can have a concert the whole time. I love I love how they're showing. It, we're in a commercial break and we're showing highlights that also include Goodell. The Goodell propaganda machine uh, is strong, and we are we we still have the echo, Kramer. Unfortunately, so let's let's lose pick Dundee. We'll get back to him later once we get that figured out. Well, well, sorry, sorry, Colby. <laughs> Oh, Kramer! Perfect time while we're uh, while we're waiting for the Jags to release the pick. We got Underdog Fantasy. That's right, Underdog Fantasy, man. They got uh, awesome best ball tournaments. New to the sports gambling podcast network. Best part is, go to UnderdogFantasy.com. Use the promo code SGPN. You get a free twenty five dollars, and you can use that twenty five dollars to enter their Best Ball Mania Two tournament. Where you have a chance to win one million dollars. That's right, one million dollars. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN for your chance to win one million bucks. It's called Best Ball Mania Two, and you got to do it now because it ends May fourth. So still time. Get in over there, and Kramer and I are going to be doing some private drafts. Uh, <laughs> so you want to get involved? Hell Sign yeah. up. Hell yeah. Garth uh, Rauschenberger, probably not pronouncing that uh, correctly. Anyone bet Trey Lance to go six or higher? Yes, I'm all over on the well, Trey now, Lance over. If Aaron Rodgers is going to one of the quarterback needy teams, what does that mean for the 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 quarterback? I think we're both like like we like the overs on both Lance and Fields, and I think that probably helps that problem. Probably, probably right? but then again, if that third pick is involved in the trade for Aaron Rodgers, who knows? It could end up making things worse. But yeah, it, it really could kind of go. Either way, I think it's I think it's going to help us on the over. The fact that a, a team maybe doesn't trade up to the, but again, I don't see any team in the top six taking Trey Lance or Justin Fields. There's a chance, obviously, the 49ers. But once we get past number three, I do think the Falcons stay stay put and get Kyle Pitts at number four. I do think the Bengals draft Jamar Chase. And if you saw it, Jamar Chase made news. He's wearing orange, <laughs> black, and white shoes. They wow. look like Bengals shoes. You don't do no. that unless you think you're going to the Bengals. Maybe he's just a fan. Maybe he's just a fan. <laughs> I don't know. Have they? Enough? Why are they making them run the whole clock? This is ridiculous. This is an Urban Meyer move. He wants it all to be all about him. 
He's uh he's really milking the car. I, I don't think I'm sure they turned the card in. They're probably just not letting them announce it. Oh, and speaking of Urban Meyer, did you see the news, Ryan, that uh our buddy Tim Tebow tried out for the <laughs> Jaguars as a tight mm. end? And uh, a, no decision has been made yet. Had a private workout with their tight end coach. Uh, we'll see what happens. That'll be really funny if Trevor Lawrence and Tim Tebow are on the same team for Urban Meyer. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, just to have Tim Tebow back in the league. Any uh, Colin Stool wants to know any chance that the Panthers are going to use Sam Darnold as a trade piece? Or is he the future of that franchise? Well, I, I kind of think neither. I, I don't think there's much room for them to trade him, but I also don't think they're completely off the quarterback market. They're at least floating that idea out there that they're they're, they're still somewhat involved in the quarterback, possibly enticing one of these teams to trade up. I don't think it precludes them from taking a quarterback, but also I don't think they're so dead set on Darnold. They didn't extend his fifth year option yet. It does seem like it's a wait and see thing with Darnold. I I think there I I think smart I think there's enough people that think putting Darnold into a supported situation is worthwhile like not muddying it up with, by taking a quarterback this year. Yeah. I, I think that's the problem when you take the quarterback it's less about oh it's a smart thing to do as a franchise it's the it's the other stuff that comes with drafting a quarterback. I mean you saw it's not everyone takes it well. Uh, Carson Wentz good example didn't take it well <laughs> when another quarterback came to town. No, yeah, and and I I don't know about whether they give a shit about Sam Darnold's feelings. I, I genuinely think they don't. So I, I think if they if Fields falls to them or Trey Lance and they really like him, I I think there's a chance they draft him. But then again, to me, if they really like Fields or Lance, I yeah. think they would have figured out a way to move up and 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 would have done that instead of trading for Darnold. I think they maybe had their eye on on Zach Wilson, kind of poked around. Hey, can we get up to the number two spot? Or maybe they maybe they like Mac Jones. I think once Who? they saw McCorkle Jones, I think once they saw, and I think that's for a lot of teams, once they saw what the 49ers had to give up to the third spot, I think that kind of scared them off. And especially the 49ers first making that move. So the 49ers aren't gonna trade, the the Jets aren't gonna trade, the Jaguars aren't gonna trade. So the best you can yeah. do is to move up to four. You're going to give up a ton of draft capital just to get the fourth quarterback in the draft. Well, yeah. seems crazy. I mean, unless he's your number one guy, but yeah, I think it, uh, I think to your point, if you if you like a guy, you go up and get him, and if you don't, you don't. And and I think if you're Carolina, if you want to get too cute about it, you're just going to end up with a guy that you might not like. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Patrick Butcher throwing in Tim Tebow plays a game in 2021 plus 350. Oh my goodness. That's that's action. Where where can I find that action? Hey, uh, Where's uh, the no on I'm that? I'm gonna tell you once we do some of these live best ball drafts, Kramer. I'm gonna be You're gonna take I'm gonna be sneak uh, get a little Tim Tebow. Little Taysom Hill effect. I mean, don't you don't you want to live in a world as a college football fan <laughs> where Tim Tebow throws a jump pass? To Trevor Lawrence in the end zone, isn't that the most Urban Meyer outcome of all these? Like yeah. they have him in some wildcat thing, and he does his little jump pass or a fake punt where he's the punt protector. He does love Tim. I mean, I I, I believe it because I think it's part of the reason he came out of retirement, not Tim Tebow, Urban Meyer, to be reunited with Tim Tebow. Andrew Rob pointing out uh, that there's a, a free Josh Gordon sign. So you gotta you gotta oh love goodness. free jo- Woo, it's a man weed. who just loved weed so so much. I, I, all he had to do was not smoke weed and just couldn't help himself. The, I mean, when they play those Josh Gordon highlights, it is just such a shame because that guy was such a such a beast, and you feel for Browns fans because he was. I mean, he was probably the most dynamic skill player they've had in. I, I mean, all maybe right. all time. Pick is in, Sean. Let's bring Colby back. Make sure there's no echo. What's happening, Colby? What we uh, just l- Jacksonville will do? What do you yeah. think they'll do? I mean, I think uh, I hope they break everyone's mock draft. That's what I hope. <laughs> they should I do keep it. Gardner Minshew and uh, do a three-way trade with the with the Broncos to get Aaron Rodgers. What do you think about that one? Uh, I mean, it, th- look again. If J- Aaron Rodgers becomes available, you give everything up to get him. That would have been a, a pretty awesome. It'd be great, and they're showing Blaine Gabbert, which is pretty disrespectful to <laughs> Byron whoever, Lefwich, whoever they're about to talk. Blake Bortles. There, there has just been a nice run of a uh, Jaguars <laughs> quarterbacks. It right, looks like we got the echo fixed up. Nice. 
And uh, yeah, they're cheering. Uh, does that mean they took someone? <laughs> why different? do they? Why do they cheer? I, I guess you have to cheer. Yeah, we did it. We took Kyle Pitts. I mean, I, I guess you just have to get that positive, uh, positive mojo going. But all right, should we have they announced it yet? Like, what? What, what is this? They're, these are these are <laughs> actors. Yeah. But, first off, they're Jaguars fans. There's no way they're actual Jaguars fans. And where do you get a giant Jaguars cutout to bring? Are you gonna actually fly with that to Cleveland from from Jacksonville? I mean, imagine what you would have no. to do to get. You're from, an actor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, they're playing another concert. What the <laughs> fuck is going on here, what Sean? What is happening? <laughs> this is unbelievable. They, or they are outside, and they still make it look like a disco. Okay, finally, Goodell is walking up. Rice Marshall Goodell oh is ready God. to make. Well, Oh, he's oh, kicking her out of his chair. She can't. Uh, <laughs> oh, is she going to announce the pick? Oh, I really don't know what's going on. I'm missing all this great sketch comedy between Roger Goodell and, and this uh, Jacksonville Jaguar lady fan. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. We're still not to the point where anything has happened that we didn't know was going to happen. Sean. Nope. That's going to happen F- five with the number three pick. Oh, is oh, that, they're is showing that, Trevor. Oh, let's. It's time. Is Colby, you ready with the highlight? I am more than ready with the highlight. And I'm going to show you why we like Trevor Lawrence, guys. All right. Look at let's this speed. It. He has. He may look like a girl, but this guy's got some some killer <laughs> speed. Look at this right here. <laughs> against Ohio State. That's against their secondary. Look at the speed. Breakaway speed right here. That's an athlete. He might run goofy, but that's an athlete right there. Uh, you know, impressive. Uh, you know, I, I, I think the hype about Justin Fields and Trey Lance being a two way player, Trevor Lawrence, pretty nifty with the legs. Now I paused it right there. Cause my only <laughs> problem with them is I know he didn't have sex with any of them and they would have wanted to have sex with them, but he was married while he was in college. So I wonder about the smarts. Yeah. I just can't think of uh, again that, t- that to me as an evaluator, getting married in college raises a lot of red flags. That is that is dropping him off off the draft board here. Uh, he's uh, he's certainly really good, but again, uh, maybe I'm maybe. Oh my I'm, God! They're showing the same <laughs> highlight on the NFL they're Network. They're stealing our mojo. What the hell? Uh, again, for me, I, I just can't imagine a guy that look that hair that look. I just I don't see that being a dominant NFL quarterback. You know, well, maybe I'm maybe I'm old school, but I think long hair just doesn't work in the NFL. And Magic Man is asking over in the YouTube chat, who's better year one, Lawrence or Wilson? Well, you know, I don't want to make a hot t- but I, doesn't Zach Wilson have a lot of opportunity to fail? <laughs> Don Lewis pointing out again, married in college character concerns. Yes, I agree. Red flag. <laughs> I still think again, if Mac Jones goes to the 49ers, which that, that certainly is precarious right now, I think he could be the rookie of the year because he's going to a great system. They have a bunch of weapons. Like they, they know how to put together an offense. Urban Meyer, first year head coach, and he's taking over a one in 15 team. Like yeah. there's still a ton of work to do in Jacksonville. And now we're going to move on to Zach Wilson and the Jets at number two. Zach Wilson, same type of thing. He's going to the Jets. Like at at the end of the day, it still is the Jets, right, Colby? Well, and it's Colby's team, the Jets. You mean? I mean, after that photo, man, I'm I'm just let's draft a defensive tackle. (laughs) You you don't like the you don't like the boy band. You don't like the intensity he brought into that mirror. I can't do it. I can't support that guy. So let's go defensive tackle like we do every all other seventeen years. I mean, look, I, look, Zach Wilson is fun because when you, when you hear people talk about his anticipation and all that good stuff that gets you excited about a quarterback, right? It's the stuff you can't necessarily spot with the arm talent. It's his awareness and, and stuff like that. But I, I do think just the fact that he's going to the jets, it's scary because not only is he a guy <laughs> that, oh, well, I think he's not like the consensus number two guy. No. I mean, again, Joe Theismann front of the program, of course, he uh, big had, a, had a live a play like a champion. <laughs> Book is right behind my shoulder. He pointed out that he he was really high on Zach Wilson. I think he said Zach Wilson was his number two. Joe Theismann knows how to evaluate the quarterback position, but yeah, there's a there's a bunch of. I mean, you can build a a really good case against any one of these quarterbacks pretty easily. Zach Wilson, uh, he played in BYU. 
He wasn't the team captain, which is pretty hard to do uh, as a quarterback, not be the team captain for whatever uh, part of the season. So I, I think it's easy enough to build a case against Zach Wilson, but he certainly has the arm talent. They've they brought in Corey Davis. That should help him out a little bit. Colby, are you going to get a Zach Wilson Jersey? Uh, Maybe if he wins a Super Bowl, if he wins a Super Bowl, <laughs> but I can't do it. Uh, seeing, uh, you know, seeing what he's, uh, he just looks horrible. It doesn't look like a football player. A lot of you know reports. I mean? That looks like a lot of reports of uh, not 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 many of his teammates showing up to the birthday party. So, <laughs> I don't. Colby, would you go to Zach Wilson's birthday party? Uh, no, because it's Utah. Well, actually, probably Utah. The chicks haven't gotten laid in forever. That I, can, I can clean up, you know. They're hungry for a man. You see, Colby he's... comes to town. He comes back with uh, four or five wives, living that Mormon life. I do like how he immediately pivoted his thoughts to like, oh, this is I, the bar is really low. I can I can handle this. I mean, Sean, clean up on the BYU campus. More importantly, Sean, uh, we've mentioned this many times because we love to tout, but we are holding a Zach Wilson. Yes, to go second. Let's go minus one fifty in the FSGA futures prop draft contest, whatever it's called, and uh, I think we're about to hit our first winner. Michigan screwed us. Michigan like the bunch of pussies us. they are. Yeah. But Zach Wilson's going to get us home. I think the current odds for Zach Wilson are like minus 2000, minus 5000. Um again, we didn't get that none of our none of our uh, draft props Ryan have really been impacted well, yet. The draft <laughs> doesn't start until the third pick. Sean. Exactly. And you have $100,000 at plus 100 on Mac Jones being the third overall pick. Uh I have some you know, I have some unders on, uh, or sorry, I have some overs on Trey Lance, which feels pretty tied to Mac Jones going number three. But I'm also, again, had Mac Jones third in my mock draft. Is anyone reading a mock draft right now? <laughs> I just think about all the time I spent on mock drafts, <laughs> mock podcasts, and now it's just all light, lighted on fire. Throw away Wasted work. so much time. Although, you know, it's part of the journey as a uh, as a draft host and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the pick is in, Sean. The pick is in. Can we Warner's get a little draft corner. sound sound effect? Sure. Please? With the second pick in the 2021 NFL draft, the New York Jets select. Any chance they screw up the mocks? Like everyone's mock draft? Uh, yes. I mean, <laughs> it Kobe, does. Kobe is the Jets expert here. I mean that is one element that we miss not having the draft in New York every year is the the ultimate Jets boo, and uh, <laughs> oh man, Jared Beard in the YouTube chat pointing out I still don't understand this damn chair. <laughs> I know I I I thought it was just because we're watching without the sound, but I, I I think it's just a sketch gone wrong of hey guys everyone remember last year when the commissioner was sitting in his comfy leather chair. What if we brought that on stage and had a fan sit in there and boss Roger Goodell around? This is how you can tell Roger Goodell comes up with the ideas. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now, would you get up out of my chair? <laughs> yeah, what? Okay. You're going to stay in the chair. All right. I got this it. Is this so is so strange. It does remind me of the dynamic I have between uh, me and my dog who always Jumps up in my chair. Oh, and then, alpha move. Well, I I have to alpha him. Shout knows, out to Patrick better. Patrick Butcher for for tipping the pick. Jets selecting Kings of Leon <laughs> with the second pick. Oh, here he is, oh, Zach right. Wilson. Oh man, is he going to put a hat on this hair? No, he's got two no. inches of hair. Joe. No, Ooh. what? All right, Colby. Instant reaction. How do you feel about the Jets selecting Zach Wilson? You know, I wanted this pick like a week ago. Everything was good until I saw that that photo. So I mean, <laughs> he's be, he's got to be better than Sam Darnold, though, right? I mean, I don't know. BYU quarterbacks have been pretty good in the NFL. <laughs> Jim, Jim McMahon, Steve Young. Um, so perhaps we got something here, but I don't know. That quarter uh, that photo just scares me, man. He's bringing a lot of energy with the hand you, slapping. You like a headband though, Colby. So that's a good thing. <laughs> and yeah, we do man. have, we do have headbands now in the uh, SGPN merch store. So perfect time to uh, plug that as we're seeing Zach Wilson in his fancy, fancy headband moving over Ryan. This is where the draft starts. Number three, the 49ers are on the clock. 
I think we have a guest oh, uh, let's, scheduled to let's call get him in on. as well. well. We'll give Colby a break. I don't know if you need a drink, Sean. I'm good right now. Yeah, with my I'm, coffee I'm feeling, and coconut uh, water. Yeah, I'm just I'm just slamming down some uh, oh, Coors Light. Well, resp- saying, we, responsibly. We, we got a bartender. If I'm you need something, I'm responsibly slamming these Coors Light. I'm oh, chilling well, out. Well, actually, let's Light let's let's quick look at the Zach Wilson highlight, and then we'll bring Rod on. Oh yeah, you ready with that, Colby? Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, I want to show you what I'm excited about. New York Jet ball control. Let me show you right here. From the 30 yard line. <laughs> a little bit of a pump fake. Oh. Everyone's oh. the ball. And then watch this pass. Watch this pass. Oh my God. That's, that's the best pass I've seen in years for a Jet quarterback. Let me tell you. Mahomes does that, and, and Twitter blows up. Look at that pass. That's what I'm excited about. I even got another highlight. I can go to another highlight here if you want, man. I Let's got do more it. highlights. Um, one more. I'll let you do one are, more. These are the highlights the NFL draft yeah. doesn't want you to see. I'll let you do one more, Colby. <laughs> okay, you ready? Watch this yeah. one. This one, New York Jet quarterback's going to need to learn how to battle through adversity. <laughs> this is a perfect Wilson, example. It's a great throw. Out. Very New York Jet throw. It's gonna get Watch. To oh, zone. intercepted. <laughs> Very New York Jet like. <laughs> He's picking up where Darnold left Look, off. Good return here. Very jet like, right? Then <laughs> watch this replay. You're gonna let this one's gonna take a second, but I promise you it's worth it. Uh, there's some shit talking going on. Love that in football. But this is where it gets fun. Well, those are more cheerleaders. I probably not something that Zach Wilson was into in college. Oh, and we got a scuffle. This you're is gonna all show us fun. This is football. You're going to show us Zach Wilson in the middle of a scuffle character building situation. Oh, he's zooming ahead. Now that's Colby was about to have us watch this whole fight. <laughs> here, we oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this right here. Unloading the benches. Look at oh, this right here. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. This is beautiful. He's going to need to battle adversity like this. This is probably why we took him. <laughs> Jets quarterbacks get blasted all the time. He, he gets back up each and every time, oh guys. God. I'm impressed. This is a great pick. Oh, there we go. Love it. <laughs> all right. It, is, it almost yeah. It's some weird two on one wrestling. All right. Now things get interesting. Kramer, 49ers. Yes, Rod. Ready to go. <laughs> Joining us on the line, Rod Vila Gomez, NFL contributor for Sports Gambling Podcast and host. Of our fantasy football podcast on the SGPN network feed, Rod 49ers. What do you think the uh, 49ers do? We've had so much talk about it. Now the the moment is here. What are the 49ers going to do? Trade every pick they have in this draft. Get Aaron Rodgers and go home. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It, it does seem like. You know the the possibility for Aaron Rodgers going to the 49ers. He supposedly wanted to go to the 49ers. Obviously, the 49ers were down to trade for him. Uh, they didn't. They didn't get it done. And now we're trying to figure out who it's going to be. What it, What are they doing? And and supposedly by Green Bay's account that they're they're okay with Jordan Love, so they don't necessarily need a quarterback. I, I don't know what. I don't know what they're looking for in a package for Aaron Rodgers, or even if they're. Are they really just going to hang tight, force his hand, and, and see what happens? Someone had a great tweet going: Aaron Rodgers doesn't talk to his own mother. You think you're gonna you're gonna strong arm him in this situation? Yeah, I don't I don't see this ever happening. I mean, it's it's a fool's dream. It's something that you know I could go to bed tonight and alternate reality style it. But uh, all all rights and accounts here. Look, I think and and I'm hoping and I'm praying and I've been right now before because I had this whole debate going with Alex Smith versus Aaron Rodgers. It was for me, I needed Aaron Rodgers. I, I beat his drum all day long. I couldn't figure out why in the world anybody was making the case for Alex Smith. And then sure enough, draft day comes. The first pick in the draft, San Francisco 49ers, break your heart. So I have a feeling that this is going to happen again this year because I am invested as much as I have been before. So I'm just saying that you guys get ready for Mac Jones uh, slinging around his, his goofy <laughs> grin in San Francisco for a while. So you want him, you want them to do uh, Justin Fields, but you think they'll end up going Mac Jones. Is that where you're at? Yeah. I just, like I said, they broke my heart before several times over and choosing the wrong guy uh, over the next guy. So I, I got to say, I want Justin Fields. And I'll tell you, because the guy has 
something different. Like if you're going to trade for a guy that's the same as Jimmy Garoppolo, and I know people are like, well, it's a lazy comparison, but what else can you do? The guy's a pocket <laughs> passer. The guy is about the same build. The guy's the same look as uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, if you're going to trade one Jimmy Garoppolo for the other, then what are you even doing? You know, why are you trading up for this in the first place? What is it that uh, that capper Boston capper host of the golf gambling podcast calls him in uh, Slack Italian Osweiler? <laughs> <laughs> and the pick oh, is man. in, Rod. The oh, pick right, is see. in. What do we oh, got? Man. And this is a. I, I, I better. I'm nervous. We could have our first cash ticket, Sean. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have a, a result, yes or no, on your Mac Jones third pick, Kramer, right here, and maybe on some, and maybe on my Trey Lance. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're Trey Lance. That that's another possibility that's out there, and I'm okay. I mean, I'm on delay. I'm on I'm on the internet delay back here, so I don't know how far ahead of you guys are. So yeah, I'm I mean, I think is in now. Yep, yep. we're we're. Uh, oh man, I this is gonna this is everything because this this changes like I feel I, I'm fortunately not super invested in the quarterbacks, but this this is this is going to be a domino that starts the draft, and uh-huh. it'd be really nice to get started with a win, Sean. Yes, agreed. I'm glad and, for you guys because you guys got a lot of money on this. Me, I'm just you know I got another 15 <laughs> years of terrible football to watch if this happens. <laughs> I I think again I think if it is Mac Jones I think. What do you mean McCorkle? Yeah, McCorkle. <laughs> I, I, again, come on, you won't. You'll be chanting on the side like McCorkle, McCorkle. You know you're gonna love you some McCorkle, Rod. If they oh, if man. they end up going McCorkle. Uh, I, I have the last name of McCorkle, so I mean I already I already know I'm I'm used to saying that name. Oh, here we go. Yeah, walking the stage. I I just this whole the stage is too long. What? This yeah, just come on. We don't need the walk out the the red carpet talking to the person. They, oh, the wow. chat's already blowing it for me. Is yeah. this is this really happening? They yeah. Trey Lance. Oh, oh my god! Wow. Whoa. Oh, All right. Oh man. I mean, look, Trey I mean, Lance. Trey Lance is different. I'll give them that. At, at least they went different. But I still want the guy that actually did it on the big stage and not North Dakota State. No, not <laughs> North Dakota State, but the dude did it for like a half a season in North Dakota State. You got to pick the guy that actually did it on the big stage, man. Oh. And, and I'll, I'll just say this Ugh. at least you didn't trade up for a guy named McCorkle. <laughs> Yes. Look, Trey Lance could be exciting. Trey, I mean, North Dakota uh, state quarterbacks have done something in the National Football. League. Uh, Sean claims uh, being on the bench when the Super Bowl played still still gets you a Super Bowl championship. Yeah, I, look, at least if I'm a Niners fan, at least we went and got a guy that is going to be a little bit more dynamic and maybe resemble the way the NFL is going to look in the future. Mobile guys like Daniel Jones, two way players like Kyler Murray. <laughs> I I just fucking, I'm into Daniel. so fucking annoyed. All right, let's get oh. my first loss out of here. Yeah, well, let's get, I, well, I let's my break. loss too because I had uh, I had Trey Lance well, over six and a half. So that is, but I was getting plus odds. And, so. and we're bringing picked on D back in because I know he's about to show us a very nice highlight of uh, Trey Lance up there at North Dakota State. <laughs> I got a few different highlights, but this one is great. As you see the competition, watch this play action here. Look, oh, oh, look at this throw. Come on, Kramer, could you have thrown that? <laughs> oh my god. All right. I assume do you have another one maybe? I, I feel like Rod I is do. not excited about that. That's That was on purpose. Here we go. <laughs> this is against the Butler Bulldogs. Who knew they had yes. a football team? Very good NFL comparison, Butler Bulldogs. Yes, yes, that is highly exactly the NFC West secondary they'll be facing all game after game after game. I'm really excited about that. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, like, you can't be upset about this at least, or right? I know you wanted fields, but this is better than Mac Jones, right? Oh, I'm not mad. I mean, look, it, it was really between me in my head. It was between Lance and fields anyways, but I landed more on the field side of it because again, the guy did it in such a huge capacity. I mean, he was on the national stage and still, you know, producing well. Whereas again, look, Trey Lance, maybe this is good. Maybe this is the kind of a situation where a Trey Lance can sit behind Jimmy Garoppolo for a little bit of time. And we don't feel like we've spent too much to have a backup quarterback learn the system, get a year under his belt. Cause I'm still convinced that Jimmy's going to stay. I don't think they're going to be able to ship Jimmy now unless, you know, maybe Belichick comes begging for him, which I doubt is going to happen too. So. All, All right. right. Appreciate it, Rod. Thanks for calling in, man. Thanks gentlemen. Good I'm luck, go man. And cry. <laughs> Atlanta Falcons right. are now on the clock. They're ready to go at the number four spot. I still think 
they go pits here, but what, I, I don't know where are you at Kramer. Does this change what the Falcons well, are going to bring John on uh, representing the Falcons? I, I, I actually, I thought Julio was going to get dealt by today. Yeah. I thought they were going to take Jamar chase. I, if they're not going to take Jamar chase, it's gotta be Kyle Pitts, Right. Right. John. Dirty bird. Oh Let's yeah. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that. You know what? Dirt. I I do remember the Dirty Bird, and it feel like. Can you imagine if that happened now? That wouldn't that, that wouldn't happen. Now. <laughs> anyway, John, where are they going? Pits. Pits. We got Pits here. Six foot six, two forty five. Too big for cornerbacks. Too fast for linebackers. This is this is a day one starter. Come on now, no brainer. Let's yeah, go. and I I could use a win here. First non quarterback selected, I have Kyle Pitts and minus one twenty, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars on the line. And Sean, real quick, because I we did have a we did finally have a prop. I'm just going to update everyone. Uh, my balance now minus a hundred thousand dollars. Sean still have one point one five million at risk, but I think uh, I'm also down a hundred thousand. Oh, although it? mine I don't think's updated. Kramer. Oh yeah, all right. I I've not. Uh, oh. Poor, I'm sorry, Sean. The Trey Lance one, I, I like that angle. No, I, I, I swore they were gonna go Mac Jones, but Trey Lance is the guy at three. That that crafty Kyle Shanahan zigged and then zagged and then zigged back. So, uh, I'm just glad we we don't have to talk about it anymore. John, what's your take? You, if you're a Falcons guy, you want them to go Pitts, or or would you rather they go quarterback here? What do you, what are you rooting for as a football fan? Absolutely. Let's go um, pits here. Matt Ryan is going to be there for the next two more years. So with that being said, you got to take pits. You got to take Julio and his hamstring for the next three years before he becomes an unrestricted free agent. And you just go balls to the wall, right? NASCAR offense, right? You're going to win 35, 32, or you're going to lose 42, 35. But you're going to be in there. Offense wins games, right? Defense wins championship, but offense wins games. Yep. Let's win some games. Their their offense hasn't been relevant since their Super Bowl season 2016. Um, so let's 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 get a freak athlete. Four, you know, four four point four four forty. You know, mismatch nightmare can play in the line, outside the lines. You, you know this this Atlanta pick right here. They're if they haven't gotten their godfather, you know, trade offers, they're not, they're going to stand pat. They're going to take yeah. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Pitts. Let's, let's, let's make some money on this next prop. Oh. And Kramer, now you've make- thrown out, uh, and, and, and nice breakdown there, John. But Kramer, you've thrown out the idea that Atlanta Falcons shocked the world and they, and they draft Jamar Chase here. I, I mean, I, like I said, I think some of that was, I was pretty certain that the Julio was going to get trade. I really thought they were going to deal him. I thought someone was going to pick him up. I think he won the owners attached to him. The city of Atlanta is attached to him. And two, the, that, like that salary is pretty high. And for an aging veteran, I, I just think the market's kind of small for him. Yeah. And I mean, I guess they could shock the world and take Justin Fields here, right? Yeah. Justin Fields, local uh, kid would be, from Georgia, would be a shock, but also kind of would make sense in that offense in the dome. Again, Georgia let him get away to Ohio State. Can the state of Georgia lock in Justin Fields once again? Uh, that'll be disappointing because I have Justin Fields over. Uh-huh. So and and uh, well, I have over four. I have and Kyle half. Pitts, Fuck. first non quarterback selected. Oh, so you need I that. think that would still be. Or that, yeah, mm. that still would be alive. Although that would be interesting, because then what would Cincinnati do? They seem locked in on Chase. I guess they would still go Chase, and then the Dolphins would get Kyle Pitts. All right, pick is in. The pick is in. Come on, Pitts. <laughs> Let's go. Pitts. And by the way, while the, while the pick is coming in, highly recommend you head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash slack where. Jong amongst others, just slaying it. Uh, if you like to bet tennis, even if you don't oh, like to yes. bet tennis and you want to win money, check that out he- deep into the top shot. I mean, I highly recommend you head over there. It's a safe place. People it's a safe place. He's doing it all. Forget, he doesn't UFC. need to slowly UFC. walk out every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, UFC as well. <laughs> oh, my this God. is a huge pick for the new regime in Atlanta. Can I give you an instant reaction real quick to the Kyle Pitts? Let's go, baby. All right. Dirty dirty bird. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Are you cashing, Sean? Yeah. Do I need to update the tracker? 
Yes, I just cashed one hundred thousand dollars on Kyle Pitts, first non quarterback selected. Let's go. I'm back to. Uh, I think I'm back to even, right? Uh, no, you're you're up. Oh now. well, yeah, because I had the hundred twenty thousand, and then I yeah. won a hundred yeah. on top of that. We're, so I'm I have a net positive one twenty. I'm worry. beating Kramer by twenty thousand dollars right now. This is pretty awesome. Uh, this does, is fun. Does, John does co- cocktail done. Do you have any pits highlight or, or, or yeah, well, that, we're, really. we're bring, yeah, we're going to bring them up right now. You ready with the highlight pick Dundee? <laughs> I am ready. And this is a concerning thing to me is how he responds to, to plays like this. As you see here, <laughs> the illegal <World's> hit largest <laughs> cocktail party, Georgia, Florida. <laughs> don't oh my be, God. don't be a pussy, dude. Get up, play the game. Come on, I'm I'm a little concerned. Uh, I like it. Well, I like I, it. I got another highlight. Give me. All right, a, let's, give, give me let's a see it. Let's see it. We'll, give me a minute. <laughs> Colby is on brand right now. Very much on brand. Here we All go. Right. I'm ready. All right, there we go. Double coverage, getting it done. Against A and M. Don't forget, my man is only twenty. He becomes twenty-one yeah. in October, so don't forget that. It's gonna be c- uh, celebrating 20. with some cider. All right, John. That is a beast of a, uh, a catch there, and getting some uh, mic advice in the chat. Pick Dundee, get a little bit up on the mic there when talking <laughs> into it. All right, uh, and John. thanks, John. Appreciate you yeah. calling in, man. John, Let great. It right. Yes. All right, let's. Uh, where, where are we? Where are, uh, we're should, on the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. They're on the clock. Justin Wood should be uh, scheduled he'll be joining to call shortly. In. Yes, and I'm showing your current balance right now, Sean. You're looking good. Uh, you're up on me. Uh, well, you see, you you should remove that uh, the dash there because yep. it looks like a negative. Nope, right? I just did that. It's nice. very confusing. I was ag- I'm <laughs> in full agreement. There we go. How about that? I'm uh yeah, looking pretty good here. I, I can't believe Kyle Pitts first non quarterback to be drafted was only minus 120. That felt like easy money. And and maybe we got a little cute with the Mac Jones thing, but I I had a strong feeling uh about that, you know, from day one. So we'll see. All right, let's see where are we at now. So much stuff going on in my face. All right, we got. Uh, it looks like Justin's joining us as we speak. Talk a little Bengals. Uh, they got to take offensive line, I would imagine, right? I'll wait for him to get up on the video before we we bring him up. But man. well, and Jamar Chase, he's wearing the Bengals shoes, Ryan. Is that uh, is he on? No, no, we got uh, uh, no video. So if 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 Justin uh, once he joins with video, I'll bring him on. Oh, man, that's disappointing. My mock's what? already. Yeah, I mean, you had betray- to get three well, right. I'm not. I'm not too upset about it. It's just shocking to me. Yep. All right, where are we at now? Let's see if I. No, he's on audio. You there, Justin? Nope. All right. Thought we almost had Justin there, but I. I do think. Uh, I still think the Bengals go Jamar Chase Kramer. And you're saying you have him going Penny Sewell? I, I just, it seems hard. I, if you, how do you not? I just don't understand how you do it. I don't understand how you, you just watched Burrow get hurt. Sure, maybe you don't think it's his, it's all the offensive line fault, but everyone seems to be on the same page. Short of this guy opting out, this is a generational tackle. And it sounds like he's in a tier by himself. I know, Sean, you reported there are teams that thinking maybe Slater. Yes, arm length but is an issue with from uh, a standpoint of just like footwork and everything else. Everyone seems to think this guy is just going to be a stud that you pencil in like Jonathan Ogden style, and he's just there forever. All right, we got Justin on. Let's talk a little. Let's talk a little Bengals now. Who day? Who day, guys? What's up, fellas? What's what, up? joining us on the line? Justin Woods, stand-up comedian, diehard Bengals oh, fan. Oh my god. Oh, man. now J- Justin, two big questions. Who do you want them to draft? And who do you think they will draft? I I'm on the soul bandwagon. Like I say, we got to protect, we got to protect burrow like right now. But I mean, I saw they're getting the band back together. He's showing up in the orange and black shoes. He, I, I think they're going Jamar chase. I, I don't love the pick. I like the pick, but I, he, I, you can't be upset getting a 
wide receiver with that much talent coming to your squad. But I think T. Higgins is a problem for a lot of offenses already. And I yeah. think, but who knows? Who knows? May, if Burroughs like beg, like saying, hey, they already got, they signed uh, Moss last week. So it's like the whole entire LSU offense is coming back to <laughs> the Bengals. So, I mean, I don't know that, if that's that the is, plan. That kind of. Yeah, that kind of that signing went under the radar. Uh, undrafted like free agent, right? Yeah, that is Moss. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you not? Of all the undrafted free agents, you're not going to give Randy Moss's son a shot. Well, it's more. Why yeah. don't you want Randy Moss in your locker room? Isn't well, that a good thing? Yeah, and also, <laughs> I, like Justin said, I didn't. I kind of it just blew by me. But bringing the old LSU offense back together, you got Burrow, you got Moss, and now in my mind, you're about to get Chase. Yeah, like I said, I don't love the pick. I don't hate it. Um, I lo- where I would is love- your uh, where are your expectations right now for the Bengals? Year two, Joe Burrow coming off the brutal ACL. Sounds like he should be ready to go. Week one. Where are you at with uh, just kind of the expectations as a Bengals fan? Um, I might be playing Homer, but I'm like at eight and nine. Yeah. See, Justin's a real pro, already adjusting himself <laughs> to the 17 he didn't game screw it season. Up. That was that was very professional. Exactly. Even though he's probably been drinking, eight and nine, still getting it right. Got the delirium out tonight. We got the special beers. <laughs> oh wow, delirium. Okay. Not what a Coors like? Light. I didn't have any Coors Light <laughs> in the fridge, but if I had Coors Light, I'd have had one for you. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And delirium. Yeah. I don't think I could be doing the entire draft on, on delirium. No, I at have that one. Eight, yeah. That, <laughs> what is that? What does that come in at alcohol wise? That's like 12% or something crazy. Yeah. It's up there. I think nine point something. And I got a nice pint of it. So nice. I, don't know. Um, I, I do know one thing though. I would be pissed if I were one of these fans at this draft. Yeah. Could you imagine if the first time out of the house, your first concert is Kings of Leon? <laughs> yeah, at the like, NFL draft. Yeah, I'm like, we just did it's... COVID again. Like, let's <laughs> yeah. ru- <laughs> you're ruining you're ruining two things. Because if you're yeah. if you're a Kings of Leon fan, which again, I'm sure there's some Kings of Leon fans out there, but you want to go see an entire concert of them, hang, you know, like have the Kings of Leon experience again. I don't know what yeah. that is exactly, but you don't want to be hanging out with a bunch of drunk Browns fans. Like they're two different experiences. And again, the Eagles and and Philadelphia really nailed it. It was just a bunch of drunk dudes. Of course, Ryan, uh, yeah. we had a, we had a super drunk dude doing man on the street interviews for us yep. at that draft. Epic, and this is where, yeah. this is where the, uh, this sound drop came from Look, look, look at our, participating look at our in the sports gambling podcast. <laughs> look, look at our lovely fan base. Who is this guy? <laughs> Am, oh, I, like I, am I a little bit ahead of you guys? He's walking to the podium right now. Oh, okay. Oh, you're, yeah. you're a little bit ahead. That's fine. We're looking at a Dion 1989 looking, looking super fly. Prime. Oh, Prime I the, Dion. I got it. He's already, he's at the podium announcing oh, it now. You got oh, okay. Break it to us. You guys ready? He announced it. Yeah, let's, let's go. Do it. We have a new receiver, Jamar Chase. Oh, yes. Bengal. Let's go. Sean's With on the fire. Bengal shoes on and the orange. Oh, uh, hot, 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 hot. Yeah, you know what, guys? I don't hate it. I don't. I'm excited. (laughs) Right? I mean, because it's. I know the the smart fan in you wants to say lineman, but come on. When you get Jamar Chase, you got Joe Burrow as a fan. You got to be excited about that combination. This is fun. I'm a huge (laughs) T. I'm a huge T. Higgins fan, though. So this is going to open him up for a Uh, lot. And and they still got Tyler Boyd, like. (laughs) <laughs> they're going to be an interesting, and we're doing a bunch of these underdog fantasy best ball drafts. They are going to be an interesting team to throw some Jamar Chase, Joey Burrow, aka Stogie Joe, T Higgins in there. Uh, does Pick Dundee have a highlight for uh, old Justin Wood? Not that, not that he isn't familiar with Jamar Chase's work. I th- it looks already, like he, it looks like he's got a highlight queued up and ready to go. Yeah, good eye, Mike. Here we go. <laughs> receiver look. Burrow steps up. Oh. I mean, Come wide on. open, but he's got speed. To me, this is the guy. Like this yeah. is the this is the he's in a tier by himself. I mean, he just blows by dudes. Yeah, and he and he did it in the SEC, which again, not not crazy defenses, but still some top talent as far as the quarterback position. And so many of these receivers this year are on the smaller side. 
Jamar Chase is not really that. He's a he's a guy who can, you know, as Colby likes to point out, go across the middle. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh man. Well, I you know, look at oh white suit. Mm-hmm. He's looking he's looking dapper. He's Kramer. ready for the occasion. All right, Justin, appreciate you calling in. Any any final thoughts on the Bengals, their selection and their 2021 outlook? We we might have uh we might have lost Justin. We lost Justin. That's yeah. okay, Ryan. Moving it right along here in the 2021 SGPN NFL draft live reaction show. Oh my goodness. We got the Dolphins coming up at six. Yeah. We, uh, do we have a uh, we, we have a, a representative for the Dolphins? Awesome. Uh it, well, what's fully up, boys? Fu- fully garbed in the uh the <laughs> Dolphins uniform. Uh what's what's going on, man? What's up, boys? How we doing? Joining Fins us up. on yeah. the line from Better Than Vegas. What's happening, man? Leo. Living the dream, baby. Getting ready. The pick is already in for Miami. I am absolutely devastated. I was hoping so bad for it to be Jamar Chase. Yeah, I was for him to slip. For it. Oh. Now, do you do you want them to go receiver again here? Do they go Jalen Waddle? Do they go Devontae Smith? Who do you want them to draft? Who do you think let, they will draft? Let me make this abundantly clear. <laughs> absolutely not. No way, Ooh. no how. Do I want Devontae Smith? He is way too fragile. I do not <laughs> want Jalen Waddle. He's another guy. He was injury uh injured all last year. I do not have a ton of confidence in him. Um, honestly, the SEC was probably the most overrated defensive conference last year and the year before, really. <laughs> you sound so, like Colby. I I, I, I have I want nothing to do with them. Honestly, there are two guys that I'm looking at that I'd be thrilled to get. One is going to be Sewell because you know what? We need to guard Tua. Tua's a little fragile still. We still have plenty of offensive weapons. We can get another guy later on in the draft. The other guy I'm looking at that I would be thrilled to get is Micah Parsons. He's an absolute Ooh. stud. Now, I would be surprised if the Dolphins took Micah Parsons here. I think they may go receiver. Do you not want an Alabama receiver because both Jalen Waddle? And Devonta Smith said that they thought that uh, Mac Jones was better than Tua. <laughs> Is that a reason you don't like? Uh, you're not rooting for one of the Alabama I, receivers. I mean, that just kind of speaks to their intelligence and like, in order to play football, like you got to be kind of, sort of smart. So I mean, <laughs> any chance they go Mac Jones and get that upgrade at the no. quarterback position? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, again, am I being clear here, boys? No. no. You are absolutely a- not. You are you're a, you're a Tua supporter. Appreciate that. Again, I'm on the opposite side. I I think Tua doesn't quite have it, but again, I I do think the Dolphins have a solid team, well coached, good defense. The Micah Parsons angle, I I'm kind of surprised to hear that a Dolphins fan would want that, but uh, bringing a nice playmaker to that defensive side of the ball, pretty exciting. Kramer, where are you at? What the Dolphins should do? What you think they'll do? Do you have any action uh, prop bet wise? Uh, it's uh, and let me quick show everyone how you're doing. Very well, uh, up 275k, Sean. With still om- almost a million to go. I. It seems like people that know stuff think it's going to be Waddle. I I'm kind of in the same camp of I don't know if that's the pick, but yeah. I I I think we're gonna. I mean, at some point we're gonna start having the conversation about how there's value in the defensive guys because they're gonna keep slipping. And if the offensive linemen keep slipping again, as a Giants fan, God, this is. This is what I want to see. This is the beginning of them getting one of these tackles. Well, yeah, and I have a uh, Eagles select Jalen Waddle and Giants select Devonta Smith. I I put those in a while ago when we did the prop show. Uh, got you know smaller plays, nice little plus odds on there. Um, so we'll see. I could I could have action on those if they end up doing it or. Again, maybe. Well, yeah, Sean, you I'm have, trying to think some of these other ones that you, may. You have Michael Parsons to be the first def- defensive player. Uh, on too? the prop sheet. Oh on no, the, I think first linebacker drafted. N- no, first defensive player drafted at three to one. So oh, that's right. That's, right. that's coming up. That 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 could be coming up. And in I play. also have first offensive lineman to be drafted. Rashawn Slater. Again, that was just kind of oh, got good plus odds on that. You're right. You also have first linebacker <laughs> Michael Parsons. You're heavily invested there. Uh, and then also you have Jalen Waddle going to the Eagles. Yeah. Um. So, so that could be uh, impact. God I have, damn it. Oh, the pick is in. <laughs> All right. Do you want to uh, reveal who the pick is? Stupid Jalen Waddle. Boom! <laughs> Dolphins first pick is a wide receiver. Sean, put Cash it on the board. That. Cash it. All right. So the Eagles are not getting Jalen Waddle, which is uh, disappointing. But I did have, I did end up putting Jalen Waddle in my final mock draft. So I'm I do li- have that 
I could a, see, yeah, I could see being disappointed if I was a Dolphins fan there. Yeah, so Leo, I you're mean, not you're not loving the Waddle pick here. Not loving the Waddle pick. It's really funny that you mentioned that you're not a big Tua guy. It's because we do on Better Than Dot Vegas every Sunday morning. We'll do a big roundtable. We get all of our guys together. We talk about it. I am the only one that is a Tua believer. I've been all <laughs> over Tua. I take shit for it every single week. Wear my jersey with pride. Even when he gets benched in the fourth quarter for Fitz Magic, no problem. <laughs> I don't right, like this pick at all. Let's get Colby on. Maybe he can cheer you up with a highlight here. Guys, all right, Colby. Let's see it. it. I think it's a good pick. If you're gonna go why he's I think he's better than Devontae Smith. We know Devontae Smith, you know, kind of fragile. I mean, look at that. Look at that cool ass chain he's got. The <laughs> dude has this. he has number one receiver drip. I'll say yeah, that. He does. A lot of drip. Look at Waddle with open space. This is against uh, Joe Burrow's LSU squad. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, man. Great. Clean, no oh, face mask. Yeah. Can't teach awesome. that. I mean, Saban came out today and said that. Uh, that say uh, that Waddle's burst. He, it's the it's the best he's ever seen at the receiver position. So uh, you have right. that going for you. Certainly, Tua does need a little bit of help, and and maybe that'll end up being the help it, he needs. Is it good to get comp to Santana Moss? I don't feel like the ceiling's <laughs> super high there. Probably probably not amazing. All right. Well, Leo, appreciate you calling in, and make sure you check out Leo and all the uh, Better Than Vegas guys and our page over at uh, Better Than Vegas. Thanks a lot, Leo. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Fins up, baby. Cheers, Fins man. up. Like it. All right. Moving, moving right along, Ryan. We got kind of an exciting, uh, exciting draft. Who, who's so up now? Who oh, got a lot of Detroit Lions? Oh, let's let, we got a couple, go. we, we got a couple Lions fans here. I'm gonna give Colby a break. And we're gonna we got we got a friend of the program, uh and I, I believe revealer of the correct pronunciation <laughs> of Paquin, Mr. Danny Locks, and then we have the man, the myth, the legend, the Sasquatch. Or the Mr. Dan Leach, are you? Is that a Barry Sanders jersey? Now, of course it is. It's from 1997. I mean, I've had this thing for as long as the Lions haven't had a playoff win. <laughs> that, of course, is is uh, Dan Leach. Dan, your Lions—they're on the clock. What do you want them to do? What do you think they will end up doing? I want them to not screw it up, which has happened pretty much my entire life. Listen, uh, you know, Waddle, mm -hmm. by the way, I think Tua sucks too for your previous guy. But uh, I, I will say this. The, the Lions could, you know, shock the world here and take Justin Strawberry Fields, even though they got Jared Goff. I think that there's – you've got to trade this pick. Brad Holmes comes in. He does the oh, unthinkable. Wow, the, pick, again. He moved. the pick is yeah, already the, in. The pick's already in, so – and, and the, the rumor was that they were well, trying to trade up for Jamar Chase and they couldn't. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do here. Just don't take, so, don't take Eric Ebron. So Danny Locks, who, who are you hoping for? <laughs> oh, Suell for sure. Yeah, you, at uh, this point, right? You got to take gotta him left, him left tackle. To. Yeah, it does seem like Dan Campbell, Chris Spielman. They want they want to they want one of those big uglies. Someone someone down in the trenches Who's chewing kneecaps can move people yeah, he around. Kneecaps. Yeah, what more do you but, want? Well, uh, Bama wide receivers will probably go back to back here. So. You think so? Really? No, you, I, you I have hope not. But oh. you as, you have as, them as Dan if, Leach said. I don't. I don't want it to happen at all. Yeah. I can tell you this: if the Lions take Devonta Smith, the the town is going to be on fire tonight, and not in a good way. <laughs> I mean, if they take any, I mean, obviously if Kyle Pitts was there at seven, you take him. But I just think that there's, there's, you need as the Lions have no receivers, which is one thing, but you need as many picks as you can get with Brad Holmes' vision of shaking this thing up and, and rebuilding the team. You can't just, I mean, Sewell's fine. If they take Sewell along with Decker, I mean, you have it, you got to build an offensive line for, for Jared Goff, who's obviously might not be anything going forward for this team or could be something. <laughs> but he, I, I just, if they take Smith, I'm going to, and I love offense and I love, it's our first draft, by the way, is, as Danny knows about Stafford since 2009, what was I 15 back then? Just kidding. But uh, <laughs> it's it's they've got to. I think you got to move down here and you hope a team mm -hmm. wants Justin Fields or no one wants Mac Jones. That guy's terrible. But I, I there's hopefully they make a, a, the right move here. They, I really hope so. Did uh, Danny Locks? What do you uh, what do you, what's your worst case scenario for the Lions here? Devonta Smith is that the worst case? Yes, worst case is Devonta Smith. Um, I picked him in the mock draft because I think uh, 
<laughs> in fact, it'll probably fucking happen. And that's that's the worst case scenario where we get Devonta Smith, but no one can fucking block for fucking Jared Goff. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the worst thing I got to watch on Sundays along with every other Detroit fan. Oh, man. I You know, I don't... I feel like if I'm a Lions fan, I'm going to be sad if they don't trade down or take the lineman. And I'm going to be sad yeah, for you. Have to. Yes. Yeah, by the way, Danny, I'm with you. That would be Smith is probably it would be the worst case because that's what actually could happen. The worst case is drafting Mac Jones, which I mean, <laughs> in, in, the, in the previous regimes, like Martin Mayhew or stupid oh. good Quinn Medicine Man, I could see that happening. But Quinn I don't Medicine. think it's going. I don't think it's going. Oh my god. Danny, goodness. we gotta pray. We gotta pray they finally because listen, I'll, I'll say I've told you guys this before when I've been on. I really think what Brad Holmes has done, and, and we'll see what Dan Campbell is. I like the old body kneecaps thing, but you're doing everything the right way. He's a college pro scout, you're the college scouting guy. Quinn was the pro scouting guy. You got to develop guys, you know, out of college and draft the right players. Everything he's done, and I hate that we lost Kenny Galladay. But it's it's everything is making sense to build this team the way the Rams, the Chiefs, you know, the Ravens, all these teams that kind of had to rebuild and and start with the young quarterback, you know, or even a guy like Jared Goff, but really just kind of rebuild everything. Here's the pick, by the way. Let's I was going to say sure that- they're celebrating very violently in the <laughs> war room. Which wow, they're wrestling. This is they yeah. are old school. I think there's a guy on the ground. Yeah. He's biting someone's yeah. knee. It's yeah. so, it's so I'm fine with this. I'm fine with Sewell. Yeah. The best yeah. offensive right. lineman in the draft. You have a, you get you build from the lines out. I, I, I'm okay with that. If they've taken anyone else or not traded down, I've been very upset. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, I I think it's the. I, I mean, Col- Colby, you got you got the. Uh, you so got- it's official. Penne Sewell is the pick. Yep, Sewell's a stud. Sewell's an absolute stud. And along with Taylor Decker, and along with what they're going to try to do, I think this is definitely a sensible pick. And you're not the wasting. Relief. <laughs> yeah, you're not wasting value. You're not no. doing anything crazy. You're not reaching. <laughs> this was a smart salad. <laughs> so much relief on Danny's face right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they didn't blow it's, it. They got the best offensive lineman by all accounts in the draft. Ryan, I lost my uh, little underdog play of first O lineman to be drafted. It was it was the favorite in Sewell, so I lost a couple bucks there. But still. Still looking pretty uh, good. I was gonna say I was just about to update. I, I can update my uh, money tracker. I'm up to plus two eighty now, wow, Sean. Wow, you're have, out. Of, you're out ahead of me. St- I still have eight hundred k at risk. Can I borrow up, some of that? Can oh, I borrow a couple hundred k? I'll uh, great. I have a I have a discount uh, for friends and family on the vig. Col- we're gonna bring Colby in to show. You got a highlight ready, Colby? I do, I do. And this pick is great. Uh, I, I'm sold on this guy. This is one of the guys in the Pac-12 that lobbied to play, guys. Lobbied to play. So look, opted here we in. Are. <laughs> I like the epic music. Lineman tape is the best. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> lineman highlights. It doesn't get better. Uh, Great footwork. I mean, yeah. he's a beast. He's a complete beast. <laughs> Arms could be a little longer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Sean had a problem with his length. Yeah, you know, I like a I like a long arm left tackle. Guys, Mario Cristobal is the head coach of Oregon. He was uh, formerly the offensive line coach at Alabama. He says he's the best he's ever coached. Wow. Great pick by the Lions. I feel like we're watching a, a, a Transformers trailer or something. <laughs> it is. It's very Michael Bay emotion. I love it. No, but this is the guy. Listen, he's personal. He's agile. He, you have to build for the Lions out. The Lions have had offensive line issues. Pretty much for the last decade, ever since the, you know Stafford's been there, and along with a guy like Taylor Decker and some other pieces they've been adding, and we'll add going forward. This this is a very smart. I don't want to say safe because you know you want to take chances, but this is what you've got to do. We don't know what golf's going to be. We don't know if he's going to be there for a year, two years, or no years. But this is what you need to try to build the kind of team that can actually start becoming a contender again. I think you're excited if you're a Lions fan. That's the yeah. bottom line. I'm happy for you guys. Awesome. Well. Thanks, guys. Good luck on the uh, congratulations well, on the Lions not blowing it yet. Well, we that's still don't not know. Yet. Still got two <laughs> I, days left. Still got two days. As you know, Sean, I root for the Lions uh, probably because I was a childhood fan of Barry Sanders. But it, this is our year. <laughs> Look out! Here come the Lions. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Our by our pleasure. Yes. yes. All right. Cheers, guys. Okay. Now we we get we get to catch our breath here, Ryan. Oh, Carolina have- Panthers on oh. the clock. Whew, that was pretty. Uh, that was fun. A fun little uh, turbine of picking. Let's update the balances while yes, we're at it. Take a little. Uh, take a little. Are we update. good? Or have you updated everything? We're good to go. 
You got your so. latest loss in there. Yeah, you know, I, I took some shots. Again, got maybe got a little cute with the Rashawn Slater first offensive lineman drafted, but a plus two fifty. I heard enough noise to make it kind of interesting. Still holding out on first defensive player drafted, Mika Parsons. That could be fun. And and can I just uh, just point something out that I was again maybe standing on the table for Sean? Yes. There will be no trades down mm. in the first ten picks. We have not had one yet. It, it doesn't. We always have all this talk about it. And then come draft day, it yes. doesn't happen. We said why the buyers just didn't seem to be there. No, there wasn't so, enough of a market. Yeah, so uh, you know we'll we'll see we'll see where it sh- shapes up from here. Let's see here, Sean, your updated balance put yes. up on the screen for everyone to see. You're at 175k, and you still have 830k out on at, on risk or at risk. Uh, remember, Sean, I hit my Justin Fields over four and a half. Uh, that's part of what cash oh, to get me right. up to two eighty. Yeah, congrats, eight hundred k. I know. Uh, I think you're. Are you sitting? I don't know if you were sitting on official uh, play. Oh uh, no, I I did bet Justin Fields over. I, I think six and a half. I got it at so. And then uh, yeah, I got that later. But that I'm sitting on that as well. I mean, what? Uh, but that's not officially in our uh, do, in our props here. Do people expect it's like us my to- unofficial? Uh, Actual stuff, I bet as well. Do people expect us to just? Uh, w- I forgot the catheter. I mean, what happens when we have to take a piss? Sean? <laughs> you can get up and take a piss. I, Is I think that allowed? Yeah, I think they'll probably allow that. Um, Here, let me bring Colby in so I can go take a piss and he can be your co-host. Okay. Ryan, not even making it to pick nine. All right. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I have to explain myself. I mm-hmm. I didn't plan this out well. I got the second vaccine shot. Yes. And it's kicking my On fucking the- <laughs> ass right now. But I'm playing through the pain. <laughs> All right, Colby. Right now we we got the Panthers. The pick is in for the number eight spot. What do you think the Panthers are doing here? I know you put out a number of mock drafts. What did you have them doing? You know, well, it's weird. I, I think now that uh, that that certain players are available that I did not foresee, um, I had them going O line, but I, I I'm interested to see what they do here because I I had them going Sewell. Yeah, um, so did I. So so do they go Slater? You think they could because- go Slater? They could also go. Uh- <laughs> they could also go quarterback here. I I wouldn't be shocked if they kind of like. Uh, Justin Fields or even Mac Jones, like uh, Mac Jones. I, I don't know. Where do you think Mac Jones ends up now, Colby? Well, I mean, I, there's New England rumblings. You know, obviously Belichick, Saban, good friends. They used to coach together in Cleveland, perhaps there. But uh, what about what about like something like a Micah Parsons to Carolina? Any shot that that happens? Yeah, I, I mean, again, I don't, I don't have a great sense of where Micah Parsons is going to land at this point. He was kind of mocked to a number of different teams. Carolina seemed like an interesting trade up spot, but again, that was for teams that maybe were interested in coming up to get Trey Lance, maybe interested to coming up to get Justin Fields. It doesn't look like a trade will happen here. And again, the 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 Broncos just got Teddy Bridgewater. Does that take them out of the Justin Fields uh, market? That'll be interesting. But yeah, I mean, they really could go anywhere here. I, I guess gun to my head, I would go Slater. That's kind of the safest pick here. But I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, well, well, the pick is in, my friend. And, and Ooh. it is J.C. Horn, cornerback, South wow. Carolina. Wow! Oh my God! So I, I lost my uh, kind of big dog, of Micah Parsons, at at three to one of him being the first uh, defensive player selected. Wow. But again, that's pretty surprising. We heard rumblings that he could go that, that some teams had JC horn graded higher than Sertan. Still no trades. I'm just going to point that out. Still, still no, no trades. trades. Justin Fields still off the board. Sean, yes. there were some things I was strong. We were both, both hit the Justin Fields over Okay, Not, I didn't hit it officially. Uh, and then, well, I do have Justin Fields to the Broncos at eight to one. That could be a nice little uh, save for me. Well, they're getting Aaron Rodgers now, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't see that coming. I am sitting on uh, Patrick Sertan to be a top ten pick, uh, so he's got to be picked nine or ten. But it, again, seems like a good spot for him to go to the Cowboys. I'd be shocked if the Cowboys take him uh, or don't take him rather. And we got the Denver Broncos now on the clock. But before we get to that. Colby, why don't you? Uh, do you get any JC Horn action coming? I sure do, and I love the way this kid plays football. Check out this play right Snap here against Bo Nix. Sidearms it, 
and it's picked off by JC Horn. That's candy from a baby. Local Carolina kid. I got some more. On third and 11, Nick's in trouble. Escapes. Now Nick throws into traffic and it's intercepted. So pick JC six, so Horn sweet. Making a play. JC Horn. Well, Ryan, now now your Broncos, or sorry, your Giants, hanging around here. Slater, Slater, is that who you want? All right, let, well, I mean, and we're on the we're in the clock. Denver Broncos. Let's do bring we have? On. Yeah, we have. Of course, do we have? All right, Colby, you get a break. Uh, let's let's bring him on one at a time. First up, from deep in the ca caverns. Wow, where where are you, Dick? We're Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> oh Dick, yeah, the, the great, late great uh, Dick Olson calling in from a B dub, uh, and we have uh, Mr. Tyler Lentz, another uh, frequent in the SGPN Slack space, friend of the program, donning the the Broncos cap. I like it. Hell yeah! All right, so Dick, you're on the clock. The Broncos are on the clock. Who do you want them to draft here? Again, there's the, all of a sudden these Aaron Rodgers rumors came out of nowhere. Yeah. Do you want them to grab a quarterback here with Justin Fields? What do you want the Broncos to do? What do you think the Broncos will do? I'm hearing from my boys in Denver. We're trading three one picks. We're going to somehow magically get Rodgers. So I don't know if we're picking for Green Bay or what. I have a feeling we're going to take Fields here. But if, if, if all that's false, I wouldn't mind Parsons, honestly. On I feel like with Bridgewater and Locke, we got, we got plenty of those. Plenty of potential at quarterback, but uh, well, so I, I want to know Kramer. That was a quick jerk off move we just did when you were <laughs> about Well, I mean, have to know when to call. Uh, you know, uh, Tyler, you're a, you're a huge uh, Broncos fan as well. Again, what do you think they do? What do you want them to do at this pick? Yeah, I I want them to take Justin Fields, and I I think that's what they're going to do. Uh, I think they brought in Teddy Bridgewater to be. They may be the guy this year, and Justin Fields sits behind him this year. I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm really kind of shocked about the Bridgewater trade yesterday. So, I'm really, I, I, I just want to see what they do. I, I have no idea. <laughs> do you think? Are you, are you letting yourself believe that there's a possibility that Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback come next year? We got two more chapters. I didn't even know that was a possibility until like a couple minutes before the draft started. But I don't think. I don't think that'll happen. So, and Sean, I did I did mock the Broncos taking Parsons. So, and, and by the way, you, Dick Olson clearly ordering some shots. Yeah, to go I, hear, with the Broncos I heard some uh, some fireball going on here. I mean, who's the pick that you guys hate if they take him? Well, I was going to hate them taking Trey Lance, but we don't have to worry about that. So, yeah. that's that's nice. Yeah, I, I'm sitting on a Broncos. Select fields at eight to one feels pretty decent right now, Kramer. Uh, I mean, it no, the Saints are going to get him later. He's falling all the <laughs> way in the twin. I'm telling you, Justin Fields falling. I if I'm a if I'm a Broncos fan, I mean they're picking for the Packers, right? They did, isn't that the report? Yeah. Uh, we'll see, right? Aaron Rodgers is coming to Denver, and we're winning the fucking Super Bowl this week. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's yeah. what's happening. That would Portland be amazing. back. Got no fun, Judy out there. You throw Rogers and then Von Miller in back. So oh, it's a Super Bowl around here. Yeah. Look They're out. All the offensive weapons. We're putting together a pretty great defense, actually. So, yeah. No, and, and, play, and the Broncos. The entire year without Judy or Von Miller. Or, excuse me, Sutton. No Sutton. No, no Von I'm, Miller last year. You add Aaron Rodgers and those two games back. We're, we're going to fuck up everything. Yeah. I mean that. I look. I mean, if you're a Broncos fan, that's the move. That you're well, one, and they you're they, literally one position away. These past earlier couple of years, they seemed. Oh, Go ahead. What were you saying, Tyler? Uh, yeah, earlier I was hoping they'd trade for Deshaun Watson, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> By the way, we have. We have to know I, when to come. Denver has amazing massage colors, <laughs> and, and we we need to do a separate segment on massage colors and, and how Deshaun Watson did absolutely nothing wrong. We've all been there. Well, again. <laughs> We'll let the we'll let the courts decide uh, on his. I mean, his, come on, it was COVID. We'll let, what, we'll let the legal process. Sit at home and jerk off and do nothing. 
<laughs> we'll let the legal uh, process uh, play out. Colby, if you're listening over at the bar, I wouldn't mind a uh, a shot of Jameson or Jameson Rocks if you're able to bring that over oh, to the is. main studio. I would I would really appreciate. Don't that. forget to Done take deal. off the headphones. Done deal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dundee. Best part about a bar in the office having a bartender. Now they're they're cutting over. We're seeing some Mac Jones. Oh no. He was a guy we haven't discussed at all as a possibility. Oh, oh no, Mac Jones. He's got a sour look on his face. Well, maybe the Bron- The Broncos want or the Packers want Mac Jones maybe. Well, and they and oh, someone in the Mac, right. Mac Jones green room just went up and said something to him. Uh-oh. Mac Jones yeah, to he, the Broncos could be interesting. Yeah, we're going to trade him. It's fine. This is a <laughs> bullshit pick anyway. It's just, it's all for Rogers. Just do whatever Green Bay wants. All right. Pick is in. We will announce it as soon as we see it. But if you guys, if you guys get it earlier, feel free to announce the pick as well. By the way, Chris, I have no idea. This, uh, COVID, COVID 15 I got right here. You're, you're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. Yeah. I, got I the, bet you. Uh, <laughs> what is what is the guy in the background at the Buffalo Wild Wings yelling, Dick? Oh, that's my boy Sammy's a Niners fan. He's all pumped up about Trey Lance. Oh. Oh, okay. I think Niners fans are just stoked. It's not Mac Jones. That's really all they were caring yeah. about. Oh, uh, this is this. If this is Mac Jones, uh, this this would be really mind blowing. Well, he, Patrick Sertain. Oh, yeah. I'm actually okay with that. Okay, the Broncos have wow. selected Patrick Sertain. Whoa! I like it in the fact that it means the. Uh, I'm okay with know. it if they don't do the Rogers deal. If they don't do the Rogers deal, we needed a corner, so I'm fine with this. Well, and this Broncos fan is looking sharp up on the stage with Goodell. Ryan, just, just uh, cash my Patrick Sertan to be a top ten pick. Of course, missed out on Denver Broncos selecting Fields, but again, we've both hit our over on uh, Fields. And Sean, don't look now, but my twenty-five to one bet of Justin Fields going to the Saints. Well, is still and maybe alive. it's Mac Jones. Both Mac Jones and Justin Fields kind of slipping. Wow, the corner, and and we knew there was going to be defensive players that went sooner than we thought. Yeah, and it turned out it was the cornerbacks. Little uh, little run here on cornerbacks. <laughs> I like the fact that the the Cowboys are not getting him because the Cowboys, yeah, by all I like, accounts, I do. now they're going to screw it up. Team to get uh, Patrick Sertan. Now it'll be interesting what they do. Maybe they go Devonta Smith. Maybe they go receiver. Tyler, what's your take on getting a Sertan here at ten? Uh, I thought that that could be a possibility when uh, they when they traded for Bridgewater yesterday. Uh, so I'm okay with it actually. I I think. I think Teddy Bridgewater could be good enough this year with with this defense that they're putting together and uh, all the offensive weapons that they already have. So, uh, yeah, I'm 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 excited to see how well they do this season. So, awesome. Uh, well, uh, Dick, well, I got a, I got a shot here in well, studio and, in your honor. <laughs> cheers. And we should. Oh, uh, I'm sure yeah. Colby's got Colby. You got some highlights to show, Patrick Sertan. I do. I certainly do. All right, here but, we go. Uh, let's let's fly. I mean, just baller. I love this pick. And they will yeah. cross the 35 point threshold with a defensive score. I love dad. it. That's how old I am. I remember his dad. I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, hey, Dick, stay safe out there, all right? All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, right, Dick. Peace out, homie. Love yeah. Guys. Cheers. Take it easy. Ryan, the. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, they're on the clock. Yeah, the we're, we're going to give ourselves a breather before the. Uh oh. We got some giant. You know what? Screw you guys. Gi- <laughs> Giants talk. Oh, you're bringing the Giants fans in early. Let's I mean, do it. we might as well, right? Yeah, it, they we're going to have can, a, They can chime in on the uh, Cowboys pick as well. All right, let's see here. We got. Boom. What's up, Steve? Host of the Golf Gambling hey Podcast. Oh, uh, looking good. Who? What is that? A Brandon Jacobs? Of course it is. I'm yeah. Sorry. It's <laughs> a Brandon Jacobs jersey. Yeah, nice. oh, wow. from a from a better, happier time. Yeah, <laughs> and let's uh, let's bring, the, uh, well, let, and let's bring on the uh, the guy who's probably I'm probably going to regret having on here, uh, but golf extraordinaire, not not our golf extraordinaire, but different golf extraordinaire, Mister Nagels Bagels and hater of Dave <laughs> Gettleman for some goddamn reason. <laughs> why why would you Nagels? Why would you have any issues with Dave Gettleman? 
First time, long time, guys. Thanks for having me <laughs> What's on. up, I buddy? What's up, dude? How are you? Good to talk to you. Uh, very yeah, excited. Yeah, doing to great. Have you having a fun draft so far. Dave Gettleman sucks. You guys know it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, tough, it's tough if, to disagree. Oh, the problem, the thing that bothers me most about Kramer is that if this franchise was not the Giants, if the Cowboys were doing all these moves in the last three years, he'd be shitting all over them. But because they're the Giants, <laughs> yep. it's genius. And that well, is a disgusting act. And in, in fairness, I've I've never gone as far as genius. I'm just more. I'm that a I'm an a optimist. Disgusting. I'm, act. An, I'm an optimist. So, <laughs> I, how all right? So for, I wanted to bring you guys on. Uh, how do the, how do the Cowboys fuck this up? Like we can all talk about. Yeah, this. we everyone seemed we to think they were going to get Sertan. Oh, we have a trade. Oh. Wow! Breaking news. Hmm. Do we is got Ryan Boston team? Capper now. <laughs> oh my goodness! Is this a team trading up for Justin Fields? That is interesting. No, is do we that, have? A, is that what they're trading up for? I would. I don't know. Or maybe a, they're trading up for Devonta Smith because they know the Giants are going to take him. Maybe this reminds. This Please reminds. Do it. Yes. Yeah, I'm with you, Steve. This reminds me of when uh, the Bears traded up to snag Leonard Floyd in front of the Giants because everyone knew he was going to be taken. Or is uh, do we know? Do we know what the trade is? Have we seen it yet? The Eagles are on the clock. Oh yeah. wow! Whoa, let's Devontae go, Smith. baby! Oh man! All right, so who do, who do, who do we have come? Oh man, this is uh, how many people can we fit into this thing? All right, you got. I'm gonna send. I'm sending you guys back to purgatory for a little bit. We'll, we'll, let's see if we can get the Eagles guys on real right. quick. Is all cousin? Right. See you guys later. Yeah, we'll we'll see you soon, guys. I'm guessing cousin Rob is cousin Rob uh, an Eagles guy. Yep. Let's bring him on. Uh oh. Uh, hey, if you want to know who's going to suck this draft, it's going to be whoever <laughs> Howie picks right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy he drafted up. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, we, Sean's excited, I, I though. I, well, I mean, I was, it, I was worried if we weren't going to get either the top two the cornerbacks line. or the top two receivers. They have to be trading up for Devonta Smith here, yeah. right, Rob? And if they don't, I'll shoot myself in the head in front of you, and I will make <laughs> you famous for the next twenty-five years of your life. <laughs> oh God, um, yeah, this is crazy. I, I I am worried about how skinny uh, Devonta Smith is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, and the fact that they're showing some of these Eagles receivers oh, they've no. selected in the first know round. What they gave up for this? Yeah. It must not no, be that you much. All those picks you moved up. What did you waste? What did you go back to? What did you <laughs> gain? Oh, this is going to be garbage. No, if they if they went up, okay. okay oh, so they gave rounder. up a third rounder. That we had two third That's rounders. I'm fine. We had like, eleven picks. We had to get rid like, of some of them. It looks like a compensatory pick, right? No, just <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> at eighty four, it's the. Uh, no, at eighty four, it is a compensatory. No, it would have been the twentieth pick. I don't, that sounds oh. like maybe a traded pick. Um. Yeah, you're right. I think that maybe one wait of they draft somebody from Michigan right now, and I'm going to lose <laughs> my mind. If is that is that the worst Quinty possible Pay, pick? Oh, absolutely. Oh, God. Okay. Because nobody else wants that at this pick, and they're going to do it. Oh my goodness! I they, I, I am shocked. This. The Cowboys would deal with the Eagles. The Eagles would deal with the Cowboys. All to screw Dave Gettleman they slash help Dave boy. Gettleman not take the receiver. Double edged sword because if Howie gets this right, he stays, and if he gets this wrong, if he gets it wrong, he's gone. No, I, I don't, I, I just still can't imagine there's a world where Howie's gone. As much as we want it to happen, Rob, yeah, I recently. think, <laughs> I think, I you think he's just I, always going to be there. Tough because this is whatever pick this is is going to sound great, and the bottom line, Howie couldn't hit sand if he fell off a fucking camel. <laughs> All right, we got uh, we got Rob here too, not on oh, video. God, oh, Rob Parsons from the uh, <laughs> guys called call Beachside here. Parsons. Oh wow, Beachside! It, it the trade is in. The, uh, it sounds like the, the it's mixed res, mixed uh, feelings right now amongst could, the Eagles fans. It could be uh, uh, Devonta Smith. I can't believe we trade with the Cowboys. They <laughs> yeah. picked the linebacker. Wait, really? Oh. Yeah, Penn State Bart. What? Wow! What? Oh my God! Really? What? <laughs> oh man, people Howie, are gonna be so pissed at uh, Howie. A 2021 third round pick. But they, you know for sure that the Eagles have selected Mika Parsons. Unfortunately, Micah yeah, Parsons. Oh my! Oh I have to my. pronounce his name. I, wow, this is crazy. Hey, Sean, what time is it? 
Uh, what time is it? It yeah. is six thirty four West Coast time, and Michigan still sucks. <laughs> so look, all right. It, it's I mean, I'm than a, a. It's better than a questionable D end. I, I think he gives immediate swagger to the middle of our defense. I don't hate it. I'll be honest. I totally agree with the Rob. That doesn't matter. It. Yep. That is completely fine. It's a good pick. Yes. Yes. And sucks. I don't have to, I don't have to defend Devonta Smith being too skinny <laughs> when he ends up on the giants. Then I can make fun of him so for being super skinny. They they traded up because the giants were going to take Parsons, I guess. Yeah. That must be the uh, uh, Colby. Do we have a highlight to show these fine Eagles fans? Wait, Hold on. I, I'm looking at Twitter and it says we took Devonta Smith. Oh Wait. wow! All right, Cousin oh, it Rob. is Devonte Smith. It is Devonte Smith. Rob, whoa, what are you getting whoa, your information? Whoa. I'm watching the TV right now. <laughs> whoa! All right, hold on. I just... Oh man, this is this is a wild roller coaster ride. <laughs> Devonte Smith is not too skinny. I'm glad we got a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> this is what how he needed to do. Get the playmaker. Wow! That uh, uh, honestly, yeah, Sean. Mika Parsons would have been full. <laughs> if this, if, Sean, if this was if this was Gettleman, you would be killing him right yes. now. Yes, you would be um, killing him right now, and I fucking love it. Are you ready, Colby, with that highlight? I am ready, Devonte Smith. The thing they're worrying about is if you know he's got the the, the meat to play. And here's a highlight of him catching a nice pass <laughs> right there. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. There he is, stick man. That's who he is. Uh, yeah, I'm concerned about this pick, but hold on, I'll show you a real one. I'll show you one that's a great catch. Jones goes to the end zone. Oh, what a catch! Devonte Smith, Heisman Trophy winner. You could do worse. I mean, that's a great catch. That's an unbelievable catch. But are you you gotta be concerned about his size in the NFL? <laughs> Well, Rob, you can speak for the local Philly people. It's easy to <laughs> pack I don't know on. What I was watching, man. <laughs> yeah, what were, what were you watching? Give him a premium for cheesesteak. He'll be fine. I it was them. That yeah. is a fantastic pick. Thank God they traded up for that. That's the best thing he's done. <laughs> All right. Well, look, well, let's, let's years. see what he's got. I like it. Um, you know, I, I obviously have concerns about his size, too, but you can't question his production. So let's see what he can do. Let's go, baby. All right, cousin Rob, oh. Rob from the Dired Eagles podcast. Appreciate hey, you calling call in. Everyone wants some wrong information again. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tipping off the wrong pick, <laughs> giving me a heart attack here. All right, all right, thanks for calling in, go. Robs. Go birds, baby. Go birds. I'm excited. All right, and now silky now, smooth. Now it's time. Let's just bring that's everyone his, on. That's his line. Yeah. Silky smooth. And we got and we got. Oh, ter- <laughs> <Here> we go. <laughs> all right. We got Terrell in the house as well. I just cashed my biggest bet of the night. Devonte Smith under 11 and a half pick. Boom. And I, yeah, I mean, Terrell, Terrell may have tipped this to me earlier too. Said, Hey man, this is, this is happening. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Anyway, back to where we were. Uh, Nagels, you gotta love this. Gettleman no longer can take the receiver. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> It doesn't matter, so, Kramer. It doesn't what, matter what, what they do. I, wa- <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what is the solution? Just getting rid of, Dave getting Delman, rid of. Yeah, okay. Joe Judge saying to John Mara, I can't work with this guy anymore. He's drafting running backs. He's trading up. For, he's trading backwards. He's trading. He's trading draft picks for potential free agent defensive linemen. Uh, Oh, they traded. They traded down. What? What? No. Oh, what? The Bears, the Bears. what? And Zach, Zach, host of the Gambling Podcast. Let's <laughs> go. This is this is. Uh, did you think that? Oh, this is unbelievable. What? I, I wanted Slater. Got away. I wanted Slater. I want it later too. Wow. No. Sorry, guys. Give them some credit here, too. And then, I mean, well, all right. So we'll see what they they got. Do we? Do we know who the Giants the, have traded all right, with? My prediction: the, the Joe Judge. Here's the my Bears. theory, and Na- Nagels, listen to this. My theory is that it, Judge is the puppet master. Gettleman will be in some. St- oh, and Zach Don in the Danny Dimes jersey. Yes, I think Gettleman is in a different role that isn't GM by the end of this year. So the Bears traded up from twenty. To the eleven, is this pick. Justin Fields? Justin Fields, you feel like has to go, or maybe it's Mac Jones. Do do we know? Uh, I All mean, right, hold on. Well, is yeah. there a chance we go Mac Jones here <laughs> right. for the Bears? 
I don't know. Gi- all right, Giants guys. Sorry, this is like a right. this is like going to the massage parlor and then see the cops showing up and screwing up your good night. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Now, uh, Ryan is Andrew uh, Freeman yeah, from yeah. the Bear Report. We have some adjustments happening. Uh, all right, what are we? Boom! Here we go. Andrew Freeman from the Bear Report. What's up, buddy? I'm doing good. Uh, this is uh, woo, is this Fields? Is this Fields? This our, our, co- Fields. our co-worker here be. over at uh, Blue Wire Podcast, host of the Bear Report, obviously Absolutely. diehard a uh, Chicago Bears fan. Is there a chance they go Mac Jones? It feels like it has to be for a quarterback. That what do you what do you want them to do? Are you excited about getting Fields here? Yeah, this has to be a quarterback here. No way about it. Uh, I want it to be Justin Fields personally. I could see a scenario where they do draft Mac Jones here. You know, it depends on what Nagy wants in his quarterback. Does he oh, want a guy, you know, as weird as it sounds, does he want a guy like Mac Jones who's more of a point guard distributor type? Although, you know, Justin Fields does that just as well, except he has all the upside. So I, it has to be Fields here. I, I I would be floored if it was anyone but Fields. <laughs> well, it, but it's we'll it's see. just from like just from a perception standpoint, if he, uh, of course, trying to distance himself from the Trubisky trade. If he drafts Mac Jones, I think the internet in general commentators <laughs> will be murdering the Bears for that pick. But yeah, you can make a case. And I, I you think don't if, often get I to trade he, up for a quarterback twice and be wrong. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. If he drafted up for Fields, I think he's going to get uh, a ton of early praise. And again, it, it, you know, what happens? Oh. Holy Toledo, Sean! A first-round pick next year. This doesn't happen for the Giants ever. No, I'm, Dave Gettleman a, is not Gi- known for trading back. As a Giants fan, well, this is part of my theory. Joe Judge, the puppet puppet master, Dave Gettleman, on his way of being pushed to the side, trade down tells the story. I'm shocked here. I'm I'm tremendous, I, and I think the Bears have to take Fields. You're not excited about trading up for a guy named McCorkle. Yeah, no, Absolutely. McCorkle. McCorkle is falling. It is a tough day for McCorkles everywhere. It almost feels like it's going to well, be a hundred percent Mac Jones. Who did you, Andrew, coming into the draft? Did you was was Justin Fields even on your radar as a Bears fan? Absolutely, he was. I was thinking it would be more in the seven to nine range, but for him to slip all the way here to eleven, that was surprising to me. But I always felt like if Justin Fields started the slip, he would be the guy that the Bears would go after. Um, I just think he has all the tools. He has all the uh, acumen that would be perfect for Matt Nagy's offense. And you know, we'll see here. The pick is in right now. And, and just to clarify, with that trade, the Bears sent a future first round pick next year, their fifth round pick this year, and a fourth round pick next year. So, I mean, wow. obviously giving up the first round pick next year is huge. But other than that, no huge picks given up for the Bears here. So overall, I feel like it's a pretty fair value. We'll see if it's the right guy, though. So that's what it well, comes and, down to, basically. And uh, really, what is Chicago Bears' uh, Twitter handle going to do? Because they already tweeted out Andy Dalton QB one. What are they going <laughs> to do now that now that possibly another QB one is in the uh, area? Well, I'll say this: they have experience with this because uh, <laughs> we remember when they signed Mike Lennon back in 2017. Obviously, went up to get Trubisky. I mean, they were all they were, they were talking about was Mike Lennon's our guy. Mike Lennon's our guy, and. Uh, obviously that did not happen. So uh, <laughs> I, I do think they want to give Andy Dalton this year. I think they want to get Justin Fields or whatever rookie quarterback they do draft ready to go uh, for down the line in the future. But we'll see. I mean, obviously that creates a lot of tension there in that quarterback room, obviously. And that's, you know, a good thing to be, to be fair, I, I would say. All right. The pick is in. F- feel free Ugh. as soon as you see it to announce it uh, on the show. Here we we may be operating yep. on a slight delay, but let us know as soon as he, as it hits you. Feels like it's got to be Fields Kramer. It has to be. All right, here uh, we go. Uh, oh, they're taking a little time here. That, every time it's like Roger Goodell has to make it about himself. <laughs> he <laughs> passively he's, makes he's it about having, himself. He's having fun up there. These entrances, it's crazy. It it can't be Mac Jones, right? With the eleventh pick Oof. in the twenty twenty one draft, you can, you can cut it with a knife, Sean. The Chicago Bears select. Oh wait, he's doing like a promo before. <laughs> oh, what he's a, talking about what a uh, win bet. What what's going on? He's get, talking about where you can get a, a get, <laughs> get the win betting app over at winbet.com. Could be talking about a twenty five dollar free play over at Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> a lot of options. Maybe even get Roman uh, dot com. You think he's talking about SGP. He's up there talking about how he he won his bout with Edie. <laughs> yeah. He was coming up short, but he doesn't come up short any any longer. Thanks to get Roman dot com slash SGP. Fifteen dollars off the first month. 
great uh, integration here by uh, Roger Goodell. Uh, what? Let's let's get to that pick. It's Fields. Let's go. All right. All right. So, Andrew, let's get your reaction. Justin Fields, you got to be you got to be pretty excited. It, again, Andy Dalton is QB one, but maybe maybe uh, and really, what happens to my buddy Foles? What's wh- where's Foles in all of this? I feel bad for the guy. For Nick Foles, <laughs> you know, I think they're going to try to trade him at some point in this draft, maybe for a future pick next year. I would say. Uh, New York Jets would be an interesting spot because you look at uh, their GM there has a relationship with Ryan Pace from their time in Chicago and Nick, Nick Foles. I could see that being being a good landing spot for him there, but but yeah, it's official. Justin Fields, Bears quarterback. Wow, crazy! All right. And, uh, let's bring in Colby because I know he's got a, a nice Justin Fields highlight to show us. Oh, for sure. And uh, you know this guy, he's got a ton of talent. I worry about the Ohio State offense, but if you look at this throw. You're going to see what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. He's, he's got <laughs> arm talent, that's for sure. Boy, it's just going to be huge. It's just going to be his adjustment to the pro game, but he's a, he's a stud, man, and and that Clemson game, yep. I think as a Bears fan, you're just putting that on on loop. Oh. Yep. I, now, obviously I mean, there uh, are some concerns here. You hope that, uh, you know, some of the games that he struggled in, like Indiana, Northwesterns, those things don't start, start to pop up here. But this is just this is a home run pick for Ryan Pace. This is a pick that could save Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy's job here. <laughs> <laughs> so is that something? Is is that something you're excited about or not? Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, it, to be determined. But you know what? I do think you know. Matt Nagy with the right quarterback, I do think his offense does have a lot of potential to it. You know, you have Allen Robinson there as your number one wide receiver, at least for this year. You know, we'll see if they can get an extension done. Uh, Darnell Mooney was a great add for them the draft last year. He's an explosive wide receiver. I think yeah. they're going to try to add another wide receiver uh, in this draft this year. Um, but, you know, I, I do think it's a pretty solid situation. The offensive line isn't terrible. It, you know, a lot of Bears fans rag on the offensive line, but it is not a bad offensive line. Um, you know, they had a lot of injuries last year, kind of hurt them, I, th- I thought. But, uh, you know, it's in a good spot for him. I think Justin Fields here, and he's got all the talent in the world. Can he put it together? Can he learn the system? Can he get his processing to quicken up? Because that's the big thing. Can he get his processor to get a little bit faster here? And if he can do that, I mean, this is a home run because he has all the talent in the world. It's just a matter of can he put it all together here? So I, I'm, I'm excited. I never thought, you know, I honestly thought the New England Patriots would trade up to get Justin yeah. Fields because they had obviously that 15th overall pick a much, obviously a much better situation there. But I think the giants wanted to get that extra first round pick. It seems. And uh, it, this is huge for the bears. This changes the entire landscape of their directions of franchise, I think. And we'll know in a couple of years here, you know, will this be a home run pick for them or will it be another flop? It remains <laughs> to be seen. But I think if you're a bears fan, you have to be absolutely excited because this is an off season where they had no direction. It seemed like everything was going to be just 2020 was not set up to be a good year. And this changes the landscape of everything for them. Well, awesome. And you can hear how excited Andrew is. And again, make sure you check out the bear report, blue wire podcast, Apple podcast, wherever you get your podcast, check it out. Andrew, appreciate you calling in, man. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Yep. Cheers, guys. All right. Now we're now we're back to the Cowboys, oh. Kramer. It's all over the map. I need a breather. <laughs> I'm I'm looking, I'm trying to grade, I'm trying to see who's coming. So we got the Cowboys up. Yes. Uh, I mean, all right. So the, the Giants traded back, Sean. Yeah. They could have taken Slater. Maybe this speaks to the what you've been kind of you've been banging the table about how the draft isn't very good this year. It's not, it's not maybe that's why they're looking to grab a pick next year. And you know what's gonna be fun? Me getting to root against the Bears this year. <laughs> yes, getting the first round pick for the Bears who Again, <laughs> there's high ceiling, low floor. There, can I, can I hot there's take? a world where they bottom out and that ends up being a really good pick. Hot take. Justin Fields could be Trubisky 2.0. Meaning bad. I, I think they, I, why do we, who was going to draft him? Who is going to draft him? That's a great, that's a great question, but let's move over to the Cowboys. Uh, Jerry Jones, not on, in the, already. not on the yacht. Keeping it, keeping it in a uh, office suite. I don't know what he's doing. He's clearly calling the draft pick, chatting it up. He's got that big shitting grin on his face. What do you think the 
the uh, where are they? I I think <laughs> maybe they go. I think they go Caleb Farley, Ryan, or maybe uh maybe Patrick Newsom, the kid out of Northwestern. Well, I think they reach here with the quarterback. And I think uh, I forget which podcast I was listening to, but someone was really touting over four and a half cornerbacks, and that boy is that starting to look good because. Yeah. You know, like you said, fairly uh, Newsom, uh, and and they were most mocks had them going in the twenties. So this is uh, and, and maybe they go Mika Parsons. Of course, my cousin Rob giving us the wrong information that Mika Parsons uh, was the pick for the Eagles. Maybe they go uh, Mika Parsons. Of course, Mika Parsons had some character off the field issues that seems right up the Cowboys' wheelhouse. Kramer, yeah. I will be interesting to see. I I feel like they got to go defense, right? I mean, who's any who's even a an offensive player that's high on the board? Uh, you can't go off. I mean, it would be a lineman. I mean, that that would be the the move. Quiddy Pay, I, I could see him being drafted here. He's he's kind of the consensus uh, edge pass rusher, rusher, first defensive lineman. But it feels like they have to go defense, right? I, I love how they have a house band playing music for Goodell, and then there's just this chair. It, nothing nothing about this is good. Colby, uh, whenever you get a chance, I could use another ice cold Coors Light from the bar. Maybe just bring over two. One, one is like emergency backup. The, who are all these fans they find? I don't know, but <laughs> they're definitely actors, right? I, I, I really don't know what's That's going on. That's why they call it acting. Okay, Goodell is up at the mic. He's revealing the pick. Sean Lee has retired, so maybe uh, Mika Parsons is the guy they end up pulling the trigger on. Feels like they have to go. Another, an, I mean, all right, you know. Right now is an important <sighs> time to talk about mental health and better than Vegas. You want free daily uh, video picks? We're dropping them over on our Better Than Vegas profile page, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. Head over there, subscribe. Let's go daily free video picks. What do you got? What do you got going in that thermos ride? Don't worry about it. This is a <laughs> secret concoction. It's got a mixture of uh, Woo, it's smoking my weed. mixture of a uh, different drinks there. Okay. Now we have a, <sighs> the fan is actually doing the selection, dragging this out so much longer than it needs to be. I mean, we're going to be here till tomorrow. This is going to be like the Colby Dant college football fantasy <laughs> draft. <laughs> the, the one that somehow Somehow, kind of completely went off the rails. We got the we got the uh, Chargers on deck. Boy, super fan Justin My, Decker. Mika Parsons wow. has been selected. Okay. Interesting, and of course, I cashed a huge bet. I had him first linebacker drafted. That nice, was pretty easy. Nice job. I mean, I gave it out at minus four hundred, but you could have taken it any time at like minus three hundred. There was plenty of good uh, options there. Well, Sean, you're doing pretty well. Doing, can't almost, complain. Almost back to even. <laughs> Sitting at uh, eight hundred and fifteen thousand. Uh, you know, interesting strategies. Kind of all over the place. I need some running backs to go. Mika Parsons again, going to the Cowboys, filling a need on the defensive side of the ball. Don't kind they need playmaker. quarterbacks? They really need defensive <laughs> help. Uh, I oh, I do kind of worry. Mika Parsons, some maturity off the field issues going uh, down to Dallas. Opted uh, out. Yeah, opted out. Red flag on on a lot of parts. Wow, uh, I'm shocked. I I thought almost. I mean, how do they not go? How do they not go cornerback? Colby, do we have some uh, Michael Parsons uh, highlights we can uh, bless the people with here? We, we certainly do. But I love the fact that uh, you, you know your cousin saying, "Hey, he's an eagle. Oh, he's the best <laughs> linebacker on the planet." <laughs> He goes to Dallas. No, he's got he's got issues, you know, off character the field problems. Issues. He opted out. I completely <laughs> get it. Here, here's uh, Michael Parsons. This guy's a stud, guys. That's Parsons on the blitz, knocking White down, forcing the fumble. This kid play. Yeah, he's a, he's a good pass rusher. We'll uh we'll help the Cowboys out with there. Maybe some turnovers. He's got a nose for the football. Nose That's for the football. Say. And knows for trouble. <laughs> the raging majority saying the Cowboys drafted the kid who hasn't played in a year. Coward. Love it. Love, love that <laughs> the audience is on the same page there. He opted out of football. 
I'm not. Uh, I'm not really worried about missing him out now. Devonta Smith, he opted in, didn't need to play, got himself a Heisman Trophy, a national championship, big winner energy for the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll see. I mean, I, I still worry about this Cowboys defense. I think a lot of holes, especially on the back end. I'm surprised they didn't go cornerback here, Ryan. Uh, I'm. I'm t- it, who who are they playing at cornerback this year? Well, I, I mean, what, what were they supposed to do though, guys? The other two were taken. You go fairly. He's got a little bit some health scares, medical stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they they traded back and look. And I hate the Cowboys, but I'm saying I think they actually, considering their situation, made the right play. Traded back and probably still got in their eyes the best player that was not those not Horn or or a. Uh, Sertain. Sertain, yeah. Yeah. Sertain and Horn off the board. They just decided to punt. We'll take the best defensive player. Otherwise real, uh, real soft move by the Cowboys. I agree. Colby Colby. Uh, while we have you on here, if you don't mind, grab me a couple of uh, ice cold <laughs> Coors lights, bring those into the studio. Whenever you get a chance, the chargers, Justin Decker, they're on the clock. They're coming up Kramer. Oh, oh, Sean's making it up. Oh. I almost knocked over a uh, uh, I did knock over a shot glass. Luckily, it was empty. It was an empty shot glass. All right, Mister uh, Superfan himself, Justin Decker. Is yeah, here. can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Yes. Oh, we can see you. you look, I can you see look you. Beautiful. Oh, thank I can you. hear I you. The, I just put the bandana on the dog. Just now. <laughs> How is, nice. is it? Luck. Is it? Lo- are you celebrating for alignment? Is that? Is that where you're going for? Nope. I want Caleb Farley, who was my pick Ooh. on the the mock draft. Yeah, Caleb Farley. Out He's a of, uh, Your alma mater, Kramer, Virginia Tech. That's right. That's where I predicted. Now, you know, I, I think I De- think they were depending on this. I think they thought that's why they traded away Desmond King midseason, and uh, they released Casey Hayward. They still got Derwin James coming back, and I think they knew that either Sertan or Fairley would fall this far. I think they were hoping for Sertan, but I think I think they're going to go Farley. Now, Decker, of course, the Chargers have a uh, long storied injury riddled uh, tradition. Are you worried about yeah. them drafting a guy with some medical red flags here? Oh, but isn't that great? Isn't that well, isn't that why football's great? You just you gotta go with what's available. You, if you got the injured guy with the upside, just fuck it. Just fuck it. Just go for it. You know, I like not? it. I am worried about now. It. Yeah, he didn't I, I even think... play last year, but I think the pick is in. I, I think they're gonna go for him. <laughs> Now, I I think there is a world where they go Rashawn Slater, Decker. Do you would you be upset if they draft an offensive lineman? What is some what is a guy you don't want them to draft? Uh well, the next best lineman after him is a USC guy. I'm a UCLA guy. I wouldn't be up I wouldn't want them to draft a USC guy, but I don't think an off the only one offensive lineman has been taken. Yep. So, I would be okay with Slater actually. Yeah. I, I'd be okay with Slater. You know, you got a you got a quarterback who's Sophomore year, everyone or uh, the sophomore season, you don't want him a sophomore slump in uh, Herbert. So I, I would be okay with Slater, but I, I'm hoping for for Farley here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and they certainly need some offensive line. They need they need, they need some. And you yeah. he, he got you got JH the big Herb. Does does Justin Herbert have a nickname? King Herb, like what's his what's the Herbert nickname? The the kid's a force. He needs a nickname, Decker. There's no nickname. He has no personality yet, but he's young. He's in his early twenties. <laughs> he need to develop one. You never know. I didn't yeah. have a personality when I was twenty two. But uh, <laughs> he has a lot of weird haircuts. There could be an angle there. Uh, yeah, awful haircuts. Maybe four in a row back. <laughs> Maybe the next one's good. Uh, he doesn't have a nickname. I don't know. But Big I mean, Herb, I, I I'm saying it. Surprised with this play. Yeah, he really again Looked if you good. go back to our yeah. last draft or our draft episode last year, I was I think I was kind of high on him, but I certainly didn't see well, the season out of him. I, I was we quietly were optimistic. We were high because him, of the bro. Madden Sims. Yeah, the Sims. I mean, the arm talent we saw from that kid. Uh it just I think we just it, a couple players when we watched video games convinced us they were better yeah. in real life than maybe we and thought. It's worked out. Worked out for him. Yeah, I mean, he made all the throws. He he literally can make all the throws. He, he proved it. Decker, as a Chargers fan, are you worried about the news circulating that maybe the Broncos end up getting Aaron Rodgers? Oh my God, really? No, I, that I, is, I haven't and, heard that. It just broke today. I, I I when when San Francisco didn't make something happen, I thought he may have leaked the story to go back home. Uh, but Denver, yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, it, it seems like Denver and uh, and the Las Vegas Raiders are the two teams that are kind of 
in contention for possible Aaron Rodgers trade destinations. Maybe they just completely stonewall him and hope for the best, but crazy. Wow. I mean, Broncos would be kind of crushing because they have a lot of talent with they, they, yeah. emerging and the receivers and Cortland Sutton. I mean, I could see why Aaron Rodgers would want to go there, to be honest. But the Raiders, I don't know how you give up on you know their their, their quarterback Carr after he's been there that long. I don't know. That'd be kind of a I, I, that would surprise me. Rumor rumor to be neighbors with John Gruden in the uh, in <laughs> Las Vegas. That's we got to get our shit going mentally. Conversation. Yeah, that's not a good. That's not a good matchup for them. And, and, and the pa- Aaron Aaron Rodgers is too heady for the Raiders. For the Raiders, <laughs> yeah, a host of yes. Jeopardy, celebrity <laughs> Jeopardy champion. Going to the Raiders? <laughs> that is really funny. Uh, this, I don't think uh, so. They're going to the, draft a wide receiver this year. <laughs> oh, they picked the USC guy. Wow. Oh, breaking wait, news. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, they, they, they're just, they have them on the camera. I'm sorry. Oh, you, oh okay. Sec, Jump sec. the gun. It's all I'm right. Sorry. My cousin. That, that pissed me off. I'm sorry. Play the my, music again. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. They showed They flashed him on the screen. They're talking about him. I'm, I hope they don't take him. I hope they take I mean, Slater or, uh, you know, the VTech guy. I think they're going to take a lineman. Yeah. I, 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 Sorry, I'm just distracted. Picking. I'm just looking at all these Jalen Hurts to Devonta Smith highlights. Oh, right. you're already buying them. Oh, yeah. People, all in. All people in. were asking in the chat. They wanted to know what your take is. After saying he was too skinny. Yeah, I had to adjust. I, I, <laughs> I am worried about his skinniness, yeah. but maybe they can bulk up or maybe this Sirianni, the quick. The quick passes, the the West Coast offense, he'll he'll be a good fit. I mean, the hey, the kid had NFL insane production. Now. It doesn't matter if you're skinny. Okay, now you, see, you sound now like you sound like Colby. <laughs> oh, there okay. you go, Rashawn Slater. Right. I mean, that's the second guy. I mean, that's the next guy that I thought. Yeah, and no, you don't I have to root for a USC guy. Yeah. That's as true. a as Go a fan, ahead. it's always kind of boring when your team drafts a offensive lineman in the first round. But a lot of times, it ends up being well, the right move. And let's we, we bring Colby. They're going to run a highlight package right now. That's <laughs> well, like we, a guy we got like pushing guys to the ground, and I'd be like, okay, Decker, that's fine. don't worry about that highlight package. Picked on D is is here with the highlight package, Mr. Guys, Rashawn. I, okay, I love I this pick. Get... This kid. Okay. This is him against Chase Young. Chase yeah. Young, Washington Redskins, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Uh, look at this right here. I mean, this this will impress you. I watched a bunch of tape the other day. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, th- this kid can play. Okay. I-, I think this is a steal for them. I like that. Chase this, Young, one of the you know one of the, the the best edge rushers in the game right now. And and again, I, okay. these tackles like there there are still some tackles left to be taken who I think are day one starters. So. Interesting to see what positions are falling down the board. Nice. And okay. Matt, yeah, and Matt Jones still on the board. Highlights of these guys, these offensive linemen. <laughs> you know, they're dependable. You know, they have measurables <laughs> that translate. You know, easier to the NFL. I, I feel. You know, they're they're not the exciting play, but it's it's solid for a soft. You know, a, a second year quarterback uh, for Herbert. I, I got to be honest. The his suit doesn't look like it fits him right. I, I don't mean to be that guy, but <laughs> you're going to be on the NFL draft, bro. Yeah. Bring the, bring the drip, you know, bring the drip. Yeah. Bring the drip. And, and, and Rashawn Slater again, zero sacks allowed in 2019. Yeah. I, I'm a little, good. little red flag. He opted out of the season, uh, but again, I'll, I'll give him, you know, would have liked to see him Big out 10. there in Northwestern Ooh. against could have used him out against that, uh, against Quit. that Ohio state in the big 10 championship game. Yeah, a little, little soft in my mind. All yeah. right, that's I, I gotta give I gotta give you that greeny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Decker, thanks, man. Yeah. Go go Chargers. Can thanks, we guys. come on, dude? You got you got to do the song. Go Chargers, San Diego Super Chargers, charge! Ooh, yeah, that falsetto Ooh. in his voice, Sean. Scott, he's, it, I think that was one of his better live <laughs> yeah. performances. Thank you, Decker. Very arousing. All right, guys. Cheers. Later. <laughs> Oh man, All we're right. plugging plugging along here, yep. Kramer. Who's on the clock now? Who is on the clock? I'll tell you. It is the Minnesota Vikings with the 14th pick oh. overall. Means we're going to be seeing more of Dick Olson. D- Dick, did you uh, wardrobe change? I did. I, I did. A, I did a change here quick. 
<laughs> Did a quick change. Now this is you. You are still obviously at Buffalo Wild Wings. A lot of noise around you. You go. You go both ways. You have your AFC team in the Broncos. Your NFC team in the in the Vikings. You wearing your Adrian Peterson uh, jersey because you're a fan of his. You're a you're a fan, you're a fan of his uh, disciplined methods and his ability to run the rock. Dick, who do you want the uh, who do you want the Vikings to go with? Again, I feel like they're gonna go defense, but kind of wide open here at, at this spot. Yeah, what's the dude from Miami? Jalen Smith, DN. Jalen Phillips. Yeah. Phillips, Phillips. Yeah, he might be a good one. Before we get into that, hey Kramer Green, when you guys go to get massages like Deshaun Watson, does any chick ever lick your asshole? <laughs> I mean that got Deshaun Watson that in trouble. A honestly, he probably he ordered off menu. No, that's what. No, what happened was he went somewhere that allowed him to order <laughs> off menu one time, and then he assumed that that was okay to do every other time. We just stay yeah. there and if they start eating ass, it's like, well, I guess I'll roll with it. And now I'm gonna get in trouble. All of a sudden, now I'm suspended <laughs> four games. What the fuck? Anyway, interesting take on the news. Oh, we, sorry, uh, oh. we have breaking news. We have a trade. Oh, the Jets. The Minnesota, sorry, uh, Dick. We'll be hearing from you yep. uh, more later on. I'm sure everyone, Enjoy. everyone wants to hear more of the Deshaun Watson talk. <laughs> Enjoy that prostate mas- massage, Dick. Joining us from the SGPN bar, New York Giants super fan Colby Dan Colby. Oh, the, was that a Freudian uh, slip? Jets, Jets super fan. Jets, what did I say? Giants. Giants. Oh, sorry. There's a lot of ins and outs. I don't want Daniel Jones, dude. All right, I'll take a Mormon <laughs> quarterback, but I don't want Daniel Jones. Now you had a uh, you of course obviously selected Zach Wilson number two overall. You got your quarterback figured out, and again now you and Joe Theismann have stuff to text about. I'm sure he'll be excited to go back and forth with you. In my mock draft, I had the Jets grabbing Greg Newsom, but that was at the 23rd slot. What do you think they're going up here to get at 14? I, I'm kind of curious. Guys, I'm so nervous that we pulled a Bears and gave up you know the the, the whole future for this pick. I, I, I'm a bit dumbfounded here. Maybe Caleb Fairley, maybe uh, Owe from Penn State, but I thought they could have got those guys at their spot. What if they're going with my philosophy of drafting seven quarterbacks and they take <laughs> Mac Jones? Here? Is this a Mac Jones destination? <laughs> that would be pretty amazing. I mean, I, I, what do you think though? Like, what what could be the possible pick here? I mean, I, I'm thinking you know, Fairley from uh, from uh, Virginia Tech at corner. Uh, maybe uh, Jeremiah Osu uh, Koromoa at the linebacker from Notre Dame. You um, trade up. You trade up to get the receiver to pair with your your new quarterback, right? Which which receiver are you talking about? I don't know. I, why else are you trading up here? Lineman. They, well, they could tackle have got Terrence Marshall at their pick. I'm confused. Maybe maybe offensive line. Maybe you stay offensive line. Maybe you go Darisol. Maybe, maybe they Vera get. Uh, are, uh, is Elijah Vera Tucker worth trading up? Uh, that's what I, I and and maybe they thought the Vikings would do that. Do you just grab Mac Jones and just take two quarterbacks? That, that's, that's what the, I'm saying. That's, man. that's the Colby strategy. <laughs> uh, Rashad Bateman, uh, receiver. Again, all the people that I thought the the positions at least that the Jets would be interested in, I all had going late twenties towards the end, and 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 guys they could have got at twenty three. I'm trying. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around of who they thought was worth trading up to get at four cornerback. I think they were going to take a cornerback, and I think they now see an opportunity to get a guy that they like Caleb a lot. Farley. Yeah, they, yeah. They, obviously, I mean, there's a guy they I, like. That I, I do think the the a team they're competing with at that position is the Cardinals at 16, mm. and maybe a little bit worried about the Patriots. Patriots not willing to trade down. They want to make sure they get Mac Jones, and so they have to go up to 14 to get Caleb Farley. And lock themselves in at cornerback. That kind of makes sense. I, I would like that. I mean, the only thing is he did opt out a season ago. But I, I, I you know, Virginia Tech, as as I'm sure your your you know real money Kramer will tell you, kind of cornerback you. They're DBU baby. Physical. They they're not afraid to come up and make tackles. So I love that. But uh, I still think they might have been able to get them or get him at the spot they were at. A little bit of a gamble. I could see the Cardinals maybe drafting him, but. I could also see the Cardinals go in many, a couple other positions too. So I think uh, they must really love this pick because I, I, I'm a bit dumbfounded and I'm so curious to see what we give, what we've given up. Yeah, Rashad Bateman uh, could be the guy. He's a receiver out of Minnesota, 6'2, 210, huge catch radius. 
again, I don't know if you needed to go this high up to get him, but maybe he uh, was a guy we heard like buzz that like teams could, 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 have could in work his way up, but all, uh, and, and maybe the Cardinals, as much as we think they're okay at receiver, maybe they are thinking receiver and, and God knows what the uh, Patriots will do at 15. I think I, I, they really could go anywhere. Honestly. I think the Jets could go linebacker too. Zavid Collins, uh, like I said, Coromo. What about Quiddy Pay, edge rusher? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, wow, they, this is uh they didn't really give up much. I'm looking at the trade. Jets just basically gave two up two third round picks. Okay. And but they got a fourth round back. Yeah. So that's but, not that bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, right. it's interesting. Move because, up nine spots. And we uh, traded yeah, Sam Darnold, guys. That's that's the best news <laughs> all year. Yeah, they have a lot of picks from the Darnold trade. They were looking to unload some here. I, I think it makes sense. What do you think? F- F- uh, Farley's the play. I, I think, I, I think take Farley or maybe Bateman. I, I wouldn't be surprised they go uh, receiver. Ba- Bateman though, they could have got him at their pick. That would just make no sense, right? I, I maybe they maybe they're imagining one of these other teams snags him. I like Newsom too. Maybe maybe Newsom they were worried about being taken by the Cardinals. I, I feel like you're only trading up for either a pass rusher or a cornerback. Yeah. Maybe a safety. I don't Maybe think a safety worth the safety's not worth trading up for though. So if, I think it's cornerback or 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 pass Colby, rusher. as soon as you see uh <laughs> as soon as you see who the pick is, feel free to shout it out and uh, Jared Beard in the chat saying, "Need a soundbite of Boston Capper saying McCorkle." Wow, well, and, and which we could be seeing, wheel, which we could be seeing after this next pick. Oh man, they should take Mac Jones just to fuck with the Patriots. That would be a nice. That move. would be great. The Jets selection is in. Roger Goodell on the clock mm. with it's the got- 2021. Selection. I, I didn't oh. see the. T- it's uh, Vera Tucker from USC. There you go, Ooh, day one wow. starter. Okay, going up to get the O lineman. Day one starter. Kobe, yeah. where you at? Where you at with Vera Tucker? I mean, I just don't understand why you needed to trade. You could have got. I think a, this is a you know a lot of good tackles are in this draft, so I think he's a good player. But I just don't understand the need to trade up. So I'm I'm not really happy with the decision <laughs> to trade up. <laughs> <laughs> Day one starter. I like him. I, I thought I was hoping the Giants would take him on. Yeah, I'm excited that the Giants don't get him because they clearly need help at the uh, offensive line. All three were drafted into the NFL. It was a heck of a group last year. I mean, he's kicking ass right there. So I mean, I get it, but I mean, and and Utah has defensive backs. I mean, I'm sorry, defensive ends and defensive linemen. They, they uh, produce them. So and Sean, he, he opted, opted in. in. Opted in on the Pac-12 season, had a really good season, and really helped his uh, helped his draft stock here. All right. Well, I mean, you I, this is not a bad pick. You got a rookie quarterback. I you got to build don't inside out. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, but again, they they had so much draft capital. I, I think as a Jets fan, you should be happy about it, Colby. Get happy over there in the bar. All right, <laughs> all right. There we go. Let me do a shot. All right, do a shot for the fans. <laughs> Salute. And we will be joined shortly by Boston let's Capper just br- let's just bring him up. of the Golf Gambling Podcast. The Patriots are on it's the a clock. Baby fucking wheel, man. What's up, boys? Cheers. What's up, Salude, Salud. uh, Capper? Fucking we Christ. made it gonna, to fifteen. We're gonna fucking take Matt Jones, aren't we? <laughs> but say say his name. Say McCorkle. McCorkle. <laughs> McCorkle. The kid. Fucking Christ. Uh, like did, like I I really hope we don't take this fucking guy, man. Like it's. But Dude, McCorkle, said, McCorkle has to be an upgrade over Cam. Listen, Newton, but you, you can say that for everyone, right? Right, exactly. That's a tough spot I'm in, right? I'm literally on team anybody but Cam. But I also don't want fucking <laughs> Mac Jones. Like, <laughs> like, it's 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 the worst position to be in. Like ugh, they're on, they're running up to down. they're running up to get the card in. Who is because it? Because it is. It's it's, gonna be it's, Mac, it's Jones. Mac Jones. Don't it's yeah, McCorkle, pa- and and Belichick knew it all along. Knew he oh. didn't have to trade up. Got yeah. the guy that is Saban's boy. Exactly. I was literally. I, I'm at Tommy's house, and I'm like, it's all fucking. Uh, it's <laughs> we're gonna draft somebody for friends of Bill. Fucking Rutgers. Fucking Urban Meyer or Nick Saban or some Division two scumbag uh, that nobody's <laughs> ever heard of. They 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 just scramble to find the fucking film for, and they're like, oh yeah, that that that's value. My ass. It's value. I, got, I really hope it's not fucking <laughs> Mac Jones, man. 
God damn. Oh, uh, I got I got some bad news for you. I'm I'm almost 100 percent positive it is Mac Jones. But you again, have to take Mac. Mac Jones in that offense in the same way he executed in Alabama. Offense? I mean, we upgraded a little bit at tight end, and we got Nelson Aguilar as <laughs> our fucking number one now. Yeah, Are you serious, Nelly, bro. Here. Aguilar coming to New England is perfect for people who like to listen to a strong accent. <laughs> Dro- <laughs> dropping, dropping balls, Uh-oh. unlike Aguilar. Listen, I had a first oh, wow. round leader today, and they're gonna ruin my fucking day. <laughs> um, yeah, you hit Who'd first you hit? round leader on the Keegan, golf gambling man. podcast. Keegan. There we go. Yeah, yeah come to golf gambling podcast. Come get some mm. fucking winners and listen to me scream about shit. <laughs> McCorkle, is McCorkle. it McCorkle? Is it? You're ahead of me. Uh, Is it him? Uh, uh, it's not official, but I'm I'm trying not to look at the chat. But I who's my spidey guy? sense is tingling. Who's this fucking bastard? Who's this? They they you know they crowbar know. a lot of a lot of charity stuff in. Basically that that you know if they bring up a guy talking about charity, they know they know uh, <laughs> they know Roger Goodell's not going to get booed if it's some guy coming up talking about world hunger and uh, saving the it's world and doing Mac good Jones. things. Oh, my oh it's oh, fucking and- Mac Jones. <laughs> God oh, damn it. <laughs> Ryan, make a note. That is a new job. <laughs> fucking Mac Jones. <laughs> it's Fuck. a baby Hold on. We, fucking we, wheel, let's man. bring in some maybe maybe some therapy real quick. Uh Colby, you ready with a highlight? Colby's not gonna make me feel better. He's a fucking Jets fan. He's gonna torture me with some bad picks. <laughs> oh, look at the, look at Mac Jones walk to the podium. He has a chip on his yeah. shoulder. He is gonna be a winner. Look at he nice just throw. grabs the cap. <laughs> that, was that was a nice, a nice throw. throw. That was a nice throw. <laughs> <laughs> he's already sold. It's a nice throw. Dude. And and oh man. Oh, he's Capper pumped. Up. He's pumped. Cap- yeah. Dude, he looks focused. Capper, I'm telling you, Mac Jones, rookie of the year. Well, and Mac real quick. Jones. Oh, Cause I got to bring him on, but co uh, his, his co-host on the golf gambling <laughs> podcast, Steve, oh, like, Steve, this is, this is, <laughs> this, is the sorry, dream buddy. Sc- <laughs> this is the dream scenario. You know, here, here's the great thing about Boston capper is that he can be all out on a golf or anything. But if I drop like a little, like tiny nugget on somebody, like it'll turn his opinion on like one eighty. So the fact that probably just, you know, you know, like a wide open, you know, like pass play there. He's all in on Mac Jones. It's great. And I also love the fact that he just dropped a really obscure uh, golf uh, reference there to Matt Jones. Yeah. It's very good. Nice job. Well, Brawler Golf. Right. Steve, it was actually it was actually a rap song reference that I used Matt Jones for. Ooh, it's my- I, I totally understand. I fully understand that. But it's 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 to Matt Jones the golfer. That's right. For more of this, check out the golf gambling podcast exactly. anywhere you get good podcasts. Steve, we'll see you soon. Steve and uh Boston Capper, worst of luck with the Patriots. Uh, go fuck yourself, Sean. All right, listen, <laughs> he's taking us to the bowl. We're going back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> that, Let's go. Book it. <laughs> All, All right, right, brother. Uh, it's a baby fucking wheel, oh my man. God. All right. Where are we go? Who's up now? Cardinals. Cardinals. All right, Sean. I have a long shot on the board. Yep. If the Cardinals take a defensive lineman. Ooh, okay. I am cashing a seven to one ticket. Seventy five thousand dollars on it. Yeah, I love baby. Uh, to win five hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, I think Cardinals going D line here. Can, uh, do, have we had a defensive lineman drafted yet? No, we haven't. No, because uh, because I'm still sitting on my quitty pay first defensive lineman drafted. And, and you know who would have known McCorkle? He McCorkle. Do, you know, I'll, I'll say this: he I, he looks pissed. He's not quite as good looking as Zach Wilson, and I think that's where the chips coming from. He <laughs> sees the way that Zach Wilson brought the hair. Yeah. All right. Who is? Do we uh, have a McKee in the chat? I don't right? know. I, this I don't see him. Uh, I don't see him joined yet. Maybe he's. Do you think he wants a defensive? He probably wants a cornerback. I think that's the. I think the the Cardinals fans want cornerback. <laughs> Maybe receiver. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's ask. Uh, he's asking what the where the link is. I'm getting him the link. <laughs> we got the Cards fan coming in shortly. I, I I love the graphic they have up here. Pieces of the puzzle. Patriots quarterbacks. There's no pieces. Cam there. Newton, Mac Jones, Jared Stidham, Jacob Dolgala. That's not a. That is not a. There, none of those pieces fit together. <laughs> that is not a jigsaw. That is uh, it, 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 Mac Jones. It's gonna be fun. All right. I think we have uh, Mr. Mr. McKee, Cardinal super fan. Yo, sorry, I, I was having tech problems. No worries, I'm man. Uh, I mean, what? Where are you looking here? I I mocked him a defensive lineman. Uh, 
is it is it cornerback? Maybe it's cornerback, Sean. They're Caleb I, Caleb Farley, I think, is an option. But w- what are you thinking, McKee? Who do you want them to get? What do you think they do? I feel like the biggest need is cornerback after losing Patrick Peterson. So, but I don't know. Is Caleb Farley going to be healthy enough next year? Or I, I don't even know. I haven't been paying enough attention to. I know that he's had back surgery. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. I, I think that's I, I think that's not the issue. I think I think it's uh you know whether or not he's a shutdown corner. I mean that's at the end of the day he he looked as good as any cornerback that's come through Virginia Tech that I've watched as a freshman. The problem is we just haven't seen a ton. And you know I I would say if there was anything that kind of concerned me, he did maybe have some attitude issues. He was a pioneer. Oh, he was wow, he was the, he was the first opt out. I don't know if you want to credit him. With pioneering uh, the the path to not playing last season, that, but uh, hey, I mean, look. I'm, a, I'm okay with uh, cornerback divas. You know, there's been a, a long history of diva cornerback. So uh, as long as he's good, that's I'd love to see him. And as long as he's healthy. Oh man, I, I uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're the Cardinals, it makes too much sense to just replace Peterson with a cornerback here. Yeah, I think they I think they go cornerback. I I I do think I'm with you, Kramer. I think D but line. Come the, on, baby. The fact that you could get the best defensive lineman on the board is certainly reasonable. Oh, the dice are in the air. I feel it. Seven to one bet on the line. <laughs> Come on, be a D line. Roger Goodell up at the podium. Be a D lineman with the sixteen hit. Sixteen pick it? in the NFL. Zayvon oh, Collins. The, no chance Ooh. they're going to list them. List them. <laughs> no chance. He was a guy being my, a lot of people had him going to the Patriots. Uh, uh, yeah, I had him going to the Patriots. Just a big dude, a giant dude who can who can get all over the field, and I, I think probably a good pick. I, I don't know. I guess yeah. we'll see. I mean, Tulsa. A, so back to back years of drafting a linebacker in the first round. Unconventional, but I, again, I do think the system you run. He knows his You kind of need. Uh, Need need a guy like Zayvon Collins. Any won the Bednarik Award. Shout out to Chuck Bednarik, legend, all time great Eagle. What it, it seems like you're just kind of like uh, nonplussed here, uh, McKee. No, I mean I got to be honest. I <laughs> don't know who he is. I just watch a lot of Tulsa um, football. Well, oh, come on, I've well, McKee. Like, I've been we really got you. locked in. I've been really locked into NBA and <laughs> NBA Top Shop more specifically. <laughs> So I have not done a lot of NFL research. Well, right good now. news, McKee. Colby watched every Tulsa game for you, and uh, we're gonna. We're, I'm sure. I'm sure you have a highlight package for McKee. Uh, dude, I love this pick. First off, this guy. If you follow Tulsa all year, he made big plays all year to keep them in games, winning games, and this is one of them because uh, they're tied up here. That right at the at the at this point, they were playing for the AAC championship. They couldn't afford a loss here. This is overtime against Tulane. Third and goal from just outside the three yard line. (laughs) Colby's excited. Oh, here we go. Oh, walk off. Let's go. That's a giant man. Hell yeah. All right. I'm all, I'm all in. I'm all in. He's Tulsa. our next superstar. And that's a victory for Tulsa. Dude, we're gonna have a pretty sick defense a next year, except for a cornerback. I will say, <laughs> Colby has really been boosting morale all over the place tonight with his highlight packages. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for that, Colby. Uh, McKee, thank you, and uh, yeah, check out McKee. Friday NBA. host of the NBA Gambling Podcast. Locking it down, the Friday yeah. NBA Gambling Podcast. Go to locker room tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, live talk about the Friday's NBA games. Nice. Oh yeah, man! Awesome. Let Good it to see ride, you, right. All right, let's see who. Brian, well, you got to be a little nervous as a Giants fan. I'm because gonna, I'm, what, do you, what do you what are you looking this is at? This genius. They're going to trade mean? down again. Oh, the really? offensive linemen are slipping. They're going to keep getting picks for now. Ne- I think they have to take a lineman. They must have known something about where people were going to take them because if well, they can end I, up I, with Darisaw, my I, alma mater coming to the Giants, he is a I think, road grader. I think I think the Eagles traded up because I think they knew yeah. that the Giants were going to take Devonta Smith if he was available. I, I'm so happy the Giants did. I mean, do you want to talk about Odell Beckham 2.0? Like that's all I could think about there. I don't want a receiver. But right, he Sean, has a much better attitude than Odell. Who's Beckham. who's on the cl- Odell had a good attitude in college too. Who's on the clock? <laughs> 
What do we got on the clock right after the oh, Arizona Raiders. Cardinals Raiders? Let's see. Oh, we got we got some Raiders love in the in the channel. Nice, Sean, bring them on. We got uh, we got Kenny with us, and let me see if anyone else is here. Do we have a Cody as well? No, Cody's not here yet, but Kenny's All here good. with us. Cody's Kenny, thanks. Cody's in the background. Cody's oh, okay, producer. awesome. <laughs> oh wow! The, well, the mysterious you guys, voice. You guys, of of course, uh, are uh, are partners over at uh, Blue Wire Podcast. You guys host the Raiders Pod over there, locking it down for Raider Nation. Interesting time here, where there was news of possibly Aaron Rodgers getting traded to the Raiders. <laughs> we'll see where that goes. What do you guys want them to do, and what do you think they'll do here at the seventeenth spot? Yeah, well, what I wanted us to do is what we didn't do. I wanted to get Micah Parsons and he got picked up already. So I think now yeah. it's either got to be offensive tackler or, or it's got to be free safety. I'm thinking Trayvon Morg is the guy. Um, hmm. Darisaw might be the guy. There's so many players available that it's going to be really hard for the Raiders to fuck this up, but they can still <laughs> fuck it up because it's the Raiders. So, well, you got to wonder, is it, Mayo- <laughs> is it Mayock or Gruden making the pick? Yeah, they, uh, the, if it's the a Ra- bad pick, it's Gruden. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Raiders are they're like the Patriots where they're so hard to kind of figure out for these mock drafts because they're not afraid to go really off the board. I have them uh I mock them taking the uh linebacker out of the Notre Dame, Jeremiah, and I'm gonna butcher his last name, Awusa Koromoa. Do you think he is yeah. a guy they they could be looking to grab here? I think he's definitely a guy that they could grab. I mean, I think Alex Leatherwood, uh, you know, looking at losing trail, you know, Alex Leatherwood's a guy that, you know, comes from Alabama, ties to Josh Jacobs. He has ties to Mike Mayock, Mike Mayock's a ton of scouting out there. So I think that might be the more, more better option. Um, but we don't, we don't know. I mean, you, like I said, you never know. It, it, it does. It does crack me up when I see these war room you know, setups where the guys have all these spreadsheets and graphs. Come on, you know who you're gonna pick. Yeah, you're exactly. you're not looking at like an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, I'm John just, Gruden's not looking yeah. at any sort of yeah. analytics. I'm crunching <laughs> one last number here, the decimal point. Okay, no, it's like no, you like this kid. Yeah. You had your eye on him the entire time, and then you you pick him. It's it's yeah, it's football. It's it's not rocket science sometimes. Yeah, I think John Gruden's thing is how fast is your forty, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, do you classic right away. Yeah, how do you say the Raiders? Do you say Raiders or do you say the Raiders? No. <laughs> Knock on wood if you're with me, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm in the fucking nightmares. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, I think linebackers a, a real option here, and again, offensive tackle is a real option. What were they kind of doing? Uh, oh, just overall in the off season, seemed like they totally flipped their offensive line. Did yeah. you see that coming into the off season? Uh, I didn't see it coming the way that it did. I saw Trent Brown getting moved. A uh, yeah. guy that played 16 games in two seasons that wasn't really bought into the Raider way. The Raiders almost killed him with uh, IV. Uh, I saw that as a guy that who, who's on his way out. I didn't see the Rodney Hudson move coming. I didn't see that happening at all. I thought that he was going to possibly retire as a Raider, but you know that went the way that it did. Um, and then, obviously, Gabe Jackson. That was something that I kind of saw coming because of his contract um, at $10 million a year have the production that we wanted to in the run game. You know, we saw it, especially toward the year where Josh Jacobs wasn't able to get uh, a lot of those holes open. So I, I saw that happening, but um, you know, the looking at the offensive line, it's not, I think from the outside looking in, it looks bad. You, you get rid of one of the best centers in the game, maybe the best center in the game. Uh, you get rid of a guy who, when he's healthy, he's the best tackle right tackle in the game. Um, and then you get rid of a guy like Gabe Jackson, who's been a starter ever since he came into the league. Uh, but then you add, you you bring back Richie Incognito. You've got Enzel Good, who played really well in there in in Richie's absence. And then you have Andre James, who the Raiders are really high on. So um, from Richie's the outside a beast. looking in. Yeah, Richie's yeah. a beast. I mean, when Richie's healthy, Richie's a monster, and he's a guy that's going to maul you. So, I mean, I don't know. I think that outside looking in, it looks bad. I think from the inside looking out, it's not as bad unless you're, depending on the type of fan you are. You know, some Raider fans hate every single move the Raiders make. So. <laughs> and, well, uh, and, you know, shout out to my Alabama bet, your prediction earlier, because it is Leatherwood, the pick. Yes. Is in. Oh. Looks like um, it got a little bit better for you guys there. Congratulations there on the pick, Alex Leatherwood. Sounds well, like you're you're pretty, you're feeling pretty good about the pick. I feel good about it. I mean, it's not a sexy pick. Obviously, when you take an offensive tackle in the first round, it's never sexy, yeah. but it's the move that you need. Um, well, hopefully, the Raiders can make some moves in the second round. And let's, you know, C- Colby, the man with the highlight packages. Colby, you ready with a Leatherwood highlight package? 
<laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's load up a play here. here let's we see go. it. Oh, all right. Just completely shutting down. <laughs> Just knocking them down. Uh, the offensive line hype, re, like hype reels are just so. <laughs> it's just them like owning someone. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a little tough. Again, it's not the sexiest position, but it, usually, <laughs> right. usually when you draft a offensive tackle in the first round, you look back and go, "Hey, that was that was kind of the right move." Before we let you go, yeah. uh, what what do you guys think the percentage is the Oakland Raiders end up with Aaron Rodgers? Mm. Uh, I think there's zero percent chance that the Oakland Raiders do. <laughs> oh, sorry, Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> nah, I, I, honestly, I don't see the Raiders. I mean, especially now that the the Raiders have already tri- made their pick on se- the seventeen, I don't see the Raiders making a move for Aaron Rodgers. I don't see the Packers moving Aaron Rodgers. Um, I think they'll figure out a way to get something done. They, uh, obviously, he's disgruntled, but you know he could be just leveraging that to get more money. Yeah. Well, appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you calling in Kenny and make sure yeah. why, w- throw out where uh, people can catch the podcast. Yeah. Check me out on any, uh, anywhere where the podcasts are found. It's the training table podcast. Uh, and you can check me out on Twitter too, at Kenny King underscore junior. Oh, All right. Yeah. Appreciate it, Kenny. Thanks for coming on. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Well, Sean plugging right along here. Yep. I'm going to give you a co-host for a little bit while I go uh, re- replenish some drinks and maybe, maybe take a piss. We'll see what <laughs> happens. Oh, I took ourselves off the screen. There we go. Dolphins back on the clock. By Dolphins the back on the clock. Are we bringing Leo back on? Or? I, I don't see. Uh, okay. I think we're, uh, we're just gonna, we're going to wait for the, hopefully the giants don't trade down again. I'll be right They're back. They're going to go Owusu Koromoa, right? I, I, the, the, the dolphins. I think they. I think they're going to go Uwusu Koromora. That my mock had that projected, guys. Yeah, I had a. Uh, I had Jamin Davis going to the Dolphins, but I also had. I I had the Raiders grabbing Jeremiah, the linebacker from Notre Dame. So I wouldn't be surprised they go linebacker here. I mean, they got to go defense, right? Even if even if we're wrong, I think the pick has got to be. Defense. And, and Jalen Phillips, don't don't count him out. He could be a. Uh, he could have be a defensive lineman and Quiddy Pay still on the board. A lot of people had him going higher. So it does J- feel like J- they're go defense. Jalen Phillips is the pick, Sean. You hit oh. it, right? Wow. I mean, well, I wish I would have had it in my props because I had Quiddy Pay going first, who seemed like a lock, but uh again, everyone no one no one feeling Quiddy Pay. Jalen Phillips, again, kind of a beast, natural rusher, and super athletic. He look he kind of lit up the so he he was on UCLA, then he medically retired because of concussions issues. Took a year off, but then came back this past year. Had a really good year for Miami. Kind of a enigma because of the athletic issue, you know, because of the medical issues, and also he has a uh, blossoming rap career. So people are worried that he cares more about music than football. But I mean, just watching his his highlight reel in general, he's he's pretty exciting player, and probably worth the risk at this spot if you're the Dolphins. Yeah, and Jalen Phillips is, you know, this guy's six six guys, just or just about six six, six five and a half. Uh, you know, he lived in LA a little too long. They they got him to quit football, but <laughs> thankfully, he, you know, he he went to Florida, learned how to play football again. And uh, I think this guy's super athletic, and I think he really could be. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's a good pick. I just think it's a good pick, uh, despite my my. I, w- I wanted them to get the uh, the linebacker out of Notre Dame, but can't go wrong here because Phillips. Uh, uh, I think this guy could really be a force in the NFL uh, can if I, he can stays I, healthy. Can I tout something real quick? Lay it on a screen. Uh, I nailed I nailed this mock draft for the Dolphins. I I had him taking Waddle. Oh, and nice. Phillips. Of course, I didn't. I that didn't seem to bet on it. But all right. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. Who's on the clock? Is it the football team? The Washington oh, football team. Colby, you got some Phillips highlights for us? I, I of course I do, but brother. Lay it Here on we us. Go. This is him up here on the on the top number fifteen. Look at him getting over there, getting in there. I mean, again, these. I, I think you know, opted in. I'm sure you guys already touched on that. Yeah. Opted in. It's. A, I mean, he he's he. I, I, I JPP is the comp. I think like there's a certain rawness to the way he plays, and I think you know if you can if look he past the medical. Healthy. Yeah. And on that Miami defense that already has a bunch of weapons, he could be a real, he could be a real threat. Again, it's just the health issues, kind of how much is he into it. But 
just this long ass guy who, who is just so fast off the edge, kind of a nightmare. I yeah. mean, does, Mac Jones does, has to be nervous. Does it remind you a, a little bit of Jason Taylor? Yeah, you know what? That's and 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 maybe long it's body. just that Miami uh, jersey he's rocking as well. But uh, yeah, certainly some Jason Taylor vibes. All right, we uh, you know what? We should just bring in. I think I think the the football team's on the clock. So why not? Uh, w- what's better than uh, one dant, two Ooh, dance, double dance, the better dant, Dantabase hey. two point oh. What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on? NC Nick in the house. You know him from the college experience and well, sportsgamblingpodcast.com. What's going on, man? Man, everything is working to perfection here. <laughs> First off, we we can't draft a quarterback. They're gone. Perfect. <laughs> Linebackers, DBs, offense alignment. We got so many options, so many routes we can go down. Uh, I'm really hoping for uh, a Wosu Koromoa from Notre Dame. But even the Redskins can't screw up this pick right here. Just don't draft a quarterback. Don't draft a running back. Don't draft a wide receiver. <laughs> so you don't okay. want them. You don't want them to reach and take Mills here. No, hell no. <laughs> That's what a second I, round draft pick is for. That's what a third round draft pick is for. I thought they, uh, I thought they were going to figure out a way to get Trey Lance. Obviously, he went number three overall to the 49ers, which I'm, I'm still kind of flabbergasted I, on that decision. And now you got to love Fitz Magic in fantasy. <laughs> yes, now that oh, it, yeah. he's got, he's got a pretty easy path to the starting position. Uh, I certainly don't see him get knocked off anytime soon. But so, so you, you like where they're at in that they can't, can't kind of bust out here. What do you, what, do you, what's your take on the Kentucky linebacker? Jamin Davis. He seems to be a guy that's kind of skyrocketed up the board. Yeah, so I was a little worried. There was kind of a run on linebackers there with Parsons and, and Collins coming off the board. Um, I like Jamin Davis, but I do have a Wosu Koromoa ranked higher. Uh, either way, I'm happy, but I would go with the Fighting Irish guy over Davis. Uh, but like I said, linebacker, draft defense, I'm happy. Just don't screw it up. We've screwed up so <laughs> many drafts over the years. Drafting receivers. How many? How many receivers have the Redskins drafted in the first or second round? And <laughs> yeah, none seriously. of them panned out. None of them. Uh, Dantabase one point oh. What's what's your take on uh, the Redskins here? What should they do? What do you think they're going to end up doing? Uh, well, first off, kudos to you wearing. Uh, is that the Eric Metcalf jersey or is that Sean Taylor? Oh, uh, Terry Allen. Oh, Terry Allen. Wow. Terry, Terry wow. Allen throwback uh, skins <laughs> and, jersey. And, and can you show off that that beautiful hat you have in the corner there? <laughs> that is a that is a <laughs> Cowboys style Washington <laughs> football team hat. I was uh, going to wear it, but the, the 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 earphones didn't fit over. Yeah. That, that's like a hog. Like, 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 I like that. This this hat is older than some of your listeners, okay? This is an heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family heirloom passed down from generations. This is made in the seventies. Uh, look, I, I had them taking Zayvon Collins in my mock. Obviously, that's not there. I I, I agree with uh, NC Nick there. Owusu Koromoa makes a lot of sense. Could they go Caleb Fairley at the corner spot? Mm, I'm fine local, with that. Yeah, they like taking Hokies from time to time. Virginia Tech, kind of local uh, area kid. Yeah, I like Newsom uh, also. The other cornerback, as well with some uh, offensive line like Darisol or uh, Tevin Jenkins, you really can't go wrong with this pick. You have to really try hard to screw it up. Well, they could <laughs> draft Davis Mills. Yes, that would be that's what I'm up. saying. Davis Mills is what I'm rooting for as an Eagles fan. Uh, the the, the uh, dance base and I agree. We're all over Jamie Newman. Get him in the second or the third round. Maybe he'll pan out. Jamin Davis there is the selection. Linebacker. The Kentucky linebacker. Okay. One of one of the uh one of the traits they listed twitched up. Darius Leonard. That is they quite like the that. comparison. They like twitchy players. Yeah, and and again, I, I I was hoping he would be around uh for the Eagles at 37, but clearly he kind of made a run here as the draft process went around. And Colby, you, you got a little highlight package I for do, us? I do, and this is gonna start. This part of the draft is really gonna channel in. If you're Alan Cooley out there. You're gonna see uh, several highlights against Tennessee and and Jared Gu- Gu- Guarantano or Guantanamo Bay, like I like to call him. But here here we go. <laughs> Just cleaning it up, huh? Here we go, right here. He looks fast. 
He looks. He kind of looks slow, right? You get tired there. A forty-yard run. <laughs> fall into the end zone. He made the end zone. <laughs> I mean, I like the pick. I, I mean, to your point, it's hard to screw this one up. He did look like he was at the buffet the day before, though. And you know the re- the, the football team. I'm sorry, Sean. The, they do a pretty good job of drafting. Typically, I, I feel like as much as uh, NC Nick wants so, to say they screwed it up comes a lot, to, except uh, quarterback. quarterback. Maybe it's just, just the kind quarterback of a thing. Some teams aren't good at that. But Jason Campbell was good, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, uh, you know, worst of luck, I guess, to the the football team. I, I'm a little worried about them with Ryan Fitzmagic and a defense. Sean. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, NC uh, Nick, appreciate you calling in. Check him out on the College Experience Sports Gambling Podcast dot com. Kramer, oh, we're back. The yeah, Giants number twenty uh, on the clock. Colby, if you could, uh, I'm sure Sean needs a Coors Light. And while you're doing that, uh, feel free to bring in a, a Gatorade or maybe a coconut water for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's bring on the Giants crowd. Real shit show. Host of the this is, NBA. This is the third time they've been on. <laughs> Host of the NBA Gambling Podcast, Mr. Zach Bronner. Oh, Zach. We got. What, oh, I, yeah, I was like, what is that static? We got uh, back Nagels Bagels, who hates the Giants. <laughs> uh, no, the, just get host of the host of the golf gambling podcast, Steve Shermer, and just all around five tool athlete. In the Slack space over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com, Terrell Furman. Let's oh, go. All right, oh guys, what are we doing? I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yeah, right? I mean, this is ridiculous. All right, so Nagels, now that they've traded down, they've acquired all this great value. I see you're wearing the Giants polo. You're, you're in on this just like I am. What's the pick here? Running back. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Nick, Nick's Harris. such a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. All right, you know what, Zach? He's got the Danny Dimes jersey on. Let's go to him, Zach. What? What is the? What are we most excited about? Offensive lineman. I'm thinking Pay or Usu Karmoa. I'm Ooh. thinking defense here. Well, to get the best pass rusher this late, that that's yeah, a would, that's a I pretty good, good angle. And you're a Michigan man, Steve. <laughs> you're the rational Giants fan here. Tell me what what am I supposed to do? I mean, first of all, I just want to say I'm excited that uh, Joe Judge has uh, hijacked the ship and uh, <laughs> Gentleman's on nice float right now. But uh, yeah. I mean, listen, this worked out great. We need an edge rusher, so Quiddy Pay is sitting right there. That's great. Um, they take Darisaw, the offensive lineman. That's good too. If we trade down again. That's great. I mean, I was hoping I was coming in tonight thinking, all right, let's trade down. You know, let's you know maybe get get rid of Dave Gettleman. Both things have happened tonight. It's it's great. So. Uh, Tur- yeah, I, Tur- I think either those, yeah, either those two guys, or uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm nervous too. I'm, I'm hoping it's <laughs> not a receiver. I'm hoping Steve, it's not the oldest I, guy. I mean, you guys, you guys still really need a quarterback. Steve, Steve. Terrell, what are you, what are you hoping for at the twenty spot here? Yeah, man, uh, I'm hoping D lineman. We need a pass rush. They have all day. Um, oh, is my connection working? Can you hear me, guys? Did we? I, we might yeah, just breaking lost. up, breaking up a little bit. But he, he's lo- he's looking for D lineman. Yeah. Kramer, what is one guy you don't want them to get besides a quarterback, which you obviously need? What are you What are you looking for here? Like, that, what's the ultimate bad pick? What's the ultimate bad pick? It's a what running should back. I be rooting it's, for? it's a running back. Najee but, Harris. But they're not going to do that. We know they're not going to do that. And I think <laughs> Steve's on to sure, something. Are we sure they're not going to do that? Are we sure? You're right. Steve <laughs> Dillman is not. At the wheel right now, <laughs> the Giants' war room. There's no one fist bumping. <laughs> one person <laughs> yawning and stretching their arms. I, what is this room? We're like? This looks like a marketing room for like. Yes, you know, this is a. This is just product placement for the great right, so Microsoft Surface tablet. So Nagels, as someone who wants to come back to being a fan of the Giants, who who, <laughs> who is the pick that brings you home? Oh, uh, there it doesn't exist. They they needed the trade up to uh, to get Trevor Lawrence. Oh, for me wow. to be satisfied. No, all right. it, just, it doesn't the matter. The pick is we, in. We, all I in preparation for this appearance, I listened to a little draft coverage, and all I heard was after the first fifteen picks, there's really no first round value. Leave it to Dave Gettleman to trade. Leave it to Dave Gettleman to trade out of the top fifteen. Well, congratulations. Yeah. He is, he, I do enjoy his Nagels is rocking a sweet uh, <laughs> New York. Uh, Listen, we have an polo. extra first round pick next year in order to get our next quarterback. Okay, so there's exactly. light in the, the tunnel. We're okay. Oh, Insur- wow. Insurance. insurance. Like, like, like Nagels pointed out earlier, we could have had Justin Fields and replaced him right now. But you know what? 
We'll wait a year. You know, there's a little bit of hope. Uh, down there. So I, 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 yeah, I guess I'm rooting for Justin Fields just because Justin the Field. Giants obviously <laughs> passed on a position of need and Mac yes. Jones. I feel Sorry like to Zach equal- you gotta get New Jersey next year, buddy. Let's go. No, it's, I- a, it's a make or break year for Daniel. <laughs> Danny does. Oh, it's, it's the lineman. They're gonna take the lineman. They're gonna make me happy. Maybe the, it's the maybe, Virginia Tech lineman. I think so. I think he. So I mean, he, he, what? he was a top ten guy. I mean, I just want a lineman. The lineman helps us achieve our our or either defensive or offensive. Wide receiver, Florida. No. Yes, Tony. No. Yes. no. Darius Tony, dude, you have to be fake news. Joe Judge running the ship. Tony, no, Nagel, Nagels, you're Florida. just you're just trolling. That can't possibly be the pick. A pick so bad we didn't even consider it in in no. in bad picks that no, you didn't he, want. He's just messing with us. He's yeah, just messing with us. Nagels, don't, don't, <laughs> Nagels, don't do this to me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm messing with you. That no, was he's like not, that. He's, not, he's not. It's Tony. Oh no. wow. No. What? All right. I'm reading everyone's uh, body language in here. Not I, thrilled. Steve, what, give me the spin zone on Kadarius Tony. <laughs> I mean, I have what? a pool next to me that I'm just going to go float to the bottom to. <laughs> he's, he, he's, um, stupid. He, he's stupid athletic, though. He's really fast. I yeah. don't give a shit. We don't need a wide receiver. We just spent like, what, $80 stupid. million dollars on the position this year? Uh, uh, running back skills. I can see why you want to grab him in the first round. You want to load why up the on- hell would we trade down and then get to Kadarius Tony? <laughs> I, all right, let's. Uh, Colby, well, Gold, Col- Golden Col- Tate's not getting any younger. Is he still on the team? Kobe doesn't He's even have a highlight player. package. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe doesn't have a highlight package for do him. You have, do you have Kadarius Tony package? Look at this. Ready? Look at this athleticism. Dave Gettleman still in charge. Fuck it. <laughs> what? what? I want f- everybody to. I want you guys to issue an apology uh, to me. I'm sorry. Nagels, you know <laughs> sorry, what, Nagels? Nagels. Nagels, you are a wise man. You make great picks on your show. You're right. You're right. You're always right. Zach. Zach, Zach looks sad. Bring me I back. I feel bad for Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking about we we had an obvious pick and Quiddy Pay, but look, Tony, you get you everything Joe Judge does. I trust at this point, you know. That's I'm right. All in. rise, baby. I'm Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would you not? Right. I, I this is hard. This is actually hard for me because I I didn't I didn't think they needed a receiver either. Like why would you take a receiver? Well, Ryan, you're wearing your Virginia Tech Hokies shirt, trying to will them to take the tackle there. Wasn't strong enough mojo wise. They just showed a stat where he's the tenth best in college. But like, why is that the stat? That's not good. <laughs> I don't even know what to do here, guys. <laughs> oh man, this is great. You gotta Thanks, get guys. Gettleman out of the building. <laughs> You gotta uh, get him out of the building. You, you know, guys, we, it's really unfair to 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 judge the draft before uh, three to five years pass. So maybe this will be the uh, the savior. Can't wait for the draft grades. To I got I got to do, <laughs> do some deep dives on Tony. What the Jeez. fuck? This feels like the Evan Ingram pick like four years ago. Unexpected <laughs> receiver. This is what we waited for all night for fucking yeah. Tony. <laughs> Oh, we got that 2022 Bears. Yeah, no, we did pick awesome, up a pick. Awesome, great, great. We still have a pass rush. We still can't protect the quarterback. We uh, next year. I'm with uh, awesome. Nagels. Gettleman's got to go. I'm oh, geez, thanks, Ryan. It's only been three years. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, Devonta Smith, Kadarius Tony. It's a, you know, basically the same oh player. God. All right, this is all right. This Giants is tough. fans, thank you. That was fun. Oh my god. Check out nice Nagels Bagels Periscope on Wednesdays. Uh, Zach B oh. locking it down for the NBA gambling podcast and Steve Shermer on the golf gambling oh. podcast. Thank you, gentlemen. That was unexpected guys. Worst the luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I didn't even think as far as like troll names, I was going to throw out Kadarius Tony didn't even cross my mind, Ryan. And I think I even <sighs> talked to Colby about Colby was going through his list. He's like, I got 35, 45 guys. Who am I missing? I may have even thrown out Kadarius Tony. He's like, nah, I don't think he's going. Colby, I, I, Colby. I don't think you did because uh, even if so, like I would, I got everyone that we mentioned, man. And I look, well, Colby, last... it's, it's funnier if I mentioned it and you, and you said no, but yes, <laughs> I wasn't trying to good... throw you under the bus. The last good Florida wide receiver was Mark Duper in the NFL, right? Oh, I mean, are you you're just gonna <sighs> pretend Riley Cooper didn't have a couple solid years? <laughs> All right, I, we have to move. I <laughs> I don't even know what to think right now, and I lost the bet. First pick will be an offensive lineman by the Giants. 
I oh love my this God. fucking show and I love fucking mm, betting. All right. <laughs> I'm up? feeling excited. <laughs> this is a great episode of the show. It's horrible. Uh, all right. And, who's we, up? and we get to talk to Moon off. All right, Moon off. Let's bring him in. Is, oh. he, in, is he in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Coming in with a laugh, Moon off. What's happening, man? Hey, hey, we're just gonna spend the next like five to ten minutes just shitting on the Giants pick. Fuck the Colts <laughs> pick. All right, we're just gonna sit here and shit on shit oh, on the Giants. Well, pick. Well, you now, didn't have that under Tony ticket like me. <laughs> now, Moon off. You're you're a Texans fan. You guys have been getting a ton of shit. So it's got to be great when a team like the Giants uh, waste a pick. I mean, again, you guys probably had the same the Texans same level of impact. With your first round non-selection that the Giants did with actually selecting Kadarius Tony, who may, yeah. maybe could be good, who knows? But I, I, I'm not optimistic, uh, as I shouldn't be. What do you, what do you think of the the draft so far, Moon Off? What what jumps out of you? It's been really exciting. You know, I, I mentioned this on Twitter. I was like, we got a shitty 2020, and it's been a really good draft with some uh, with trades and all that good stuff. But uh, fun trades, uh, yeah, yeah. I think the Giants pick just put just put the cherry on the top for me so far. <laughs> Well, and uh, what do you? But what do you think about the Eagles? Devonta Smith again. I'm, I'm gonna, a little. I'm, I'm gonna a, Google Tony. I'm a little worried about his weight, but yeah. I mean, I gotta love the production, right? Where Where are you at with Devonta Smith as a pick? Yeah, I think you know I, I mentioned this to you earlier is that Eagles needed to get a receiver, right? Because yeah, I, I that needed to get rid of Alshon Jeffrey, and they needed to get a Deshaun yes. Jackson also. So, you know, you you get Devonta Smith Heisman Trophy winner. I love the pick for him. Obviously, you know his his weight and all that is a concern, but uh, him and Jalen Rager with Jalen Smith, I think you know you guys have some good young pieces there to start building around again. Yeah, no, I mean, um, it would have been nice to get Jalen Waddle just so you could have three guys uh, on the offense yeah. all named Jalen. I like that dynamic. <laughs> but now J. we. We brought you on. Uh, obviously, you host the NBA Gambling Podcast, but uh, and MLB Gambling Podcast. You're on that, L- yeah. literally doing it all for SportsGamblingPodcast.com. Figured, why not have you represent the Colts? If you're a Colts fan, I, I think I mock them taking Jalen Phillips here. Maybe they go Quiddy Pay. What do you think they should do? What do you think they do? What, what's your take on uh, the Colts at 21? I mean, Colts have options here, right? I mean, last year you yeah. take a look at yards per play. I'm gonna throw my stat in there because you know I love stats. They were top ten oh, yeah. in uh, uh, yards per play on offense and defense, so they have options here. They have options with Quiddy Pay. I think they may go offensive, um, offensive tackle because they had Anthony Const- uh, Anthony Costanzo retire Retired. in the yep. offseason. So there's a void there, and but I think you know you have options at cornerback with Farley and, and Newsom and uh, Derry saw and, and Quiddy Pay. So couple options here for, for the Colts here. Maybe oh. they, maybe they grab one of these uh, Virginia tech kids, Kramer. What do you, what do you, what do you think the Colts do? Are you still, I'm, sorry, in I was, I was, I'm on Twitter and it, the single most dynamic <laughs> wide receiver in the draft. That's uh, that's coming from okay. pro football focus on Kadarius Tony. So I, you know, don't want to get there. Uh, the one slot wide receiver in this class that has the, the best slot. chance the slot. to develop into something so much more at the next level. I love this pick. I love the wisdom of Joe <laughs> I, I, Judge. I just, slot receiver Sorry. top twenty Col- historically <laughs> not the greatest use of draft capital. I'll say that. I mean, at least he weighs north of one sixty-five. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I <laughs> and Devonta Smith's one sixty-six. I'll have you know, Ryan. Okay. I mean, as it's someone who throw. <laughs> Sorry, Moon off. Hold on. As, as Sean, as someone who as Sean is someone who likes a man who can throw up plates. Yeah. Devonta Smith throw up plates. scared to throw up plates at his, his at his pro day. Uh, everyone anyway. who saw him in person said he didn't look that skinny. That's what I'm holding on to. <laughs> and again, you I see thought, how thick Tony looks. I Fucking thought athlete. I thought Kevin Durant was too skinny, and he seems to be doing all right. All right, but yeah, the yeah. Colts take a lineman, right? Like now that the lineman, I, I think they have to take the I, tackle. I think they probably go offensive tackle, but right after that, I think they go defensive tackle. Dark horse for me is is cornerback and Farley, depending on where they have where they have his medicals and and kind of what they're thinking there. Kadarius Tony is a Tyree Kill type player. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they say that about every receiver that's not 185 pounds? It's I a, mean, it's look, a, it's a rough time to be a yeah, New York fan right now. I mean, I, I can't hear you Yankee fans all the way in the bottom of that standings <laughs> over there right now. <laughs> I love it. Mood off chip on the shoulder. This kid is <laughs> Tony does not look like the kind of guy that, that is going to want a chip on his shoulder and all these people shitting on this pick quitty pay. Okay. Yeah, pay. All right. That makes sense for them. Interesting. Not, not taking the lineman. I guess th- maybe the lineman class is weaker than we all thought. Sean. Well, but then, I mean, I guess if you're the Colts, you're saying, Hey, we got the, the best 
uh, edge rusher, or maybe maybe your or second best a, in Quiddy Pay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're kind of happy about it. I again, I was kind of underwhelmed with Quiddy Pay for the Eagles, but I think for the Colts it makes sense. What what's your what's your take on it, Munoff? Yeah, I think this is going to be a scary defense now, right? You have Quiddy Pay, you had to forge yeah. there, and now you and you also have Darius Leonard. Yeah, um, yeah. So that front that front seven is going to be really scary for the Colts and. Uh, I mean, why why haven't we mentioned uh, Carson Wentz at quarterback yet, Sean? You're awfully <laughs> quiet over there. Ginger Judas. Well, yeah. I mean, we know the Colts aren't going to be competitors because they they got a soft guy quarterback who anytime adversity hits, he requests a trade. So they're calling him the next Aaron Rodgers. Any anything anytime it gets tough, he's completely out. <sighs> and, I, and maybe Quiddy Pay is going to be a beast. I, I I don't know. I I just for the a lot of people had him going to the Eagles and it just wasn't that exciting. Yeah. Cause we already kind of have Brandon Graham and uh, I don't know the, there was just a ton of similarities with what they already had. But, but again, for the Colts, I, I think if he can just give them a little juice with Buckner with uh, you know, with the uh, linebacker there, they got, yeah. I'm blanking on um, Darius yeah, they Leonard. Should be, Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard. Yeah. yeah. Freaking beast. All right. Well, uh, moon off. Appreciate you calling in, man. Make sure you check out moon off on the NBA gambling podcast, the MLB gambling podcast, sports gambling podcast.com. The guys five tool player, right? They're, they're calling them the Mike Trout of SGP. Look out. Uh, Kadarius Tony, 60 to one to go to the giants. That's <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just, wow. There was an opportunity there. We all missed shame on all of us. Oh my God. All right. All right. Moonoff. All right Thanks. Moon off. All right. Who's up next, Sean? Let's see what we got. Tennessee Titans hashtag. Oh, let's bring Titan him on. up. We got with the 22, uh, 22nd pick Sean Burns. Yeah, he's here with us. What's up guys. What's up, Sean. We have you uh, calling in NFL writer for sports gambling podcast.com, <sighs> but also huge Eagles fan. What's your take on Devonta <laughs> Smith? I love it. I love it. Uh, we've, we, we struggled with speed for the like for, for the last five years. It seems like that's not, it's not, it's not gonna be a problem. Much, not much anymore with Rager, Smith, and Sanders. Yeah, that's going to be a fun, dynamic backfield. Uh, a bunch of skill players. Plus, plus, plus a Hertz. Hertz, Hertz can uh, scramble. Oh yeah. On, so, I'm getting excited about the offense. All right, we have, we have, but we brought you in. Talk about the Tennessee Titans. What's your take on uh, what the Titans need? Again, feels like they're pretty wide open, right? Yeah, in our in our in our mock draft, I I, I mocked uh, Greg Greg Newsom to him. For, uh, yeah, as a, as a corner, but you know that they, they've got Farley there for corner. They they've got some some offensive tackle needs, so they've got Dar- Darisol, uh Tevin Jenkins from uh, o- Oklahoma State. So they've they've they, they've got some players there that they can they, they can choose from that that definitely fill fill needs. Yeah, no, I I, I certainly agree, and and yeah, it'll, it, I think it kind of comes down to: Would you rather go Caleb Farley with kind of the more upside, or do you go with Newsom, where you avoid the injury concerns? Newsom might be pretty good too. Or, or do you go, or do you just go back to the offensive line and help help uh, round out? I think you got to go defense. I, I think Vrabel's going to go defense. Yeah, I mean the defense was really an issue. I guess the only reason I would look offensive line is. You need that push because your your offense kind of old school an offense that relies on a kid like Derrick Henry. You need that push right. up front from the from the big ugly. So I wouldn't be shocked if they go offensive line here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, and then you, you you've got the uh, the uh, defensive tackle from Bama sitting there too. That there there there, there hasn't been a, uh, a a a defensive tackle draft yet, has there? No, no. And I, I kind of need him to go. I got over five and a half uh, <laughs> Alabama players, and I, I think he was one of the guys I penciled in. Um, which, by the way, it, we're we're coming up on that point where the running backs are going to start to to enter the conversation. Right. Sean, I know you have some action on the running back props. Yeah, yeah. I but, mean, uh, yeah. No, I, I I'm hoping Najee Harris goes to the uh, 49ers because I think I have them as a prop that the ooh. Steelers will draft a running back and. Yeah, I guess It'd you would really. Fit there. Yeah, and it kind of makes sense. the The Titans, I don't think, go running back, but we've heard no, they have to go defense. I think they yeah. lost to Dory Jackson. Like yeah, it. you're right, but they also lost. Uh, yeah, who else did they lose on the offensive line? Am I uh, that 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 the I Browns lot, had Conklin? They I think ended up trading de- him. Yeah, there's some depth on the O line in the draft. I think a lot of people are a lot of teams seem to be planning to grab one in the second round. Yeah, I mean they they they, they bombed on uh, Wilson last year. Tackled. I mean he didn't. I don't even think he made it to made it to camp, and he was <laughs> he was he was gone. So um, 
They here here's a fact. They they've drafted they've drafted in the first round three straight um, players from the uh, the um, SEC. So that's mm. that's a, that, that's something to watch there. And uh, quick sidebar: Howie Roseman drafted his first Alabama player. Wow! They the Eagles were the had the fewest drafted Alabama players like it, all time. They were on a they were on a crazy streak here. Howie pick, Howie Roseman. Howie. Yeah, exactly. Had a crowbar, some Eagles talk in here, but the pick is in for the Titans at 22 Kramer. You're right. They really do need to go defense. Cause that, that really was the hole and, and offense kind of, I don't think the offense was, I mean, they lost some pieces. I well, guess, it'd be but. interesting to see what their offense is like post Arthur Smith, because I, I think, and True. we'll, we'll you don't see think it's Tannehill? <laughs> well, I, and again, was it Tannehill not being coached by Adam Gase or was it Tannehill being coached by Arthur Smith? That's true. Clearly there was something going on that, right. ta- that made Tannehill look way better. Right, Sean. Yeah. I mean, they, uh, they lost Corey, Corey Davis in free agency. So yeah, yeah, that's true too. Too bad. Uh, Tony's t- Tony's off the board, right? <laughs> right, Ryan. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you've seen the highlights. This dude's an absolute monster, just a monster no. on the field. I actually watched him this year. He is he is pretty talented. I mean, it's probably high where they picked him, but uh, he he is a he is a talented player. Yeah, I mean, let's just you know, this is this it, everything was going well. Like trade, <laughs> I was so happy. Everything was going well, and then it just we had a lineman. We could have taken the lineman. I could have hit that three to one, Sean. I could have put some money in my pocket that put protect Daniel Jones. I just don't think this is the way you see if you have the quarterback without giving him the offensive. I mean, I guess Nate soldier is right. going to be the guy. I guess Nate right. Solder's my guy. All right. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure Nate Solder is not the guy. Man, Goodell really just making this all about him. Look at this slow ass strut pointing to the fans <laughs> slash it's, actors. It's, it's been a process with some of these picks, huh? Yeah. It's taken, yeah, it is weird. Forever. Forever. There, there's some that are really stretching out. I mean, we're three I mean, hours we're going in. Three hours in. <laughs> I, I think we were planning on wrapping around eight o'clock West Coast time. We're not. I mean, nine thirty. I think would be a great, great time. Right. We got now. ten picks left. I mean, bringing I do in, think bring, bringing in his uh, his uh, man chair and having fans sit in. It. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not it's, sure what I, mean, I, what, I, what I feel about that. Yeah, as an NFL fan, you know, Sean, as a as a young fan, you always dreamed of one day sitting in the commissioner's chair. Like what, <laughs> what kind of reward is this? Let them, let them go up and make the pick. Okay. That's cool. All right. They're waving the flag. I get it. But the, the idea that somehow you being in the chair is, is least, some reward, at least he's not having kids sit on his lap. <laughs> yeah. right? like that, would have <laughs> uh, that would be probably a, a bridge too far. 22nd pick for the Tennessee Titans is in. I think he's probably doing another promo, right? <laughs> He's, oh, there he's it is. talking for a while. Cornerback Caleb Farley, Ooh, Virginia Tech, DBU. I mean, look at that size, Sean. That's what you want. Almost six two. Got long arms. Yeah. No, I mean he's, he's a great pick. If, if his if his back holds up, it's perfect. He's he's a great player. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and and again, the comps they're they're throwing out over here on NFL Network. Chris McAllister, <laughs> who's watching this draft, is like, oh yeah, Chris McAllister. I love that guy. All right, Colby. I forgot the last pick, so let, let's bring you on to show a little little highlight action here and, of and uh, my guy, Chris McAllister was a beast, but uh, <laughs> but uh, dude, Quiddy Pay, you forgot the highlight there, and that I'm was sorry. my only Gus Johnson clip of the. Oh, of the draft. all right, we'll, oh, we'll have to go back to it. We'll go back to it. All right, but, show, show me. Oh no, but but Caleb Farley, I got Caleb Farley loaded now. This this kid can play. I like I said, I wanted the Jets to get him. Here we go. We got a couple clips here. He's just an athlete, Colby. He's got great size too. Bud Foster corner, you know it's gonna be. He's gonna be good. Lunch pail. How many lunch pails does he have? Uh, he only played for a year. Probably didn't have the lunch pail at all. But I mean, again, willing to put his head down and tackle, like things that you expect out of Virginia Tech cornerbacks. Yeah. Boom. Love it. It's a good it's a, pick. Yeah. All right. Had micro dissectomy back surgery a month ago. That, yeah, it's it's micro. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, the, the back the back surgery stuff. It's a flesh stuff. wound. It's a flesh wound. <laughs> it's spinal. 
<laughs> exactly. Other than the couple of major back surgeries, he seems like a steal. And he got sent home from the draft for having COVID too. So like that's oh. another element. <laughs> there you go. Guy <laughs> trouble seems to find uh, Caleb Farley. Uh, All right, Sean. I got the I got the Quiddy Pay ready to go. All okay, right, let's right. watch Quiddy Pay. We'll, Holly, we'll, we'll let Sean watch Quiddy Pay loaded. with us. I love well, it. Look, it's got the Gus Johnson. This is for the win against Army overtime against the Black Knights. Hopkins to throw. Hopkins stepped up. Sack. Lost. Michigan has a football. I mean. Why does Gus Johnson not do more stuff? <laughs> and the Wolverines survive. <laughs> okay, so weren't they favored by like twenty four points in this game? Yeah, this exactly. Game? Great point, Sean. <laughs> I, I how much has Gus Johnson helped different players draft stock? Yeah, I mean, Jesus. You, you got these you got these uh, GMs watching the highlights. <laughs> Gus Johnson calling a highlight, going up my draft board because of the level of excitement. Uh, You're like, how do you not yes. like this guy? True hero, He's true American hero. Yeah, Gus Johnson is the best. But, but but I like both picks to be honest, guys. I think both are going to work out. I think they're both draft, uh, like both really good for both teams. Makes sense, both of them. Makes yeah. sense indeed, Sean. Appreciate Got it. it. Thanks for hey calling guys, in. Check him out. Hey, I I I brought this for um Mr. N- N- NC Nick. I saw his oh. jersey. Got a little Terry Allen thing. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. too, bad they, too, too, too bad they aren't the Redskins anymore with these helmets. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll always be the Redskins to us. It's oh, probably, that is it's, great. It's, it, it's, it's probably worth something, honestly, now. Yeah. <laughs> but. A little starting lineup action. You and your football toys. All right, Sean. All Appreciate right. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Take it easy, Sean. Cheers. Have a good one. All right. Wow. What's What's next? Well, we got the uh, Minnesota Vikings back on the clock. Is and Dick Olson around? <laughs> Guys, don't you think they could take Davis Mills here? <laughs> I mean, that would blow people's minds. I don't. I it, you know they're going to take a pass rusher, right, or a lineman. I, I just Maybe think a Mike, corner? Mike Zimmer was so pissed about how bad his defense was. This guy is a man who prides himself on his defense. He he went out of his way yeah. to to note that it was the worst defense he's ever had in his coaching career. <laughs> that seems to me like a guy who's going to draft defense. I, I am I crazy? No, yeah, I, no. I, I think Newsom fits. I think I could totally see Newsom being drafted here. He's yeah. You know, Zimmer's a former before he was a DC. He was a defensive backs coach. So uh, I, that makes sense. But I, I don't know. I've just heard speculation all throughout the past two weeks, really, that they might look at a quarterback. But you know, everyone else is gone. So maybe in the second round, they can get Davis Mills or a, a Kyle Trask. I mean, I, I think uh, I'm still I, I'm still just shocked at the value that that the Giants got with Tony at at twenty. <laughs> um, <sighs> uh, I I mean, it's uh, I'm gonna tweet out a screenshot of uh, of of something a uh, Eagles fan just sent me of of Giants fans reacting to the pick. It's pretty great. It's just a classic New York Giants fan with his hands out, like, "What the fuck? Are you kidding me?" <laughs> So we got we got um, the Vikings. The pick is already in. It's got. A, I think it's it's what it's. it's a, you're saying D lineman, or are you saying cornerback? I think it's going to be a corner. I think. It, it, no, I, I like. I, yeah, I like Newsom here. Although they have a bunch of young corners last year. Um, I don't know if they go young corner. I. Well, I mean, they drafted Hughes a couple of years ago. He's, he tore his ACL. I, I mean, yeah, I, edge makes sense too. I really anywhere on defense, I could see that. I could see them going linebacker. I could see them just going linebacker. So, uh, very intriguing here. And, but who and, would they and, go linebacker? Because that would be the fourth linebacker taken, right? I guess I'd be a little shocked if they went linebacker. Uh, Owusu, right? Yeah. No taken. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's kind of getting overlooked, and I, I thought I had him going higher. Yeah, I had him. And then there's also the Georgia edge rusher who seems seemed like he could have been a, a guy who snuck up into the first round. Uh, so yeah, I guess interesting. And freaking there's McCorkle showing us uh, McCorkle. Of course, he ended up with the Patriots. We all that, that it just made too much sense. Kirk Cousins threw 35 passes, touchdown passes in 2020. Guys, if you don't see what's wrong with that. <laughs> Yeah, we're giving you too, like that. We're giving you Colby like too much platform to complain about modern football. <laughs> That's just disgusting to me. Here we go. The, Here's the, the pick. pick is in. Come on, Newsom. 
Darisol. Twenty third pick. The Vikings select Darisol. Okay, I mean uh, that makes sense, right? Back to back hokey players. How about a lot? <laughs> you know, not so, not often you get two hokies in the first round, Colby. <laughs> let's let's see it. Show show me some Darisol. None, none of which went to the Giants, no. and none of which helped the uh, the Hokies be a decent team this year. Uh, left both, tackle both number seventy number seventy seven. This is against Miami too, and those 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 edge rushers that we saw projected. Oh. You know. He's just a beast. He's an absolute monster. I, I again, I think th- this is who the Giants should have fucking taken. He's just go- he he can run block. He can pass. Block. I I just I don't know why why you need a wide receiver. I don't know why we. I, but I guess it's all you know. Daniel Jones is going to have an electric season. You got to like yeah. the pick. You got to like the pick with Dalvin Cook. Uh, you no, know, it's I just a great think, pick. Yeah, uh, if they're going to go offense, I think that's the position. Besides quarterback, but there was no quarterback there. They could probably get the same guy they want in the second. I mean, look, he's twenty yards there. downfield right here. The, uh, sorry, yeah. watching the, but I, I just Ryan, you, you're a little jealous. You guys didn't get Darisol, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how many times do I have to say it now? <laughs> I just want to reiterate. But now that the past is the past, Sean, as you know, I, I prefer the windshield over <laughs> the rear view mirror. Exactly. So Kadarius Tony, dude's a stud. Dude's absolutely unstoppable. Good luck trying to get hands on this guy. Physical, strong, speedy. I don't know. Pit- Pittsburgh Steelers are on the clock. Pittsburgh's on the clock. We always, uh, I think we we're both in agreement that we're going to go running back here. Did they take Najee Harris? Please Is let that them take they... Najee Harris. And let's, uh, let's just bring him in. Uh, Colby's co host, one of Colby's co host over on the college experience and Steelers fan. <laughs> looking amazing with, with the macho the man glasses. <laughs> oh. oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Patty C little, in baby. the place to be. Is it, is yes, it running sir. back? Is that where we're going? Well, let me tell you what I was thinking uh defensive back and uh, I was thinking fairly or Garrett shot <laughs> and boom, one, two, they're both gone. So I guess Harris is the guy. Hopefully it feels like, I mean, the pick is already in. That makes me think that they're just taking not Harris. <laughs> that means right? they realize they realize uh, Goodell's been taking a bit too much time. They didn't have there. to do much thinking. <laughs> Trying to push it along. History, history tells us Steelers don't go running back first round. Watch them go for Newsom, the corner from oh. Northwestern. That's certainly a possibility. What what do you what do you think of their uh, cornerback depth currently, uh, Patty C? Uh, well, the defense has improved. I think uh, they've gone linebacker five out of the last seven years in the first round. They've gone defense nine out of the last eleven years first round, and they went offensive line the other two years. Derrishaw would have been nice because Pouncey just left, but uh, so I think the defense is set third in the league in uh, total defense um, yardage and points last year. So they got it back going again. I think we got to start running the ball dead last in the league last year. It's go time, baby. And since there's no offensive lineman left on the board worth the value, let's go Harris. Franco Harris, Jerome Bettis, Najee Harris. Boom. That's (laughs) what Pittsburgh football is. So here we go. Sean Foster. Sean, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you, I am on a serious sweat right now because not only do I have Najee Harris first running back drafted, not only do I have oh, total. I don't know. Is, what Bow- you guys is Bowser in the yet. waiting room? I don't, Are you I see, ahead of us, Pat? Because I, 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 I think I'm a little I, ahead of you guys. Who is the pick? Uh, and Bowser not in the waiting room. Okay. One Najee Harris, baby. Oh. Oh, let's go, baby. Hold the trigger. Uh, let's, I mean, hold on, Sean, because my draft props just just hit <laughs> fucking gold. Over five and a half Alabama players. You hit. Uh, I think you just hit your Steelers draft. Yep. Najee Harris. I hit Najee Harris to be the first running back drafted. Let's go, baby. I also had Steelers draft a running back. That was uh, easy money. Let's go. Oh the next God. Tim Worley. All right. Let's see the hi- <laughs> let's see the highlight, Colby. Is he Derrick Henry? Maybe. Emmett Smith like doesn't get touched to 25 yards up the field. That's the only thing with those Alabama players. You never know what you're going to get. Well, now, now I'm also one of the, one of the last props I gave out two running backs drafted in the first round at plus one eight. Sweating that one out a little bit. Well, now we got one. We just need Travis Etienne, Javonta Williams, somewhere to go in this, in these next, uh, next eight picks. I I think we got a shot here. Hmm. All right, so Patty C, what do you think about the uh, Steelers overall going into next year? 
Well, this is a massive p uh, pickup. Obviously, the offensive line is a huge part of the rush game. But, you know, with a, a, a number three defense in the league, uh, all you got to do is go back to old school football and complement that with the power rushing game. Roethlisberger still got it a little bit. Hey, we can make a push. I don't know if we're ready for the Super Bowl yet. I'm a realist. I'm not a Redskins fan. But, <laughs> hey, we, we could go deep. I feel like most Redskins fans are realists uh, and, and think their team sucks. And uh, joining us. Oh, oh, there he is. The Scott, man, the myth, the legend, Scott, Scott Bowser. Bowser. What's up, Bowser? <laughs> are, are you in on this pick? I mean, I feel like running backs in the guys, first sorry, round. I was running a little late over. Ended up doing a deep dive on the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a little delay for Bowser, maybe? I mean, I've already seen it, so I can spoil it. For you. My, my, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm a, I might be a little uh, late. We, all right. La, we, uh, he, I'm just gonna guess that he loved the pick. <laughs> ba Bowser, we'll go out on a limb. Uh, Bowser, froze. your your connection, your connections. Uh, he, freezing he's, up. he froze up. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> he um, he's excited about Najee Harris. I can yeah, tell. I mean, I an interesting uh, fantasy player too in that Steelers offense. I feel like he's gonna get the rock a bunch and uh, PPR opportunities as well. Do yeah, we worry I, about him out the backfield? The Steelers recently with Le'Veon Bell and Connor, I feel like a lot of their backs get touches out of the backfield. I don't know how good Harris is out the backfield. What do you think, Patty C? I mean, hands wise, I didn't get to see a ton of him, but he has he ran a four four five. He's a big dude, so I don't think he's gonna get lit up. He's he's obviously able to jump over people's heads at will. So the uh, agility's there. The athleticism is there. As long as he doesn't have stone hands, then I think we'll be effective there too. All okay. right. Yeah. And he, 781 receiving yards, way more than uh Derek Henry or Mark Ingram. So I, I think he's a good fit and still, no. still need to do a little bit on the offensive line, I think, but not in bad shape. The 780 receiving yards came every time they played an FCS team every year. Oh, catch oh, a come screen on. for 90 yards against. Well, Miami. you don't think they were playing FCS teams with Mark Ingram and uh and Derrick Henry, come on! This is Alabama we're talking about, guys. That's, that's a calling card. <laughs> exactly. All right, thanks, pa November. thanks, Patty C. Make sure to check Absolutely. out Patty C. Locking it down on the college experience. L F G. Oof. Kramer, three and a half hours in. I need a quick break. I did. Oh, I, all right. Let me bring I, Colby on. Yeah, we'll, we'll. talk a little shop with Colby. We got the Jags up on the clock. <sighs> Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy here. It'll be interesting I, how it shakes out. I mean, what? What, do, what do we think they go here? Jacksonville, you know, they go Lawrence in the first, obviously. And Defense, then, right? I'm thinking either D line or that or secondary. You mow rig the safety from uh, TCU, or they, they could go uh, Barmore on the D line, or maybe even Owusu. Owusu has been the guy that's dropped that I don't think many forecasted this late in the first. Him being there. Yeah, and I. Uh... I w I want to say I I mocked uh was it maybe I didn't mock oh no I I more more rig the the safety from TCU uh, is who I mocked to him I, I think they go defense I think they probably replace I mean I think this pick is correct me if I'm wrong Colby but this pick is from the trade uh, yeah. of Jalen Ramsey this is the Rams pick so I think you know teams don't often overthink it and and it makes sense to replace replace Ramsey with another. Piece in the secondary. I don't know if they. I mean, Newsom's an interesting. Interesting. I. I, th I just think they're gonna. They have so many holes. It doesn't really matter for them. Maybe well, they trade down. I mean, don't forget that this team is picking in like six spots or seven or eight spots or something. So, uh, they might be able to get that same safety at that spot. True. So maybe maybe it's a lineman. I mean, they ha they kind of quietly have a decent offensive line. We saw uh, the James Robinson experience. Here's the thing. Maybe Urban Meyer wants his core, his running back to go with his quarterback, and maybe that guy is Travis Etienne. That that to me is like the left field pick. But I, I think I think if you're a Jags fan, you're probably hoping for defense here. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, to me, Awusu is the only guy. When I look at my mock, it's the only guy who's like severely dropped. You know what I mean? Like uh, may, maybe you could make the case one of the one of the tackles, Jalen Mayfield or, or Sam Cosme, but. Uh, and Greg Newsom, I think those would be the ones really that stand out. But I had them going Christian Barmore in my mock just because th their D line is it's crazy. A few years ago, I feel like the D line was was sound in Jacksonville. Now they need playmakers on that D line. I think Christian Barmore makes a lot of sense at this pick. Yeah, eat some space, uh, SEC country. 
honestly, I mean, part of the reason I thought the Alabama line being hung at five and a half players was silly because we've already had six come off far more. There are some red flags, but I, I, I mean, I had him going to the Cardinals. I was maybe too high on him, but it, it would be shocking if he fell out of the first round. Um, and uh, you know, to the point, I think if you're, if you're trying to rebuild a defense, it, it's not the worst way to do it. Uh, starting up front. How'd it go, Sean? Went great. Nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually, I find Jacksonville in this draft, one of the more intriguing teams because yeah, they took, they got my guy, LaVisca Chenault a year ago. And yeah. I'm really, I'm really excited. You remember, uh, urban Meyer had Percy Harvin. Now Percy Harvin completely different than L- LaVisca Chenault in, in, in body size and everything, but Chenault's kind of a tweener, but he's super physical kind of plays like yeah. a running back at wide receiver. So interested, interested to see how they're going to use him in urban Meyer's offense. I think Meyer will find the way to maximize his potential and just really can, you know, interesting to see Willie go running back, Willie go D line. Uh, I think a lot of picks in this draft for Jacksonville will be on the defensive side of the ball though. And I still can't believe Kyle Shanahan took Trey Lance. So hey sh- guys, I, but I read it. I read something about FCS quarterbacks taken in the first round. Majority of, I want to say the last 10 have had great success. I mean, if, if you're giving Wentz that pass, <laughs> he did win if, a Super Bowl, right? Sean? Yeah. If you're giving, Wentz no, I mean, the pass, if they didn't, if they didn't draft Carson Wentz, I don't win $200,000 and the Eagles don't win the Super Bowl. So I can only <laughs> shit on him so much breaking news though. Uh, from our uh, friend Nagels bagels, he's sharing a tweet of a uh, giants beat reporter quote. Did the giants at least call the Packers to see if they uh, really were interested in trading quarterback Aaron Rodgers said Dave Gettleman quote no it's none of my business very frankly we believe in Daniel Jones and it's going to cost a mother load for anyone to get him <laughs> love that confidence in his player I love the way I mean come on he's Guys, a man he's a man the pick is is happening right now uh, Sean what do you think Jacksonville's doing here. Yeah, I mean, you you guys, I heard you discussing Barmore. I, I think that makes sense. Again, ETN. ETN. Wow, let's go. I, I, while you were gone, I called oh it. While you were gone, I called it. I told you that Urban Meyer wanted his running back. James Robinson, clearly not that guy, I guess. So uh, Colby is already ready. Yeah, I mean, guys, this one, I, I, fi- I think. Y- between him, Chenault, Robinson, mixing them, uh, there are a couple of their other receivers. This could be a really explosive os- offense. He doesn't s- strike me as like a you know I, I, every down NFL back. I, maybe I, I don't know, but I, I he's super explosive. explosive. And you'll see it. You'll see it right here. This is against Miami. Yeah, I mean that's but that's what Urban Meyer wants. Like this is an I, Urban Meyer. I running got a back. few here too, man. Like this this guy is a stud. I mean, again, I it, it, Sean cash and tickets over there. Yeah, I mean, over one and a half running backs. It became clear that between ETN and Javonta Williams, one of these guys, uh, you know, was gonna go in, in the first round, and that and and Najee Harris seemed like a lock to go. So. Again, kind of closing out strong here as we uh, as we wrap things up or and, get to know, the end of the first round. Trevor Lawrence and Etienne just move on from Clemson to to Jacksonville. <laughs> so championship culture—that's how you build it, right? Uh, it's certainly fun. And as much as I hate Urban Meyer, like I I like this move from that from a culture standpoint. Yeah. Is there any chance though now that Javante Williams goes in the first round? Well, and well, that's, look at the bills, maybe. So now let's start talking. We've been doing best ball for a while. Yeah. I have some Javante Williams shares. Have no Najee Harris. Have no uh, Etienne shares. But boy, Travis Etienne's moving up draft boards because of this pick. I think. And, think? and and to me, I don't love Najee James Harris. Robinson falling. Yeah, <laughs> I don't love Najee Harris because there is an offensive line problem in Pittsburgh. So I don't know <laughs> if I don't know if him landing in the spot we thought he was going to land. Maybe I'm just lower. I think the world will be lower on him, and I think we should expect to see him fall down the best ball draft boards. Et and move up. Javante Williams, the next guy to fall. I, I think he's the guy that if he falls in an interesting situation, to me, he's the first rookie off the board. Off the board. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see this Jacksonville offense. Which, see how Urban Meyer's scheme works. Because all right, that, we're, yeah. let's see here. We got uh, who's on the clock? Sean, help me out here. After the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, Cleveland Browns. All right. So we we may be having a uh, 
guest from the Reflog show, McNeil. Oh, nice. Little, checking in. Little uh let's see if we got him in the uh the old waiting room. In the uh, big play. I, I don't I don't see anyone, but yeah, shout out to the big play guys, big Cleveland. I mean, they're, they I, I would imagine they're there and drunk, right? Oh yeah. And uh yeah, big play Dave shared a photo of his van cave and kind of reminded me of what we're doing here Pretty badass. at the office. Nice setup there. This is a weird spot for Cleveland, right? They don't need anything. They're they're drafting 26 in the NFL draft. This is this is uncharted territory. They got a guy on stage wearing a jack o' lantern as a head. This is <laughs> this is kind of their their this has to be the best Cleveland Browns draft experience. They're hosting the draft. They they made a run in the AFC playoffs and they can kind of go anywhere. How can they mess this pick up, Kramer? Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're excited that they're good. And maybe they, they pick a, a position of like luxury, like another pass rusher. I, I, I actually, I, I think it's gotta be defense. I think for the same reason, like Newsom is the perfect pick to me because he fell, they could use a cornerback. It was all we talked about last year, Sean, how much we loved playing wide receivers against this Cleveland uh, team because they had some liabilities in the defensive backfield. I think they got to go cornerback, right? Yeah. Or defense in general. I don't see how they don't, uh, they they have to take defense. Well, I love this pick with Newsom. You know, he's I, a guy who plays in cold weather. He played in in Evanston, Illinois. He can Newsom play makes Cleveland. a ton of sense. Yeah, I I don't see them going skill position offense. I I think you could talk me into edge rusher here, pass rusher. Although I don't know if they have anyone high enough on their board that hasn't already been taken position wise. I, I know they got Jadavian Clowney, but I still think they need. A little bit of a pop in the pass rushing area. Yeah, I, I mocked. Uh, who did I mock to them? I mocked uh, Newsom. So there you go. I, it feels like a good time to take him. Uh, although I, I will say this: the the Georgia pass rusher. Yeah. So uh, uh, someone's getting a steal. I mean, he shouldn't still be on the board. I don't think. Maybe that's the pick here. When Big Play Dave uh, came on and, and and talked to us about this, I think it was for the mock draft. I think that's where he went. Pass rusher. I mean, again, Goodell just making this all about him. Yeah, but the whole time, just a lot of Goodell. I like a lot of Goodell. I do like how the only highlight Colby ha- didn't have was <laughs> Kadarius Tony. <laughs> like we couldn't have made we couldn't have made that show. Uh, we c- we couldn't write a better live NFL draft show. And the pick is in. Although we got to read some whatever partner thing that they got going on. Yeah, they're selling ads for each pick, Sean. You can appreciate that. Making those dollars. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I got I got no beef. I mean, these are charitable dollars, but right. But the you know the NFL, they know how to. Someone definitely to gave them the the note to speed the draft up because we got to get done before nine o'clock. <laughs> they're moving along here. You know it's not the Georgia person because she she'd probably have a hard time pronouncing that name because I have a hard time pronouncing that name and this is a high schooler. So the pick is in, Colby. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I guess I'm ahead of you by a little bit still. Yeah. What do um, they What do they got? What do they, they got? They went Newsom. They went Newsom. Ooh, okay. Boom. Sean, I I've nailed a a decent amount. Had of this a couple first nice round. uh nice late round plays here, Kramer. You may be, uh, we submitted our mock drafts to be great tonight, and I think you're going to do pretty well, or at least beat me. I, I, I'm hitting some exact move, like some exact spots. So. Well, yeah, and that'll that'll help you in the scoring of these mock drafts. Like I, you know, on mine, I'm I'm pretty good and and doing decent on the prop bets, but it's one of those things where you know, like if you get one off, then it kind of kicks down yeah. everything. You Dominoes, know what I mean? Baby. Yeah. Like having Justin Fields to the saints. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, although I didn't nail Elijah Vera Tucker to nice. uh, the chargers. That was a nice deep pull. But again, like Caleb Farley to the bears, are you really going to put Justin Fields there? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. They're hard to do without trades. I nailed obviously Najee Harris. I had, I had Barmore going to the Jags. I, I don't, did. Don't I, mind. Uh, I mean, the ETN play probably a little cute, but I, I get what they're trying to do. All right, Colby, give us the highlight package. Yeah, I love this kid, man. I think he's going to be great. Two Northwestern players drafted in the first round, Sean. Let's go, baby. And I, are we old at this point that the like people don't say junior anymore? 
there, there's a whole other, and and even on the highlight, you can hear him calling him junior. There, there's a whole dynamic of whether it's a junior or a second. It's, it's a whole rabbit hole. He was ready for the NFL. He got both feet down. This is the same game later in the game. Oh my goodness. He's just got eyes, but in the back of his head, Colby. All right. Let's well, who's up next, Sean. Talk to me. Who's up next on the clock? The what Baltimore got? Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. Oh man, they're, it almost seems like they're definitely going to trade back. All right, let's see. We got uh, we got Scott. Sim- He's here with us, Sean. Uh, let me flip over and bring him on, Mr. Scott Simpson. I'm going to get. Re- He's with us now, Colby. Or uh, I'm getting rid of Colby. Sean, what's Scott's happening? What's happening, Scott? Thanks for calling in, man. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. How you guys doing tonight? Doing uh, great. I mean, the Giants drafted Kadarius Tony. I'm still confused. <laughs> I'm confused. I have no idea what just happened. Just ha- I I saw that. That was terrible. That was so disappointing. (laughs) It was was, terrible right now. I have to justify why it's great. Okay, why is it great? I I don't know yet. I have to figure that (laughs) out. He's got he's got to do some more research. Got to do some more drinking. (laughs) So who do you like here for the Ravens? So you know, for for me, it's between Rashad Bateman and Terrence Marshall. You you need to get somebody who can stretch the field on the outside. All they do is throw the ball in the middle of the field to Mark Andrews and hope that maybe Hollywood can get uh, up open up the seam. That's not a strategy to get completions to your wide receivers. You have to be able to throw to the edge. It's important in the NFL to defend the whole field, and teams have changed the field on the Ravens and only defended the middle of the field, and they can't get the ball to the outside. They saw Des Bryant. Was starting there last year. Come on, I mean, yeah. this is good, but come on, he he was good five years ago. <laughs> yes, so. exactly. He was he. The fact that he got, he got a shot with the Ravens says all you need to know about the receiver situation. I I had uh, I had a uh, Bateman mock to uh, the Ravens here, so I'm I'm knocking on wood that that's who they choose. Nice, and and I'm I'm totally with you there. They need to to give uh, Lamar Jackson, who's had some accuracy issues. Again, not going to call him a running back or receiver, but he's had some accuracy issues. They need to find some guys that have a bigger catch radius. Now in the same way, I like that, the Bateman pick. I mean, honestly, and, and Bateman has a bigger catch radius than some of these other smaller, you know, kind of s- Hollywood Brown type that are had their, have their roles, but they're not like a bigger bodied receiver. And in a receiver class, that's pretty small. Bateman jumps out as kind of a bigger guy. Yeah, and they need somebody who can possess the football and who can get in yeah, there. Yeah, possession. And, yeah, and they don't have that. They have somebody who can dink and dunk, and and that's not going to get it done. I mean, you have Willie Sneed as your wide receiver <laughs> too. Yeah, oh, come on, look, it's gross. Well, well, Scott, I know you're a huge fantasy guy. Going to be doing some uh, fantasy articles for us on the site. Uh, Nimbles with number on Twitter, doing a ton of fantasy stuff. Huge fantasy guy. What uh, what kind of uh, fantasy angles have you picked up so far here in the in round one of the NFL draft? I mean, I think one of the main things you have to have is a receiver, and you have to see you just see the the positioning and the jockeying for wide receivers. I don't understand what the Giants did. They had an opportunity to get <laughs> they had an opportunity to get good wide receivers, and they're like, nah, we'll we'll let other people get those guys. Uh, we'll move away. So uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> you're seeing that these offenses, they want to put weapons in the hands of their quarterbacks. And so the young quarterbacks are getting weapons. I mean, you see it in Cincinnati, uh, you know, you see it not in Detroit, sorry, Jared Goff, um, but <laughs> you know, uh, and, and so I, I'm excited just to see how these young wide receivers can come into the league and what they can do. Yeah, no. It, and again, it, while the draft is going on, I, we're big best ball people over here. Fantasy wise, we're doing stuff with underdog promo code SGPN <laughs> here, chance at a free million. But in my head, I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think of some fun stacks of like a, you know, a Joe Burrow, Jamar chase, or is, is, uh, you know, is a uh, Najee Harris worth taking for some PPR ability. What, what sort of a rookies do you think in the first round just so far have, have a nice fantasy value, best ball season long anyone jump out at you as, as possibly a great find. Yeah. I mean, Travis Etienne, I, I love where he's at right now. You know, that makes me really happy that he just got picked up in Jacksonville. I'm not a, a James Robinson truther at all. And so <laughs> uh, I think he was there. He fit the mold of somebody who could be used. And that's what running backs are in this, this you, business. They get used. They're a commodity that you use up faster than any other of your skill positions. So uh, I, I'm not worried about uh, that situation. I think he'll be because he has that opportunity to share. 
he'll be undervalued when it comes to DFS. That's what I love. I love looking for those angles in DFS and kind of figuring out where the money is going to be going uh, into my pocket. Hopefully, I mean at the end of the day. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, if you're in a uh, you know if you're in a in, in any sort of like long term fantasy options where you have James Robinson or you drafted James Robinson early in best ball, like I might have in in some of these uh, best ball early drafts. That's a it's a horrible play right now because you know maybe they get him involved in third down and stuff, but they're drafting ETN. He's kind of he's going to get a ton of looks. Uh, yeah, I, and I think you know I, again, I think I, my expectation also. I think I think we may see Javante Williams in these next four picks. Wouldn't be surprised. There's still there's still a couple left, and and the Bills were rumored to be uh, interested uh, in the running back spot, and they're on the clock, Sean. Oh, and it's the pick is in oh. Baltimore Ravens. We we were uh, all over it here. Rashad Bateman seemed like the average, you know, the obvious pick, and and certainly the uh, the good pick here. Rashad Bateman, six foot, hundred and ninety pounds. Man, he's he's got some he's got some moves here. What what do you think about the the pick here for the Ravens, Scott? You know, I think it's it's a good pick for them. It's not a great pick <laughs> for fa- for fantasy. You know, I think yeah. he's good. if he went to a better spot, I think he'd have more value out of the break. I could see him gaining it as the season goes on, and at the end of the season, coming into that wide receiver two, wide receiver three role uh, in in your offense if you drafted him. But I wouldn't expect him to come out the break and be consistent for you, just because that offense is not consistent in getting the ball to the wide receiver position. And so until they can build that in and kind of develop it, I'll be waiting for that. Yeah. I mean, again, you're, That's a you're, good pick. you're playing with fire draft and a Ravens receiver or a Ravens pass catcher kind of in general, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if uh, he gives them a nice boost, but it, their intentions it, are clear, which is good. Well, just it, like Daniel Jones, Lamar Jackson's going to have no excuses. <laughs> well, and Bateman, you could make a good case, probably up there with best player available, fits the need, and, and makes a uh, complete sense there for the and Ravens. Pisses offense. off Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> one more, one more uh, dagger in the Aaron Rodgers Green Bay uh, Packers coffin. Scott, appreciate you calling in. Make sure you give Scott a follow on Twitter at Nimble W Numbers. Thanks a lot, Scott. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Salute. All wow. right, New Orleans Saints. Ryan, unlikely they'll draft uh, <laughs> Justin Fields here, in part because Justin Fields already has been drafted. There was rumors about them trading up. Maybe they inquired about the Justin Fields market. Thought it was too pricey. Again, they're kind of pressed up against the cap. What are they going to do here? It, pretty wide open. Uh, I I really could see a lot of different players going well, to them. I t- I had them. Uh, I mocked them the the uh, safety at a TCU, Trayvon uh, Morig. He, like he's kind of like the overall consensus number one safety. Weak but, class, but what, yeah. What one do you uh, What are you thinking they well, do? If I if I look at my mock and my board, uh, we definitely have. Uh, we've lost. I I have Darius or what? Bay, Barmore. Falling. I have Aziz from Georgia. The passers are falling. Tevin Jenkins falling. Um, Morrig, I guess, kind of falling a little bit. Um, the linebacker at Notre Dame. I, if the Saints, it seems like they should go defense. Yeah, because they're going to have some uh, some volatility. I think at the uh, at the offense. Who, who do we have? A we have a Saints. Welcome player. to UAB. Oh, is he's he, here, is right he here. In, Let's in bring him room? on. Bang. <laughs> Oh. How happy is to be, baby? We get to see what the great, the great Saints going to pick up in here, dude. Who that? Who who do you want? Who, That's the question. Who do I want? Man, it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. We're just gonna add it's icing on the cake right here. Uh, if you're not if you're not watching on YouTube, you're missing out. Welcome to UAB, bringing the swag. He's got possibly a, a turnover chain <laughs> around his neck, unclear, but. Certainly, certainly bringing the heat this here for this Saints this pick. Chain, man. I go to bed <laughs> sleeping this. This is how it keeps me going to sleep. It keeps me, uh, keeps me lay down, wait, wait for the lights. You know, we're going good, good. <laughs> Anyways, now we got the Saints going on the pick right here. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Uh, we go quarterback. We go wide receiver, which I think uh, Marshall, uh, Terrence Marshall, sitting right up in there, which I picked yeah. uh, in our mock draft. Uh, I think that's a good pick for us. Uh, quarterback's always a selection. Shit, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> this is. I, I think this they, is the most New Orleans. Uh, I, 
<laughs> selection we could ask for. <laughs> Davis Mills, maybe the dark no, horse. I no. can see. No, you, you can't do that. Again, I still think it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick to my mock and say Trevon Morig, the safety, but. Again, Saints are a wild card. Edge like, rusher, take the kid from Georgia. Don't overthink it. They He's kind of need horrible. a little bit, or even uh, Joe Tryon, the edge rusher, Washington. Jason Owa, the the Penn State edge rusher, who again kind of a beast physically, really pushes guys around. Didn't have a sack, which is kind of a red flag, but uh, by all accounts, like everyone who watches a ton of tape, swear by him. Well, oh exactly. man, I mean, the Saints could pick anywhere here. I mean, really, it's it's a it's the most relaxed I've ever been with the Saints draft pick because <laughs> it could literally go any fucking where. Anywhere. Yes. So is Jameis or Taysom Hill? Who's the guy you want? Oh, Jameis, baby, MVP, MVP, yes. MVP. Jameis Winston, just go ahead and mark it down right now. Just um, I'll go ahead and make you make every motherfucker here listening rich. Uh, <laughs> Jameis Winston's MVP caliber quarterback. He's gonna win the Super Bowl. Uh, just get ready. But but yeah, it Sean, doesn't, I, remind, doesn't, I mean just the city of New Orleans, the kind of vibe that New Orleans have, isn't Jameis Winston kind of the perfect quarterback for that? I mean Taysom yeah. Hill Taysom Hill's just kind of like a a dork, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Jameis Winston to me embodies the South and, and Southern culture and just kinda I don't know, he's got that he's got that New Orleans mojo, like no la vibes. Am I am I right there? Welcome to UAB. Well, 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 I mean, from from UAB, he was from Huey Town, which is very close. To, it's a suburb of Birmingham, which I get to see him every fucking time I wanted to. Now, yeah. So therefore, from Birmingham over to New Orleans, it's just a simple transfer over there. So he's got the South built in him. Now he's going to take all the bullshit he's learned in the last two years. He's going to take all that and he's going to bring us to a Super Bowl. How amazing is that? That's imagine, I mean, a, a, imagine the Saints with a vertical passing game, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. I, and, well, and he's he's got the arm. Don't get me wrong; he's got the arm. Now, granted, that arm managed to get thirty interceptions in a year, well, but that was pretty. Touchdowns. That was pretty Lasix, though. Well, and you, and you look at his uh, QB rating in the playoffs. I think it's one fifty two point six, just because he well, had one was, throw. Yeah, that yeah. was like a seventy yeah. sixty yard touchdown. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah, that one year, yeah. Why did they find a whole bunch of people that can't get up out of a chair? Yeah. Like they should have been like, "Hey, show me how you get up out of a chair." <laughs> That's part of the application. <laughs> You're going to be process. doing it on national TV. They they really needed to work out this chair. So sketch, it looks uh, like better. me trying to get up a beanbag chair, like doing that rocker move where you gotta like get some Expect momentum. Expect the same level of sketch comedy when Elon Musk hosts uh, Saturday Night Live. Oh man! <laughs> as long as he mentions Dogecoin, oh. I'll be excited. Peyton oh, Turner. Defensive no. and wow. out of Houston, H Town in the house. I I didn't have him uh, in the first round. Welcome to UAB. What uh. do you, what do you think of this pick? Oh man, Super Bowl baby! Let's <laughs> fucking go. We're going all the fucking way. That's the last fucking piece we need. Let's look. look we, got MV, we got Jason Winston, MVP quarterback. James Winston. I mean, god damn. <laughs> uh, fuck me. What am I kidding? We're fucked. <laughs> uh. I, I, he's 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 certainly interesting. Second I don't, team, all AAC. Col, Colby, I know you don't you know, have a highlight um, package, but maybe you want to make make welcome to UAB chime feel better. In. No, 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 no. Hey, no, I mean, no. don't, Houston, don't they, they theme that bullshit. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not fucking happening. He's a bullshit Look, fucking Oliver, pick. And Oliver works That's out in Buffalo. F- bullshit. <laughs> Oh, all right. Sorry, all right, bro. That, I mean, no, no, no. We needed a quarterback. We needed a wide receiver. We needed the la- the, the the fourth thing and out of the goddamn list. We needed a end. Now I understand tra- we lost Hendrix. <laughs> we lost all this fucking bullshit. But at the same time, no, we didn't need this fucking bullshit. That was the fourth thing. God, uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, I'll trade you, Tony. <laughs> All right. Well, All welcome right, to UAB. He's getting give, give him a follow on Twitter. <laughs> that, welcome to UAB. Is that some Mad Dog? Oh yes! Oh, that's bourbon. Jesus Christ! He's got a little bit of everything uh-huh. going. He's got that. Uh-huh. He's got the Coors Light. A little bit of everything. He's living uh-huh. that. He's uh-huh. living that life. I'm just gonna keep this going. <laughs> I mean, this is impressive. This is talent. <laughs> this guy goes hard. You got. You got to go to YouTube.com/slash/sportsgamblingpodcast. Just <laughs> someone. Someone who's really good with gifts. Please make a gif of welcome to UAB. Oh, chugging that oh bourbon. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Cold god! <laughs> Colby, please uh, sure. when at your, sure. at your earliest convenience, please bring me a shot to commiserate <laughs> with welcome to you. Uh, I'll also have a shot, please. I will Thank too. You. I will too. Let's do All it. All right, so. shots around. All right, welcome to UAB. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Don't, I'm mad. <laughs> 
Oh, all right. Well, thanks. Welcome to UAB. You guys yeah, will be all right. No you, you guys, you guys always figure it out. All right. Oh wow! All right, who do we got next? Packers. Packers. And let me get Colby's. Oh, here we go. Colby's bringing some whiskey in. Author of the, yeah, author of the flow chart himself. <laughs> you could hear the sigh coming in as he logged in, even before he's announced. John Jackson, the daily fantasy guru, Green Bay it's Packers, top fan. shot guru, <laughs> top shot. I mean, leader in the in the top shot world. If you if you like top shot. A, you should be in our Slack, but you should also be following John Boy Beats on Twitter and and subscribing to his newsletter. Uh, deep top shot knowledge, but I don't want to bury the lead. Very sad looks here in the uh, Packers war room, the draft room. <laughs> you know, Aaron Rodgers saying he doesn't want to be there anymore. Oh, Where are you at right now, John? Walk us through your mental mindset. I mean, honestly, I, I I'm I might just stay in the top shot world and just forget <laughs> about football, live the <laughs> NFT life. If uh, well, if if Rogers gets traded, I it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to get get out of the doldrums and <laughs> and get reinvigorated uh, for football. And to top it off, there's all these like great receivers that are still available, but it doesn't even matter because they're not gonna have a quarterback to throw to them. <laughs> so I, I even, no I'm, need I'm to insult Jordan Love. Here. Real quick, uh, do you think uh, Kadarius Tony will debut in Week One or Week Two of the flow chart? <laughs> Well, you know, it depends if he's in that 3,500, 3,800 range. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, uh, as much as we like to make fun of him, he is kind of the guy you take a shot on a young, uh, speedy guy that maybe chip on his shoulder. Everyone telling him it was a bad pick. Yes. Well here, uh, let's take a shot for John. Yeah. We have, we have Cheers. some shots here for Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully for you, he stays on the Packers, but uh salute. I don't, I don't All think right. it's happening. Uh, what do you? What is your prediction, John? I mean, I mean, we can talk about the twenty nine pick, but what? Where is Aaron Rodgers taking his first snap in twenty twenty one? I mean, it it seems like it's got to be the Broncos. That seems to be all the rage. <laughs> but if you're like, this is what pisses me off even more. If you're the Packers, why are you not trading for the ninth pick or whatever they had today? If yeah, if, yeah, or like, or the the forty niners package. The yeah, I mean, come on. Maybe the Packers also think this draft is bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who I, who knows? Who who even knows what's going on with the Packers anymore, man? I'm, Reality's I'm, not real, bro. I've, oh, oh, God, the pick brutal. is in, and they A go. Defense. <laughs> they go oh cornerback. <laughs> one more, one oh. more dagger in oh the Aaron Rodgers. God. If they haven't done enough to piss Aaron Rodgers <laughs> off. Instead of you know, I made the mistake of having them draft Elijah Moore, the promising re- receiver out of Mississippi. But clearly, they're just an fu mode. Too. Yeah, anytime uh, you hear promising <laughs> receiver, you just take it off the board immediately. <laughs> oh man! But I mean, also, I will say I like Stokes yeah. a- as a cornerback. I mean, certainly doesn't make sense need wise, but they're going to need a cornerback if they don't have Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be playing a lot of defense <laughs> if Jordan Love is on the other side. Yeah, I mean, oh, we double double down in the secondary now with, uh, Jesus. with no offense. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you and me both, bro. Sorry to yeah. <laughs> too funny. All right, John. Brutal. What? All right. Best of luck. Thanks yeah. for calling in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you the. Uh, oh wait, Rogers wait, hold on. Let's, let's 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 oh, let. Oh, do we have does uh, does Colby? Yeah, have let's let Colby back? cheer him up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, this is the fastest cornerback in the draft, forty time wise. This kid can play. Okay. Qu- okay. Real quick though, if you want to see. Sad clapping. Just watch this Packers draft room. They're they're trying to sell that they're really clapping. Everything's great. I'm gonna keep clapping. Oh, uh, I mean Stokes is good. He played in the SEC. Uh, I, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. SEC, whatever. Guy ran a four-two-five, guys. I heard that he I mean, once. That's uh, quick. That's quick. He got Hands shredded on. by Kadarius Tony, though. Right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus I, Christ! I, what's I, happening? Here? Stokes isn't a bad pick. No. In and of itself, but again, oh, why would you not try and save the relationship? <laughs> you know, if you if you ever gone through a breakup, isn't there one last thing where you're like, oh, we'll do the weekend in Santa Barbara. This will patch things up. <laughs> we'll give we'll give Aaron the receiver. You so you're wanted. saying like Aaron and, and the front office needs to go and just have a cr- con- tons of crazy sex in the cabin? Yeah, or something? I mean, get the spark back. <laughs> like, Instead, they were just like. Fuck you. We're going to Atwater. Well, the joke here is that, hey, Aaron, we're a public team. <laughs> <laughs> Bend yeah. over, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Sending him let a me message. Know when the, uh, let me know when the Aaron Rodgers Memorial podcast is on. 
second. Oh yeah. All right. We'll Definitely. have you for the funeral. Thanks, John. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks, Make sure you follow John on Twitter at John Boy Beats. Oh, brutal. Bills, Bills Mafia on the clock. Only one person to bring on, yes. Sean. The Don of Bills Mafia, editor over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com, but so much more. Writer, uh, does a little bit of everything. Give it up for Adam Pelletier, the Bills, Bills Mafia sitting here at 30. Ooh. Adam, what do you what are you rooting for here? Have have a couple different options. I, I mean, I feel like it's gonna be something on the defensive side of the ball. That just yeah. has to be it. You know, they have to shut down Patrick Mahomes since they don't have the option to just keep the ball away from Patrick Mahomes with Najee Harris or Travis Etienne. Both those guys off the board saves the Bills from themselves. So I'm hoping something on one of the lines, really <laughs> the guy I fell in love with as I was doing like mock draft prep and getting ready, Gregory Rousseau, the six mm. foot seven edge out of Miami, just a dude who's long athletic, 15 and a half sacks in 2019. And he did that on a reconstructed ankle. So year one on a reconstructed ankle, 15 and a half sacks. What's he going to do two years out now? Took a year working on the body, putting on some weight on that six, seven frame. He can get yeah. big. He can set the edge. Someone the Bills haven't had since that brief flicker when we had Mario Williams in that year or two before <laughs> Rex Ryan destroyed him. Well, and and again, that is Bills, obviously a solid team, but could use a little juice in the pass oh, rushing. Javante Williams is gonna be the pick. I, I don't I don't think that's they about go. the only pick that's gonna drive me to the bottle and have me not <laughs> making it to work in the morning. I'm gonna be honest. If they I, take I, Javante I, Williams, I mean, what's the difference between Javante Williams and Zach Moss? And what's the difference between Javante Williams and uh De- uh, bleh, Devin Singletary. Devin Singletary like, yeah. like, honest to God, we got the guy who started over Javante Williams last year on, you know, as an undrafted God, yeah. I don't even remember his name. No, like, I, I, I know the kid you're talking about. Yeah. I had, I actually had the Browns taking Rousseau. So if he falls to the bills here, I had the bills taking the edge rusher, Jason Owa at a Penn state. I still think this kid is a very interesting prospect. And you know, everyone that kind of breaks down tape loves him. Joe Tryon, uh, the kid out of Washington, another interesting edge option there. I think you have to go pass rush. If I'm the Bills, I, I, I'm with you, Adam. Yeah. I don't think you go third running back in the first round. It, it just uh-uh. doesn't feel like the best move here. No, I mean, and it was Antonio Williams I'm thinking of. Antonio yeah. Williams. Yes, that's right. They he was had a him. DFS guy. Yeah. And any of these edges that are left on the board, I'm fine with the thing that concern would concern me with Owe is can he play defensive end? The bills are a four, three team tried and true. We've got enough undersized guys. AJ Epinesa isn't huge. Jerry Hughes is only slightly taller than me and I'm not that tall. <laughs> so they, they need a guy with some size on the outside, a true game wrecking defensive end. But man, let me tell you right now, this defensive rush late has been fantastic for my writing because I got to catch up on that offensive blitz. We got we got fantasy impact dropping. Yes. As soon as this first round is over, it is hot. It is ready, folks. There are some spicy takes ready to help you win your league already. No, and and this is awesome too, because these first round guys. And, and we 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 talked a little bit when we had uh, Scott on earlier, nibble with numbers. Oh, let's about, go, let's go, come on, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> sounds like let's so, go. I'm, I'm judging Russo. by the reaction. Russo, oh, game nice. Adam announced wrecker, game <laughs> wrecker. I hope, uh, I hope Bill Belichick was happy with the pick of Mac Jones because McCorkle. Gregory Russo is going to destroy him for the next four years of his rookie deal. Just in time for Belichick to say, nah, I'm not re-upping you, Mac. You suck. Just <laughs> absolute <laughs> trash. Okay. No, this is, I'm going to run over here, but Mac Jones was the worst pick of the first round. Wow. Absolute hands down. Oh. Almost oh, as bad oh, as oh, Kadarius. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, Sorry, Kramer, <laughs> but it's close. They didn't need a receiver. I looked at their depth chart. Yeah, they don't like, need a receiver. I'm with you. They there. have all these guys. What are they going to do with him? But Mac Jones is just absolute garbage. Okay. The only reason he threw for 40 touchdowns was because he had that stellar <laughs> core around him. He had just all the talent in the world. I could have thrown for 40 touchdowns in that yep. offense, and yep. I can't throw a ball further than 10 yards. So Mac Jones is going to be absolutely eaten alive 
by the Dolphins and Bills twice a year. <laughs> Love and it. Bill Belichick is just going to be left sitting there in the shattered ashes <laughs> of his empire, wondering where the hell did it all go wrong? The Bills get a game wrecker. This defense is going to be for real. Get excited. Get amped. They're looking defensive. Back in round two, in addition to Mac Jones <laughs> being the trash pick, you heard it here first, folks. Justin Fields, top 10 quarterback in all formats this year. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Lock it in. Just, and Lock he it in. Adam, Adam was getting me jacked. I had to drop some <laughs> NFL uh, things he underneath him. <laughs> he doesn't need any help getting hyped, but Colby, I'm sure. I'm assuming you have Just a highlight in case package. He needed to be sold on the Gregory Rousseau uh, package. Yeah. Or this pick. Kid's- this kid's a stud too. This is against uh, Central the Michigan, but still, just destroying people. Positioning by that outside hand. You don't watch right. Look at no, that. He's, got, he's got middle. a great. Up he's got a great too. move off the ball. We're gonna play him in the middle of the defense. Have Epinesa and Hughes coming off the edge. Him and Ed Oliver are gonna collapse the pocket. Mac Jones is gonna be shitting his pants and just falling apart in the pocket. <laughs> it's great. I got one more. It's I got great. one more. Wait, hang. Oh, we're hanging. Oh, against the Hokies. What's this about? <laughs> run Ooh. stuffer? Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't run stuffing, Kramer. That was taking the hand off. Yeah, so took the hand off there. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for I'm you. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. He's My, no Kadarius Tony, mantras. but <laughs> he is no I did too. He is no Kadarius Tony. <laughs> I, go, uh, so, Sean, another just another exact pick right by me. Kaching. Yeah, I'm, you've had a couple. I've had a couple. I uh, may have been influenced by uh, Adam over here, but yeah, Adam, Adam knows this. I I thought I thought uh, I would. I was surprised the Browns uh, passed on him there, but oh my goodness! Thank you, Adam. They for had their in. chance. Hashtag so. Bills Mafia, the original oh. Don. Check him out, sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Right, Thank you, Adam. We'll see you guys. Nobody circles the wagon. And Sean, uh, as we uh, speak and sit here right now, we are crossing the four-hour mark wow. of the stream. Oh Does Guinness pay another attention? four hours? Oh, I mean, Guinness ride. We need we, we David, need the Coors Light record. He's on, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean the beer. I meant the world. No, records, but, that, but they're at, they are actually the same company. Mm, got it. All right. So uh, is that true? Yeah. Really? No, well, they, basically, it started because what? there were so many fights in Ireland, and again, this could be urban legend. They just had a someone come with a book and start yeah. writing shit down. because people would argue about like, no, that's not the biggest fish in the world. The biggest fish is this, and so oh. they were like, okay, Guinness, we're gonna actually. I'm pretty sure they're tied to the same company. All right. Well, uh, who do we got? Is it is there are the Ravens back on the clock? Ravens are back on oh. the clock. We got 31, 32. Closing it out of this NFL live draft and show reaction. So it's we got, been a fun run. We got Scott back with us. Scott, what's happening, man? I, I had to come back, guys. How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, uh, four hours in, just you know, <laughs> feeling spry. That's Red- a long. That's a long time, right? Four hours. Uh, it feels long. Who I'm the ready. hell is Mel Kiper? <laughs> <laughs> right? A- come on, oh, SGPN. It sounds long. It sounds really long. <laughs> so, so now, now you got to be offensive lineman, right? You, you seem yes. pretty stoked about getting Bateman, but now it, it feels like they round things out with the offensive lineman. Obviously, they traded Orlando Brown. I have them in my mock going Jalen Mayfield, but what's your take on what they do with the pick here? You know, that's I like that. That's a, a really good take. I, I, I like Tevin Jenkins. I think he's a, a sound, solid football player. Uh, I know that he didn't really face a lot of stiff competition. Um, but I think that he could really be a, you know, a solidifying factor. He's not super huge. So if they had to move him inside to guard, they could do that. Um, if they had him a tackle, they could do that a little bit of versatility. So uh, we'll see. He's, he's a mean man when he gets people down on the ground, he's got that mean streak. And so I, I like that for the Ravens. They've, I, I'm here right near Baltimore and there's just a, a meanness about their defense and their offensive they've line. They've just been kind of big, mean, bad guys. You know, yeah. and so I think he fits right into that image, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So, I mean, we're 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 seconds away. And I gotta say, four hours. Congratulations, you guys! <laughs> you, you guys deserve the, the Guinness. Lots of Guinness, honestly. Exactly. Oh. And uh, yeah, no, I had I had Tevin Jenkins. I had him going a little bit higher. I had him going to the Titans, but you're right. The fact that he's not picked, I kind of forgot that. Um, so it makes sense that they would take him here over Mayfield because I had him 
ranked higher than Mayfield, but Kramer, where are you at? What do you think? They just go tackle, uh, right? Or uh, tackle hybrid, a, a guy who can play guard yeah, and I mean, tackle. I mocked them Leatherwood because they obviously the relationship yeah. between the Ravens and the, the Bam organ. But I mean, to that point, I had Tevin Jenkins going 21st. So uh, to me, that's the guy. If you're if you're looking to take a guy, that's that's the guy who I would have a uh, highest rated on my board, Sean. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is another one of those ones where the franchise, they trade out the guy that was more money for the rookie who they're going to have control of for four, maybe five years, weaker offensive lineman class. We thought, but now you're getting what the fifth best, fourth, fifth best guy in the class all the way down here at the bottom of the uh, it's, it's a Ravens pick, right? They get someone that's going to help their team. They don't give out, give up draft draft equity to do it. Uh, they're just a smart franchise. Uh, yeah, I mean it's just kind of business as usual, and and it Unlike made sense. Orlando Giants. Brown wanted a wanted a bigger contract. They're like, no, we'll just replace you with the tackle yeah. on a rookie deal that's younger, that's maybe a little quicker. I mean, Orlando Brown, solid, but he's he had certain issues with certain types of athletes uh, being able to shut them down. So it. It, it kind of makes sense here for them. I'd be shocked right now if they don't draft uh, a tackle. I really would. Maybe they trade down. Maybe, but I, I feel like they usually would announce the trade by now. Just oh, you, you think you think Goodell gets two more walkups, dude? He's gonna milk every <laughs> he's second. Loving, of he's it. loving his walkups. Scott, where are you at overall with the Ravens as a franchise going into this next year? Of course, they got the first playoff win with Lamar. Disappointing loss, but again, still overall pretty good season. What, wh- where do you see them uh, coming in? What, what's your take going into the uh, twenty twenty one season? You know, I think they are a playoff team. I think they have the capabilities to get back there again. Um, I'm not going to say that Pittsburgh is going to go and repeat again. I think Pittsburgh has a down year. I think they kind of continue that trend a little bit, and they until they identify themselves as a complete offense who can do both things. Uh, I just don't think that their one dimensional pass heavy offense is going to work consistently because I think they got figured out by the end of the year. So uh, I I do think the Ravens are setting themselves up. They, they lost a lot of defense on the, on the end. So, uh, you know, I, I, Adam was on here. Shout out Adam. Love him. He was getting hyped about, you know, the pick before we, so I think Rousseau would have been a great pick, you know, for the Ravens as well. I think he would yeah. have been perfect fit for that uh, defense. So um, I, I'm kind of intrigued to see, Oh, uh, the pick is in and uh, they got a defensive end. It's not who I picked though. Really? So, lay it, lay it on us. Who'd they, uh, yeah, they went uh, Jason. Oh, how, how do you pronounce his name? Oh yeah. Oh, well. I lost the sound here. And it looks like our sounds back. Okay. We're back. Scott, did you, uh, we lost Scott too. I don't know. Maybe the internet just attacked me. Okay. I don't know. Maybe Kadarius, Tony, the ghost of Kadarius, Tony. <laughs> I, I don't know, Sean. I don't, I don't know. We're what back it, live. Yeah. We're back live. All right. So reacting to the Jason Owa selection, I, I, I like Jason Owa. I, I think he has real potential. I, again, I was hoping he would maybe slide down to 37 uh, where the Eagles would have a shot at him. Certainly interesting, but then there is the, you know, there is going to be uh, one of these edge rushers are, are going to keep falling and, and maybe even the Eagles go, you know, at 37, maybe they go offensive lineman. It, it lot to be, lot to be figured out here, but Jason Owa again, physical beast, freaky tester, as they say, <laughs> Leonard Floyd, they're using as the comparison had zero sacks. Last season, that's that's a red flag. Again, shortened season. Got to finish, right? Yeah, but like I, he, you know, he had five sacks, two fumbles in 2019. He he, I don't know. Like the tape is just so good. I'm on shocked him. they didn't take an offensive lineman. Yeah, mm. I was really surprised. I getting rid of Orlando Brown, trading out at the spot. Um, it just right. made made total well, sense. And we got a, you know, I'm sure Colby's got a highlight package. Guys, uh, this kid, I watched a, a, a ton of tape on him because I was hoping the Jets got him. I think he's got potential to be the best. I think Blake Bortles is better than Dak Prescott. Sorry, I accidentally hit that, Colby. I think he's got potential to be the best edge rusher in this Ooh. whole draft, man. Watch yeah, this tape. seriously. This is, against, this is against Ohio State. Yeah. 
I mean, no sacks though, right? No, I mean he he's the classic guy of do you value tape and testing more or do you value production? And he's a great sample. He's a great test case for that. But he's just an athletic dude who's kind of all over the place. Sean, we've almost made it. We've almost made it. Pick thirty-two, and again, everyone, awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Big thanks to all the contributors, friends, and family that called in and helped support the live draft podcast. Big shout out to Colby Dant and the Dant Base College Experience. All the uh, all the people that called in. We are on hour four here of the live stream. One last pick left. Kramer, what do the Tampa Bay Bucks do? I, I think it's pass rusher, right? Yeah, I I had I mean, a, TJ uh, host the Three Dog Thursday in the Big Fight Weekend, and also Bucks radio uh, announcer. He said uh, Tryon from yep. Washington, and so that's we'll who see. I that's who I had in my mock Let's as see. well. Let's see who it's going to be. Maybe Joe Tryon. Boom. So another pick I nailed in my mock. Nice work, Sean. Thank you. I I. I mean, these late rounds are are hard because you know, like with the offensive tackle, if one goes off, it just it messes up your entire list. But try on interesting uh, pass rusher there, edge. They could kind of do whatever they wanted, really. And you know, you see uh, see our buddy there, coach the uh, uh, Bruce Tampa Arians. Bay Bucks, Arians probably fucked just, up. Just legend, legend. I mean, Arians, I always thought was a huge. It was an awesome coach. The fact that he finally got that Super Bowl. Love it. Shout out to Bruce. Love the uh love the fact he got a uh he got a Super Bowl. And and the Bucks, breaking news, Kramer, they did resign Antonio Brown. I think I drafted him maybe in uh, one of our best balls. Oh man. The Jacksonville Jaguars are on the clock. They are. They're on the clock for tomorrow. That'll do it for the round one NFL draft reactions show live simulcast. Wow. Got to Thank the you finish for line. participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the Sports Gambling Podcast. Get those Apple Podcasts reviews in for Merch Monday. Uh, unclear what we're going to be doing. We'll be doing some some more content throughout the weekend. Sunday night, probably taping the full draft reaction show, yep. and uh, we got some best ball content coming at you. NBA going to get back into the NBA playoffs coming up. Football's back, Sean. So much to get to. Again, appreciate all the support. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green and he is Ryan. Hell of a night, Sean Kramer. Let it.